jewellery makers. Look who it is! Hello, hello, hello! Hannah Osborne! <laughs> it feels like ages since I've done a show with you. It might have been, yeah. I, I can't remember. It's, I, it's cause it's cause I'm not here very often, but when I am, it's it's just it's nice. Yeah, it's when, nice to when be back. you are, I know. it's extra very special. Busy, very busy. Well, very, very busy lady. Um, but I tell you what, today your kits are beautiful. I, I honestly, they're so they're so amazing. There's so much of each kit as yes, well. Yes, so this is the first time, right, that we've actually had shell pearl of this length. Ombre shell pearls of this length, and you, I could literally literally skip with it. I know we've said before, or you get a, a long length of, of gems and. You could skip, but you literally you could. literally could with these. <laughs> but yeah. In fact, you probably your whole family could skip with them. Y yes. I would all recommend it all though, just in no, case no. they pop off no, and they're all over the place. Yeah, but, you, you know. don't want to do that anyway. <laughs> because they are beautiful treasures, aren't they? At the end they of the are. day, for your uh, for your jewelry making. Oh, and and just so you know, obviously we had Claire yesterday. Claire was talking about how amazing your jewelry is. Aww. Yesterday, oh, so wasn't, it, wasn't she, guys? And I'm always Aww. one of those uh, one of those people that, that that likes to share complimentary That's nice. comments. That's so nice. I'll have to give her a hug when I see it. Yeah, she's yeah. like Hannah's uh, jewelry is absolutely beautiful. So I know she's ultra ultra excited about watching today's show as well. Um, yeah, so first time ever that we've actually had. They're three meters, right? Three meters. Yeah, I three so. meters a lot. with an ombre. We were talking about high-end tassels. Um, when was it? The other day? Was it yesterday? Was it actually? It's like I a genuine, water up here, isn't I it? I genuinely <laughs> don't know. I, honestly, I, I, well, I was just saying, I'm all over the shop at the moment. Yesterday, we were talking about designs like this literally being absolutely fortunes. They're everywhere at the moment, aren't they? They, they you, are, yeah. Chanel. Huge trend at the moment. And, big tassels. And I'm loving it because they, they sort of suit my sort of... I, can't, I like the big boho dresses and then the long line necklaces. Oh, I'm with and, you. I'm I totally think, with yeah. you. And that what that little tassel just to the left, our left, your yeah. right. <laughs> Sorry, I always get confused. That's beautiful as well. Because if you don't want to go for that really big statement look, it's a nod in that direction, isn't it's it? A, it's a more delicate version. I um, love that too. But then that, that, I mean, that kit's got that like, most amazing little um, sort of tassel top. And you, like, you, you can just about see, you've got, you've got the little coloured stone in the centre. Oh. And then, and then you got like, got the. So that's the, in the kit. Yeah, that's it's, a, it's another kit that I was given. It's not it's not one of the three meter ones. It's a different one. Oh, amazing, <laughs> amazing, amazing! So these are coming up at nine o'clock this morning with lovely Hannah. Um, so much inspiration, of course. Gorgeous demonstrations. It is a massive Saturday show. Huge, huge. Um, my alarm goes off literally bang on five o'clock every single morning, but I was wide awake at half past three because oh I think it is the anticipation and the excitement of this morning's show. Oh. I know. Firstly, because of what we've just mentioned, Hannah Osborne, gorgeous kits. Oh. Secondly, because of all this. <laughs> um, now, just so you know, behind the scenes, the powers that be, are, act are actually uh, tipping this to be one of the biggest of jewellery maker shows. And I can t ever, yeah, ever, 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 maybe even in Gemporia history. Um, oh, I love it. Maybe a shop <laughs> in TV history. Oh, just TV. Just, just, just go all out, shall we? Yeah, just TV history. Just history? Just... <laughs> 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 Maybe, yeah, just history full stop. Ever <laughs> in the existence of the world. <laughs> exactly. You know, not to big us up or anything, you know. Um, we think it's going to be pretty special. Um, and that is because what you are looking at right now is natural type A jadeite. No dye, no polymer, all completely natural. And we never, ever, ever imagined in our wildest dreams that we would be able to get hold of it in a strand just because of the sheer quantity that you need to make a strand to justify a piece of jewellery like uh, the creation, the earrings, that beautiful stretchy bracelet, you know, just to quantify any of those designs. Mother Nature does not offer that level of carrot weight, that amount of carrot weight in natural red jade. It's, it's amazing. And it's so rare to have like, like sort of red tones in jewellery as well, in, in gemstones. It's yeah, like, that's it's, true. It's like, it's, it's not often you can get that kind of colour in your work anyway. So. No, because you can't even, you, you couldn't make a comparison to ruby, could you? No, no. You couldn't, I mean, I'm trying to think desperately. I mean, you, like, it's like carnelian's a different colour. Yeah. And then... 
Obviously, coral we wouldn't use anyway. And, you know, citrine's more yellow sunstone. So maybe? there's nothing even, yeah. No. But, but it's a different colour again, isn't it? It's so unique. It's and beautiful, so, yeah. Uh, anybody who is, let me move that out of the way so you can see. Anybody who is an aspiring collector, you absolutely have to be with us at 10 o'clock. If you are a, a collector already, you have to be with us at 10 o'clock today. They are, uh, but I will give you a heads up from one gemstone collector to another. These are limited. Um, we're very lucky to even have this opportunity in, in e even just one single strand. They are limited in quantity. We do not have like the 300s that we sometimes do in like the apple greens. These are, uh, let me just, well, in fact, I'll tell you, shall we? Just so you know, just so you've got a heads up. I'm talking quantities of 74. 103, 106, that's it. It's not a lot, is it? It's no. not a lot, no. Not, not when you compare even to other colours of jade. Um, make sure you are with me at 10 o'clock today. If you, had, if you had something in your calendar, and if you can, literally draw a, right, a line through it, because this opportunity is, is, is historic. We do generally believe that. Um, also, now, take a little look. You might notice over on the also on this side of the desk. I think it's the first time that we've ever actually done them in um, sort of in loose stones. We've got amber in your donuts as well, which I absolutely love. So we've spoken about high goo and um, the significance of, the, of that sort of shape, if you like, with your jadeite. And I was trying to research, see if there was any kind of historic significance alongside your amber. Um, basically, you know, just simple makes, like, our, uh, like, well, like our Anne and Sue have actually done here with that macrame. Just utterly beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I can promise you that these are going to be super duper affordable. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, <laughs> got more amazing kits so yeah so this is all, all the uh, the hematite um the, the, the big tassels i've got a different colorway that i'm going to demo with which is like blue and gold which is nice. quite amazing um and i love the, the little connector things that the, um, the little tassel um heads that, that are on it it looks the, like the detail in there is incredible do you know it's weird hannah because last night um i was I've, I've bought some pearls from jewelry making yeah. lately and um i'm trying to source um 18 karat gold class to go with them because I personally believe that they are of that, that that quality quality that they justify that anyway I actually found a supplier where they're custom made over in Italy wow. and I, ideally I don't want to have to go to Italy in an ideal world but they were well I mean I would go to Italy I mean but yeah, I, would, to to Italy. I would I would but <laughs> I, my budget yeah. doesn't really want to go to Italy um anyway uh they had that kind of thing and they were so expensive. Yeah, they, so they really expensive. Are. I mean, this is it because they're sort of like high fashion and, and they're in trend and, and you've got all of the, the sort of like high end jewelers making, you know, beautiful pieces like that. So this is like the, the jewelry maker equivalent. Yeah. And therefore, it still looks like, well, hundreds of pounds and it's really not because, we're, you know. Yeah, it's jewelry, it's jewelry maker. We always do the best deal we can, don't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. Another thing, talking of affordability. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have base metal. So those of you that are on a, um, on a budget but still want to make beautiful jewellery, we have a selection of base metal chain. Now, these aren't complete necklaces. So if you're thinking about your tassels, if you're yeah. thinking about your earrings, you can customise it. Um, there we go. We've got them in all three designs in three different colours. Now, plus, I've just, yeah, I've just knocked that off. <laughs> the, this one here the, is what we call a ball chain. It's not the prettiest of descriptions, I'm not going to lie. Um, however, very designer, very, very designer. I'm going to show you here, because if you're wondering, well, how do, how do I complete that? How do I actually make the chain? Um, can you see, you've almost got these... They look like little boats, I suppose, and you literally put a ball in in the centre and then literally pull them apart so they actually sort of click into place at either end. So genius in terms of how you actually complete them. We had them years ago. Do you remember? Yeah, Hannah, I, years I was ago. just thinking that. I've not seen those for, like, well, I don't know the, exactly the same, but that, I've not seen them for literally years. Literally years. Well, they come alongside the ball chain. Fantastic. Um, and they're coming up within this hour as well, so you haven't got too long to wait for that, everybody. Now, should we get this uh, Saturday morning underway? Yeah. I think we should, and we're going to get cracking with your makes. It's the Wall of Fame.
Okay, starting us off this morning is number 391. It's lovely Kim Hopkins. Good morning to you, Kim. You've made a beautiful make as per usual. I love that. Love. Uh, please find my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a sterling silver necklace made with freshwater pearls, jadeite and black jadeite, all from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everybody entering this week. And wow, some deals this week. Thank you, she says. Uh, stay safe, everybody. Kim, I hope you're watching this morning because if you're a lover of your jadeite, we have the, oh, the most beautiful colour coming up at 10 a.m. 392 is from um, Alan Hopkins. Good morning to you, Alan. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. Fine jewellery, if ever I saw it. Hi, please find my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Two sterling silver bypass rings I've made from wire and mounts. One one is of uh, blueberry quartz and the other is an imperial garnet. All from JM. Good luck to everybody. Great demos and shows this week. Stay safe. And that's from Alan. Alan, they're absolutely amazing. Number 393 is from Graham Bunce. Hello to you, Graham. No, I've got Graham. Oh, OK. Maybe that was a... Graham's email. Graham's email, but it's Jackie. Sorry, Dan says, my bad. No, it's a good job. He's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Dan, gorgeous Dan. It's a good job, he's beautiful. Um, I beg your pardon, Jackie Bunce. Um, you're number 393. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. A necklace from Terra Jasper, uh, bought from Jewelry Maker in a kit a while ago. Um, with some uh, silver coloured wire, I made beads with a gizmo and uh, linked them together with the Jasper. Thanks for all the inspiration uh, from the demos and good luck to all, says Jackie. That's beautiful, Jackie. Uh, number 394 is from Rosie. Wow, Rosie. I need that. It'll go in my outfit. <laughs> uh, it would. It would go It'd be perfect. fabulous. Isn't that beautiful? Love the texture. And Rosie says, hello, everybody. Here is my attempt at making a necklace from one of Monica's kits. I thoroughly enjoyed making this necklace. It's easier than you think. Hope everybody is well. And sending lots of hugs to you all. Straight back at you, Rosie. That's absolutely stunning. We, we don't just like it. We love it. And we love all your entries. Keep those... For, um, keep those Entries in and I'll keep everything crossed for you, of course, in this week's draw that happens on Wednesday morning with the lovely, lovely me. Oh, <laughs> maybe the lovely Carol, it's not just me. <laughs> well, I was going to go with the lovely Carol. No, it's not me. No, it's definitely Aww. me. So well, you are lovely, though. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Saving me there out of that tricky spot. Um, OK, so shall we get cracking? Shall we get cracking? We've all got a definite spring in our step this morning because it is going to be such an exciting morning show. Um, I'm going to start with beautiful cashmere greys, micro faceting, something that would go beautifully with Hannah kits I feel Ooh, um, sparkly yeah it is isn't it, it, it yeah but this is labradorite I, do you know what it, it, it could be diamonds from here it and, could. I, and, and I don't want to sound like I'm sort of overblowing it but it, it really from it from afar that could be diamonds. I totally get it yeah. I totally get that it's because it's a softer gray isn't yes. it normally labradorite yeah. can be quite dark or, or, or more blue this is because you've got the greys in there and, and, the, and the sparkle and the sort of scintillation it's, it's just it's just stunning I totally get that and I yeah, yeah absolutely it, it, you know if somebody had said pick up that strand out and guess the gemstone I probably wouldn't have guessed labradorite absolutely beautiful it's like the labradorescence is 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 actually more of a silver giving you that that scintillation uh, that, that it's labradorescence of course but oh look at that Loving this strand. Four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Is that the way we're gonna start our Saturday morning show? No, it's not, says Ross. Should we cut it in half? Really? God. Yeah, for genuine labradorite. Okay. Genuine <laughs> labradorite. Fine quality labradorite, I think we'd all agree. Morning, Marie. Good morning, girls and crew. Hope all is well. Bring on the goodies, please. Yay! We're on it, Marie, and a lovely <laughs> morning to you as well. Goodies and deals. £2.49 for fine quality labradorite, which I, I, I totally agree with what Hannah has said. That's a perfect description. It is almost like a, you know, like a, a um, like a, a silver coloured diamond. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. I just think, remember we had those little, little tiny bits because of the, the value of them. Um, and they, they were just like silver greys and things. And it was kind of, it was near Christmas, I think. Yeah. Like the strands that yeah, are about 20 section. centimetres. That looks like, it looks like a whole strand of it. It really does. Yeah. Well, yeah. If, this were, if they were diamonds, it would cost significantly more than £2.49, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah. Significantly. 
significantly more. I'm fairly sure I paid more than that for my coffee this morning. I think you probably did. Yeah. Probably, <laughs> yeah. And 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 you definitely did, didn't you, Michael? Sorry. You definitely paid more than two pound forty nine for your coffee this morning. Two pound ninety five. Two pound ninety five, and he's disappointed. He says, it's, he, he, yeah, he put, he had a sip and went like this. Oh, no, that's the one that I made myself afterwards. Oh, you made yourself oh. a bad coffee? Yeah, made myself a bad coffee. Oh, yeah. no. That's, there's <laughs> nothing worse, is there, than an unsatisfying coffee. Uh, good morning, everyone. Jan, Sandra, Wendy, Pamela, Gabrielle, Brenda. Hello to you, Tyne and Ware. Uh, hello, Kayla. OMG, I paid more for Labradorite <laughs> chips. No regrets, but that's nuts. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, oh, it's a good song, that is. Oh, we've got a song going in my ear right now, Kayla. Um, oh, it's, uh, no, it's Robbie Williams. No regrets. That's a good song. They only hurt. No regrets yeah. now. Uh, something, uh, something. Uh, uh, I've met Robbie Williams. Ooh. Have you? Yeah. He's very tall. Is he? I was going to say, it was strikes me as being short. No, but... he's very tall. Oh. Well, it, I, I was in school at the time, so maybe I was a bit shorter, <laughs> but... Um, but I just remember, that's what I remember. He was actually really tall. It's when he just left Take That. Oh, yeah. yeah. Still haven't forgiven skinhead. him for that. He had a skinhead, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he had a skinhead and he was rebelling somewhat. Um, are you still singing? Are you still, singing, still singing Robbie Williams songs? We're being serenaded now. <laughs> I know you can't hear a word, but Ross is, is honestly like an angelic voice in our ear. <laughs> Real love feels the home that I live in. Everybody now, because I got too much life <laughs> running through my veins, going to waste. Okay, back to the gemstones anyway. <laughs> What's your favourite Robbie Williams song, everybody? I think that's the general question that's been bounced around here in the studio. It's a good one. Any song, actually. What's, what's your favourite, what's your favourite Sugar Babe song? Yeah. Uh, five carats of beautiful black rutile quartz just here. Love it. It would go beautifully alongside that Labradorite. Actually, let's put them together, shall we? What do we think of that? What do we think of that? What do we think alongside maybe, Hannah, some of your lovely silver shell pearl that's coming up in the next oh, hour? Oh, yeah, stunning. Oh. I, I've not seen all of the colourways, actually. So, I mean, that's beautiful, isn't it? Really, really It so would be subtle. amazing. Amazing. Yeah. All with your monochrome gemstones. Oh, love it. Oh, speaking of, speaking of, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm making kits again, aren't I? Ooh. Look at that. Would you be happy with that kit? Yeah. Are you happy yeah. with 2 99 for black rutile quartz? Because you know what? Ross isn't. He's not happy. He wants to go lower. Look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. It's such a fascinating stone, isn't it? Rutile quartz. And I always say it, very challenging to cut because of the rutilations. £1.49, well, doesn't quite quantify it, does it? Um, should be a higher price tag. Morning, Lynn. Hello to you, Lincolnshire Kim, Brenda. Hello, Maureen, Rhonda. Hello to you, uh, Rhonda Cun and Tap. Hello to you, London. Nice to see you as well. Uh, Julie in London. I've still got Robbie Williams being sung in my ear. Yeah. Oh, is that Girls Aloud? No, sorry, couldn't, that couldn't be further from the... What are you singing? Love... Love Sound machine. Sound of the underground. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is it that one? No. I have to say, that, I like that one. <laughs> I, I, I went to see Girls Aloud in concert. They're really good. They were really good. Yeah, really good performers. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, very good performers. Uh, £1.49 for this. Text in, who's the best person you've been to see in concert? That's a good question. That's a good question. Who have you seen live that was absolutely amazing? Go on. Michael Jackson. Michael, you haven't been to see Michael Jackson. Oh, Where I'm jealous. Oh, I'm jealous. I'd Sorry. have loved to have seen him. Sorry. Was he ace? Yeah, he was. Yeah, I bet. I've been to see... Oh, I've, got, I've been to quite an eclectic mix. Elton John, he was good. Yeah, he was good as well. Yeah, was Elton good. John was really good. He George was really Michael good. was good. Who? George Michael. George Michael, yeah, he's going to be good as well. These are like, these are like big stars. Who have you been to? Well, I, I see you take that every year, but for showmanship, um, actually, it was Meatloaf Bat Out of Hell because of the way the set was done. It was amazing. <laughs> like a better, Such a contrast, yeah, I know. It was like, take that. <laughs> yeah. It was, but that was a long amazing. time ago. Um, should we do this next for now? <laughs> or oh, text in. Who was the best person you've been to see in concert? Oh, Meatloaf. I'd love to have seen Meatloaf. 
That's childhood memories, that is. That, that, that Going on your first, Sunday that, drive. The first concert though. I ever went to, and okay. that was um, my best friend Helen from high, uh, yeah, from high school and her dad, because we had to be chaperoned at that age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's where we went. Right. Brilliant. What was the, what, name a meatloaf song? Dash, da, what's the dashboard one? Oh. I used to always get really embarrassed when that yeah. came on in the car. But like, <laughs> is, it, is it a bit naughty? Yeah, a bit rude. Quite a, quite a lot of them. Isn't anyway, it? I'll stop talking about the gemstones now. Um, beautiful natural black spinel. Look at this. Oh, literally, think about the Michelle Obama piece that I showed you um, some months ago, where she has this really beautiful long line black spinel and pearl um, necklace. Literally, I don't know if it's knotted or, or, or rosary link, but it looks absolutely amazing. Oh, yes, Julie, saying Tina Turner live at Alton Towers oh, in wow. 1996. That would have been that amazing. That sounds mega. Mega, mega, mega. Oh, is Tina, Tina rocking out Alton Towers? I, I mean, she was just amazing anyway. Like, yeah. like to see her, I mean, gosh. Queen. Would real, que I would have loved to have seen oh, Queen. Oh, me. That's, that's, you know, if, you, if there's one that you could have seen and hadn't. It would have been it Queen. It would have been Queen. Totally. Mercury, yeah. yeah, totally. Jane, do you know, I've been watching, I was watching uh, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody the other day. And uh, yeah, he was a genius, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, well, absolute genius. I'd have liked to have seen him as well. And funnily enough, I was singing Killer Queen this morning. Should we take <laughs> this beautiful, oh, seriously, look at the quality of the stones. Purely because we, are, we have one of the most historic Saturday shows planned for you ever, we're going to take it under five pounds. If you don't get, if you don't snaffle these up, I'm gonna definitely because that's absolutely amazing. I'm a massive fan of black spinel. Um, good morning to you, Miss Janet. Hi, team. Um, uh, Adim Joe, best live performance has to be Alice oh, Cooper. Yeah. Did he have the snake on across oh. his shoulders? Seen him three yeah. times, and his showmanship is unbeatable. Music's ace too. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Is it? Um, isn't he touring at the moment, Alice Cooper? Why do I feel like he's touring at the moment? I don't or know. Or he's about to be touring with Johnny Depp. I, I isn't, yeah, I think, I think I, I've heard, it might be rumours, don't take my word for it, Miss <laughs> Janet, but yeah, that, oh yeah, I bet he's mega as well. And they, these are elite, elite celebrities, aren't they? Yeah. And oh, musicians. Real, real showmanship. Hello to you, Sandy. Uh, Barbara Streisand in Manchester, yes. Do you know what? Evergreen is such a beautiful song, isn't it? Oh, I mean, she's again, got, another legend. She's, know, she's got brilliant. the most amazing voice. She has. The most amazing voice. Yeah, loving that. Hello to you, Ella. George Michael and Madonna, Meatloaf, a song of heaven, can't wait. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, wow. You've been to see all of those? Like, literally, that's a whole lot of historic musicians ticked right there. David, David Bowie. Bowie. Oh, yeah. Yes, Eileen. <laughs> In Milton Keynes, amazing. Oh, my goodness me. The, uh, <laughs> we don't make, we don't, I'm going to say something controversial. Anybody the, under the age of th uh, 20 years old, close your ears a second. Close your ears if you're under the age of 20. We don't make them like they used to. Sorry. Oh, no, it's happened we don't make now. Mus we don't make musicians like we used to. I, I mean... Isn't that, a, isn't that supposed to be a sign of us... Getting old? Knocking on. Yeah, 100%. It, when, when, when you say things like that. 100%. <laughs> oh, no, Dua Lipa's pretty good. Dua Lipa? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not, it's, not, no, it's not Barbara Streisand, though, is it? <laughs> not Barbara Streisand. It's not Meatloaf. <laughs> it's not, it's not, you know. We're not talking about Michael Jackson, George yeah. Michael. Mm. Mm, I know if I threw that one in there, Michael would actually agree <laughs> with me. Um, how about some beautiful, beautiful tiger's eye? Again, these almost seem to go perfectly together. It's like I've just designed the most amazing kit. Um, how many do we have of these available then, Roscoe? Tw oh, 40. Beg your pardon, 40. When we first launched uh, um, you know, this cut, it was, it was sort of along the, at the same time as when we launched the satellite bead. Yes. Do you yeah. remember, Hannah, they were all around about, between about 15 and 20 pounds. Yes. Mm -hmm. So right now we're already starting with a reduction, aren't we? Oh my gosh. For Natural Tiger's Eye, one of the biggest gemstones at the moment, um, I was chatting to uh, Lynn Jinks the other day when I when I came off air and she she had a, she had a showcase of Tiger's Eye and I could see her doing her prep much like we all do and it's sort of all the different designers your Chopards your Piagets your Dior's your Van Cleef and Arpels it's everywhere at the moment not twelve ninety nine with jewelry maker.
Oh, God, he's keeping us waiting, yeah, Ross? Yeah. <laughs> Under... Five pounds. Oh my God. Grab it. There are 40 of these available. That is a giveaway deal, isn't it? It feels like sort of crazy cutthroat prices first thing in the morning. That's brilliant. how we roll at eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, okay. Before the office t crew actually come in. Yes. That's how we roll. That is what <laughs> okay. we do. We are literally, the, the, whilst the cat's away and all of that, yeah. basically. Oh my goodness. Ross goes rogue. That's what we say. Okay. He goes Ross rogue. Goes rogue. Okay. Fair enough. I was waiting for Ross to actually mention his, his, um, his number one. Literally, the love is so strong between Ross and Paul McCartney. Um, he's your favourite person in the world ever, isn't he? Isn't he, Ross? He is, yeah. He says, good luck tonight, Paul, giving him a thumbs up, because, of course, he is going to be tuning in to Jury Maker. Obviously. 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 That's how he always prepares for those big gigs. Uh, my husband saw the Beatles. The oh, at, oh, my goodness, at the cavern. That's incredible. Again, it's an iconic one, isn't it? history yeah. on history. That. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable, unbelievable. You've got one one producer, by the way, who he'll be incredibly jealous of that because he's a massive Beatles fan. Is our Ross? Um, Auntie Ross loves them. Absolutely loves them. Can I throw this one in there? As so we're talking about Beatles, it seems Rolling Stones. Oh yeah. You were either one or the other, weren't you? You were you were either well, a Beatles well, fan or a Rolling Stones I fan. Don't know. Because I, I mean, there's. <coughs> but they're very different, I think. They are. They are very different. But I, I'm Mick quite, Jagger. Yeah, I think back in the in the day, you had your own sort of tribe or whatever. Like, but I, I now looking at them, I, I could quite happily listen to the either, me, either of them. And me, totally. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Four ninety nine. This is on the verge of selling out. Keep those messages coming in. We're loving that the music vibe, loving that, and also realizing. Um, how 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 lucky we are to have seen uh, so many of these beautiful icons. Um, now, just so you know, coming up ten o'clock today, first time ever, we are actually sort of tipping this to be probably one of the biggest shows. Unfortunately, not in terms of quantity, but certainly in terms of the opportunity. Um, this is natural type A jade we never imagined that they would be available to us on strands just because mother nature just doesn't offer this color naturally in abundance i think that's fairly obvious to say so prior to that prior to today we've all, we've bought little miniature parcels haven't we yeah. um but yeah today four strands that's all we have and they're all a hundred or less in terms of quantity and they look amazing i mean that that long sort of the oh, tassel over there i think that's fantastic it's unbelievable isn't it if i just yeah. move those out the way don't forget as well we've got some beautiful base metal coming up that you can pre-order within this hour um in your three different colors but yeah take a look at that oh stunning, that stunning. needs to be a, that needs to be under lock and key well, yeah, because I might come home with me otherwise. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I, oh, I'm, well, I'm, I'm not going to stay. No, but I was tempted to. Um, <laughs> and the earrings, everything. These, I mean, they are museum quality pieces, museum quality stones. Coming up at 10 o'clock today um, with Dave, you've got your base metal chains you can pre order. Can, can we pre order us? You can shop ahead and pre-order on your base metal, uh, meet along length of chains. And 9 o'clock, the most unbelievable kits with Hannah. So. Make sure um, you're with us literally from start to finish today because it's going to be absolutely massive. Now, ooh, uh, hello, Marie. My husband went to see the Rolling Stones at Anfield and uh, said they were amazing. Yeah, I bet. I bet I get he's another performer, isn't he? Nobody moves quite like um, um, Mick Jagger. He's, he's got his own. Oh. oh, it's a song. Yeah, it is a song. It is actually a song. I, I, did, I said that without even realising. But he has got his own little way, hasn't he? He has. He has, very definitely. I'm loving the fact we're getting a dance routine over there. It's not really. Um, I met Paul McCartney. Oh, my goodness, Michael. You are the envy of producer Ross right now. Um, at the BBC, uh, when I was on Blankety Blank, and he was in the next studio, he signed my Blankety Blank Checkbook, a very <laughs> nice man. Aww. That's wicked. Send the picture, send it in. That's wicked. Can you say? If, if, uh, I bet you that is worth an absolute fortune, Michael. I bet it is. Probably is, yeah. Signed by Les Dawson and Paul McCartney. Oh, yeah. that's absolutely <laughs> wicked. Sign a checkbook, checkbook and pen. I remember that. I don't remember that. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, and was he a nice guy? He does strike me as a nice person. Mm. 
<laughs> Paul McCartney. Uh, <clears throat> not, yeah, I'm sure Les is as well, but I was more talking about uh, Paul McCartney. Um, okay, what should we do next? Base metal snap tight earrings. Which size? You get everything. Okay, so I'm going to tip all these out because you've got beautiful stones that you can um, obviously snap tight into them. Um, we first launched the snap tight settings with sterling silver, but a lot of demand. People were saying, look, we want them in the base metals because they're, again, that different level of affordability. Sorry, I'm just flipping some of these stones over so you can actually see what they're going to look like in the ear. Um, so you've got the perfectly calibrated uh, rhinestones, if you like, uh, or crystals to go inside your silver plated base metal. This is this is genius. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've not seen these before, but I'm, haven't I'm, you? No, I mean, I've, I've seen um, I've seen different sort of snap tights, but I've not seen the little earring studs like that. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? I, I think they're fabulous. So they come in two different sizes. There are only 50 of them left. So if you have a little look there, basically you put the stone uh, table down. So what I mean, like that one is just there. Table down and you will, I won't do this because obviously it's taken an opportunity away from someone, but literally just push it down. Um, like so, and you literally hear the snap. It's that simple. That's it. That simple. Plus you get your butterfly back. So you've got the two different sizes as well. Uh, five pairs of each, uh, both your three and your five millimeters. And again, you can see all the lovely colors and the stones that you can actually, uh, that will come along with this opportunity. There are only 50. Did you say Ross? Yeah, there are only 50 of them left. We're going to take it under 20 pounds. If you're looking for a sort of quick turnaround, be that in a gift or be that for a, as a business, these would be ideal. It, yeah, I mean, this is like, it's fantastic. And you've got so many different options and different colours. So yeah. you, could, you could gift some, you could keep some, you could mix and match. You I know. like the fact that you've got different uh, different sizes because you could put the five mil maybe in the lobe of the ear. And if yeah. you've got piercings at the top, <coughs> you my, could wear the smaller size. My friend's just got in, like, she's she's just had her ears pierced for the first time. She's like, she's in her 30s, shall we say? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she's just hooked now. So I, I'm just thinking, oh, that, I want that to be really good for her. <laughs> I want that doing. Hello, Jeannie, saying, uh, um, my husband also went to see the Rolling Stones in Hyde Park back in the 60s. The concert was free. Wow, they don't do that anymore, do they? No, no, not at all. It's an investment to go and see these artists. Right, we're at 19.99. We want to clear this location from the vault. There are 50 of these available. Haven't seen them since March. We're going to take them extra low, extra low. If you've never done a single bit of jewellery making in your life, these are super easy. Super, super easy. Shall I show you? Because this is a studio sample. So shall I show you? Just on one? Look, literally, flip it over there. No pressure, I'm doing this at arm length though. I shouldn't, I shouldn't put this pressure on myself. I know, I know. But on live TV, but we'll do it anyway. Literally, did you hear that? Give it a rock, check it's in. Have I got it in? Has she done it? By Jove, she's done it. Yeah! Hooray! Yeah. So quick. That simple. There we go. And I would actually straighten that out because it's not straight, but you get the idea. It's super, super simple in terms of its actual construction. There you go. There you are. Um, super simple. You've just made a nice pair of stud earrings. That's it, in it seconds. So quick, yeah. It, like, that's, you've got all those colours as well. So if you've got an outfit, you haven't got your jewellery yet, and you're like, oh, I'll just quickly make my, myself that's some nice. earrings. Snap, snap, done. Fourteen ninety nine. That's for ten <laughs> pairs of earrings. We're talking about one pound fifty a pair. That's ridiculous, isn't it? I, I know. <laughs> I know, it is ridiculous. You're right. And they are. Let's have a look. I mean, you'd, you'd surely pay that for the stones. You'd actually pay that for the actual crystals that you've got. The colours, crystal, Montana, topaz, rose and emerald. Um, and they are coordinated to go or calibrated, if you like, to go alongside um, your base metal snap tight settings. Um, good morning to every single one of you. It's lovely to have your company. Loving the interaction this morning as well. I hope you're as excited about today as we are here in the studio. And it literally has started from the get go. We've got awesome kits with Hannah in the next hour. We've got Dave with, your, uh, with the launch of those beautiful red jadeite strands. Um, and your masterclass is absolutely dreamy. And we've got the, uh, the amber donuts. The donuts, they are, yeah. Yeah, so, so it's completely and utterly jam-packed. Uh, do make sure you check out your baskets on these, though, because at £1.50 a pair, oh, I've got a little five-year-old who'll be in her element with these. She would absolutely <laughs> love these. 
She is you, definitely a mummy's daughter. So, so will she be making them or will you be making She'd probably them make for them. her? She'd probably make them. Because she probably could, actually. Yeah. I was thinking that. You know, she's like, if you're into that kind of thing, if you're yeah. into making things, if you're into crafting, why not introduce them to yeah, jewellery making? Yeah, she could probably make those. Early. She's pretty, she's very capable, I think. Yeah. But, you know, a little five-year-old, she could do that. Um, okay. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Oh, you're going to love this next one. Oh, Oh, that's incredible. I can't quite believe this is quartz. Again, I would have guessed topaz or zircon. Look at this. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Notice how we all, all of a sudden, just calm down. <laughs> we? we just all calm down. Tinkly. It's the quality of the, uh, yeah. of the quartz. Now, quartz as a, as, a, as a mineral is not rare. It's actually the second most abundant mineral on this planet. However, Quartz as a gemstone, this quality is incredibly rare. It's durable and it has many of the attributes that some of the finest diamonds will be uh, blessed with. Scintillation, fire, dispersion, luster. Oh, this, this is, for me, if, if you don't have the diamond budget, and believe me, if this were diamonds, they would be very expensive. But it's our alternative, isn't it, here at Jewelry Maker? It's a fantastic alternative. To, to maybe uh, your colourless diamonds. Because each of these are four millimetres. They're sizable. And you are getting the entire strand. Do you remember that zircon? Do you know what? Do you know that zircon? That stra zircon, yes. You, you know what I'm talking yeah. about, don't you? Yeah. We launched the birthday in May that will go down in history, I think, one of, as one of the most popular strands. And it, so, it, it sold out. It sold out. We had 500, just over 500 of them. We launched the birthday. This is reminiscent of that zircon. And this is where that zircon sold. That's amazing. But this isn't zircon. It's quartz. Marginally more abundant, obviously. But still, amazing fire and dispersion, beautiful quality. I want to see you on the phone lines because there's not nearly enough of these to go around. We don't have the 500 quantity uh, that we had of that zircon strand. How about, how about if I told you that this was going under £10? But that's literally live quantity. There are 22 of these that exist. This with your kit, Hannah, would be absolutely... The tassel, the tassel. Uh, yeah. The tassel, people. <laughs> this will be absolutely amazing in a tassel. I think that would... Like, any, oh. any, anything you put it next to, it's going to add light and it's going to increase like, sort of the, the twinkly sparkliness of your jewellery. So it's going to instantly have impact, isn't it? And it doesn't matter what you team it with. It's going to look fa fabulous. This needs to be in it on that tassel. It really, really could, honestly. It's going to be amazing. Hannah, I think what well, I think your next kit it needs we to should, be a sparkly, twinkly. Yeah, it needs to be this this kind of strand with some um, with some pearls, so you could almost recreate that with with with, with, with quartz. That it would be so oh. pretty. I think everyone would be fighting over it. Yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. You can make that happen, though. I, you I, can well, do that. Well, I can ask, can't I? You can pull a few strings. I can, I can see what I can do. You, you're a lady with connections. <laughs> I feel like you could do this. Look at the quantity, though. It's absolutely flying out. And I can see a few tassels coming on because a lot of multi-buyers on this opportunity. The quality of the course is absolutely breathtaking. It really is. $9.99. Look, even from distances, you can see that. As you said, beautiful luster, amazing twinkle, amazing fire and dispersion and that is down to the fact that this is not heavily included it's not matte quartz that would be well it wouldn't really be gem worthy um this is absolutely gem worthy and you can see the fact that it has it has been uh, uh faceted to such a finer degree that's an indication of the quality of what you're getting sandra janet gabrielle cheryl essex hello to you trishiel hello to you june beverly lynn christine lynette patricia lincolnshire susan hello to you county atrium Marie. Norma, Dev, and it's on the verge of selling out. We've got four, four of them left. Tassels, I can see tassels. And please make sure you send those photographs into the Wall of Fame because I want to see it. That's going to be beautiful. Now, if you love your clear quartz, and I do. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, can I do something else? Can I bring that black spinel back? 
Wow. Oh, just, 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 just wait a minute. She's, uh, you know, as we're, as we're in the mood for creating. I'm still not done though. <laughs> How about bringing that? Oh yeah, there you go. That's the Labradorite that all, literally brought, that's been on, this has been on. Don't know if they're still available. Brought you that beautiful round. We're gonna bring you the others. Now starting with the trillions. How amazing would that be as a kit? How beautiful would the jewellery be if you created, created it out of that little collection? And how about if we bring it to you at a crazy single-figure price tag? Ross? What have you done, Ross? <laughs> Is that like the moment of realisation going on in there? <laughs> What have I done? <laughs> what has he done? No, they... Ross? <coughs> I know I know you're rogue at eight o'clock. In the eight o'clock hour, that's his rebellious hour, you know. He goes a little bit he goes a little bit crazy. There's no rules for Ross at the eight o'clock hour. But look at the quality of these stones. Um, two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 13. So you're talking about less than a pound each. You could, I mean, Hannah, you're the amazing designer, but you could take those singly, couldn't you? And you and treat them as individual solitaires. You, yeah, you absolutely could. So if you took one, uh, to invert it, and use wire, make yeah. yourself a lovely solitaire ring, as you're saying, oh. or you can have, um, when you get some things like um, clear quartzes and things that are highly faceted, I always think they work well where light hits them. Yeah. So I would use it for things like, um, you know, not not a dream catcher. What's like a sun catcher Ooh. thing, and you hang it in the window, and then you get all the prisms come bouncing oh, through your yes. your room, your kitchen, or in the earrings. They're yeah, in you, earrings. Can, you oh. can have twinkly earrings. You like, and you can make the most amazing kind of like chandelier sort of drop necklace with all all different like mostly clear, and then just pick one other colour. Oh, beautiful! And it magnifies the colour as well. Absolutely beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, oh my goodness me. Faceted coins. I think this is what is this checkerboard? I was talking about you, Adam. Yes, I totally was. <laughs> Hello, he says. Speaking of beautiful, You're beautiful. Um, yeah. Uh, look, wow. Look at how lovely. Faceted coins doesn't do them justice, does it? Not really. I mean, is it? Would you call that checkerboard faceting? Because yes. Thing. I think. I think that's one of my favourite ways to facet a stone yep. I, I really think you you get the most out of it with all of these little sort of like oh. planes that bounce the light around pristine clarity as well Stunning. i mean with them being sort of slender stones if you like and i'm talking about the actual uh, um depth of them right now um obviously any in uh, any inclusions would stand out wouldn't they at 24 pounds and 99 pence you've jumped on this one well done i would as well um, there's a slight graduation. I'll give them a quick count as well. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So I've got fourteen on this strand. So obviously the carrot weight that we do guarantee, though. Um, you could use them individually, couldn't you, as solitaires? You could bezel set them with some nice, things, like a gold tea bead or something. Yeah, lovely. Really absolutely. Twinkly. Almost treat them like you would do your rivalies. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't, except then you've got, you know, not just a beautiful piece of jewellery, but it's also genuine gemstones. Genuine gemstones. Yes. Are you ready for your early bird hour price point? Your early bird is coming up literally after this. Uh, nine pounds and 99 pence only. What do you mean, and? Mm. How many is available? Oh. 50. Oh. oh my goodness. Again, you've, you've, you've leapt on this one. Um, we said it a couple of weeks ago. One of our, and we, it is very much in the pipeline, or we've sowed the seed, that's probably more accurate. We've sowed the seed. Um, we want to do a colourless hour. Oh. An hour okay. of colourless stones, like fine quality clear quartz like this, like 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 petalite, like zircon. Hey? Serenite. Serenite, yeah. We'd love to do we'd love to do a colourless hour. How amazing would that be? But <clears throat> even with it being a showcase, I don't know if we could actually go lower than nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Oh my goodness. 50 of these were available. Helen, Sandra, Heather, Kim, Gabrielle, Beverly, Lynn, Paula, Devon, you're there. You sit back and enjoy. You've got yours. If you haven't yet picked up the phone, there is still opportunities to do that. In three seconds, we're going even lower than already a crazy price point. It's a genuine gemstone. 
I think you'd be hard pushed to get a, to, to, to get glass. These look would look beautiful as earrings. Totally agree. Totally agree. Literally just on length of chain or oh. I don't think, I know you were saying it like you don't think you can get sort of synthetics and things at that, that kind of price point. I mean, you, the the just the quality is so so. Mm. I, Would like you be able to get these if better. they were Swarovski? Uh, there's no. You might get one if it was a Swarovski stone. But yeah. Because then you you're like. I mean, I love Swarovski. And you, so do I. You end up you, end up, you pay for the the name. Yeah. Um, but with this, it's kind of like jewelry makers always been very humble with their with their products, so they do, they don't charge you like f for the fact it's from jewelry maker. They they just give you the best possible deal, and I think that makes things like this accessible. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's the whole yeah. ethos. That's the only reason yeah. that we're able to actually bring re introduce red jadeite into people's collections. Uh, uh, you know, at a, a relatively affordable price tag is the whole ethos of the company. It's a, uh, yeah, I love seven ninety nine. It. It's very close to selling out though, so do make sure you check them out. Jan, Louise, Lynn, uh, hello June, hello to Liz, hello to Camila, hello to Helen, uh, hello to Berkshire, new customer, Lincolnshire, Tracy, Julie, Linda. You need to check them out. Um, hello Michael. Um, I sold it for one hundred and fifty pounds in the nineties. Oh. Should have kept it, and we didn't have camera phones, so. Oh, no pick, but he chatted for 20 minutes until Linda called him away. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's quite sad, isn't it? Hindsight, it's a wonderful thing, but it's got the memory. Yeah. Got the memory. Yeah, I was also thinking about Linda. Bless him. Aww. Bless him. Bless him, bless him. Um, yeah, you know what? You know what? You've got the memory, and that's the most important thing, isn't it? That's the most important thing. Uh, hello, Lynn, saying, I saw you too and managed to get on stage. <laughs> me and my friends uh, met them after the gig. Bono remembered me and put, uh, put up the front of my program. On my program. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Again, I bet they're wicked in concert. Yeah, I bet they are. Absolutely yeah. wicked. <laughs> Has anyone noticed? Because I, you too. Speaking of you too, whenever I get into my car, I've got Spotify on my on, on my phone. And whenever you get into your car, have you noticed if it's not quite switched in that you too automatically plays? Oh. I think it's something like a con. I think it's a contract. Yeah, I think it's like a contract between Apple. Is it Apple? Ah, uh, okay. There we are. Every time you two comes on, every single time. See, I've got I a mean, USB I'm... stick and it's got all sorts of things on it. But if if I don't quickly decide what I'm going to listen to, I've automatically got Texas and Charlene's Pateri. I mean, <laughs> yeah. loving that, loving that. Um, <clears throat> love this. Very clever. Very clever on their part. You yeah. know. Automatic royalties. Very, yeah, absolutely. Automatic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Is it time? Yes. Create a frenzy on the phone lines um, because there is absolutely a place for your precious metal and we've discussed this. In fact, we've discussed it at length behind the scenes. We need our silvers. I personally believe that we need gold here at Jewelry Maker and it's something that I've had conversations with Caroline only last night, actually. I was like, we need to start selling 18 karat gold um, because of the quality of the stones. Red jadeite being a prime example. But there is also an absolute need for your base metal because everybody's got different budgets, of course, and also different occasions. You know, I don't always wear sort of, I don't wear my genuine gemstones every single day of the week. Sometimes you want something that you can be a little less concerned about, shall we say. That's where your base metal is absolutely perfect. Now, they are available on pre-order. It's your early bird. And can you just repeat that? Are they? These bundles. So, one, two, three are all going under £10. Now, we're not going to hang around because there's a lot to bring today. Um, we're going to put the graphics straight onto your screens. Yes, you are getting all three. Um, it's a meter on each color. So nothing's going to be wasted. You're not going to have to cut up existing pieces of jewelry that you might have either in your stash or in your, your own personal collection. 
Um, and the fact that, we'll start with the Rolo, by the way, which have got those really lovely open links. Chains are huge at the moment. In fact, I've shared lots of different articles over um, over the, uh, the last sort of couple of years, really, um, talking about how layering is absolutely everywhere. Every single big designer brand is yeah. going into layer. It is sort it of is going with layer. Now. It's massive, Literally isn't it? Everywhere. Absolutely yeah, yeah. massive. I love it though. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. You can't decide what to wear. Just wear them all. Just wear them yeah. all. Exactly, because it's on trend. It's huge. It's really uh, and it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And mixing your metals as well. So each of these lengths that you can customize, whether that be into bracelets, necklaces, anklets, earrings, whatever you wish, um, are one meter in their length. Here we go. A Rolo chain. Yeah, it's a meter each. Have you fluffed it? Have you fluffed it already, Ross? <laughs> he is a fluffer. <laughs> He's a fluffer, not a hater. <laughs> I don't know why that came to me, but it did. <laughs> it did. So are we happy at, what, £5 per chain? Well, yes, we're happy, but that's not what we promised, is it? Oh, goodness We me. promised it under £10 for all of these. <laughs> um, perfect for you to customise layer anklets. Well, I think this is it. People are now starting, starting to actually think about doing holidays again and people what? are venturing out again. Holidays? I know. It's like people are sort of, you know, it's been, it's been a strange few years, but now people are able to go back to concerts. Finally about... They go on the beach. They can do all sorts of things. So I know. Let's, let's adorn ourselves with beautiful things. Oh, and get I'm all about there. that. All yeah. about that. <laughs> and don't you think this for one second, Adam, I have clocked that there's a clock on screen. I did. I clocked the clock. Oh, stop there because otherwise that could go horribly wrong. Uh, hello, Alison. Morning. I've trusted you well and bought the lot. Sensible. Very sensible. Thank you for trusting me. And I promise I've got your back, Alison. I promise. Absolutely promise. Because look, the phone lines are going to go nuts. They're about to melt down, and our call centre will be literally cursing the JM team <laughs> once again. Curses, JM team, Aww. flooding the phone lines. <laughs> So if I can ask you, jewellery makers, please kindly shop with us via the web or the app. I don't want to say you can't shop on the phone lines, because you absolutely can. But it does make life easier for our lovely team upstairs. Uh, not stopping here, although that's amazing. That's already £3.33 per metre long length. That's fantastic, though, isn't it? If, if well, the amount that you can make. Oh, definitely. And you can make all these long, ne like long line necklaces as well as the layered necklaces. So you just keep going. But as you said earlier, tassels. Chain tassels is the way to go, isn't it? Have you clocked the clock? No. Oh, oh. Mm. hang on, that's another clock. Yeah. Ross. <laughs> Hello, Sophia. Uh, I've said this on a previous show, but it's worth saying again. JM's base, base metal elements are excellent quality. I totally agree, and thank you so very much. much. Yeah. Thank you, Sophia, for saying that. Uh, um, I really do appreciate it. Yeah, and you know what? There is a difference, isn't there? Because sometimes, not e I'm not going to tarnish every other retailer with this brush because it's absolutely not the case, but certain base metal that you buy from certain places, it looks cheap. Well, I don't know what's going on with my skin, but I, I just destroy it. It, I just, it's like, sort of goes, it burns through. It's very strange. It burns through. I've, I've had from, yeah. But you're all right with ours? Yeah, I'm absolutely fine with ours, but I, I thought, I don't know if I should say the, the name of the I do company, think it's but, the quality. But um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a shop that you would imagine that their jewellery would, would be good quality. Marks and um, Spencer's? I guess so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I love Marks and Spencer's for jewellery. Me I too. Mean, I really do, but, but I, can't, I can't wear their base metal. Something about my skin goes through it, but I but I can swap clasps and things with with jewelry maker products. Six ninety nine, and, then I can wear and you haven't got to worry about yeah. it, have you? It's amazing. Six ninety nine. That's for three meters. So if one meter does what? What if we worked out? I should remember this, shouldn't I? Um, if one meter does what? Six bracelets, is it? Bracelets. Uh, bracelet being about seven about and a half seven, inches. Yeah. Do that if we do the yeah, math. Yeah. Or we, or, we, or we call it seven, maybe, because you'd, you'd add a class, wouldn't you? Yeah. So let's let's say five, because you add your clasp as well. So yeah. that straight away, that's 15 bracelets. And you, the, these, this, this one in particular is perfect for your bubble style, because you've got those open links. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And even if you just put one charm on it and then sold it, 
you'd make you'd probably charge more than that price wouldn't than you? the entire price yeah, yeah absolutely absolutely and they're easy to attach class to the roller chain because it has got that exposed over nice nice oval open length. links yeah just a, a proper jump ring through or a head pin or an eye pin any of those and then just your favorite gemstone mm -hmm. or a charm there you go little pearl oh well you go sophia Beautiful. said it the quality of our base metal i totally agree it is it you can see the difference can't you and and sometimes base metal can be a little bit green I don't know why. That, yeah, that, that's what a I mean. little it's, bit green. It's strange, not isn't with it? us. Yeah, not with us. Um, actually, because I, I would have actually looked at this bundle and gone, oh, okay, well that could easily be your sort of your vermeil or uh, or, or your uh, precious metal plated. Uh, Six ninety nine. So we're we're looking at what two pounds thirty three per meter. That's just crazy. per meter. <laughs> so that's working out your bracelet is going to be um 40 42p yeah do you impress me right my, my math i swear sometimes i wake up and i can actually do a little bit of math and sometimes i absolutely can't um hello to you stephanie great for tassels definitely. yes yeah definitely. and we are partial to a tassel here aren't we oh yes love a tassel loving the tassels loving the tassels tassel earrings everything tassel necklaces go for the tassels um, six pound ninety nine. How many do we have of these though, Roscoe? We had one hundred and sixty. Uh, and again, weirdly, I'm looking at the bottom of the call screen. I don't know what goes on with this, but I see the bottom of the call screen on some auctions, um, and I'm gauging the fact that this is what about is it about seventy percent of the stock? Yeah, gone already, and a lot in baskets. Well done. Okay, going to leave that one with you. Let's do the ball chain. Not the most beautiful of descriptions. Let's be honest. Um, however, we do know what we're getting and they're very, very, very expensive, especially if you start looking at the gold ones because of the natural weight that goes within. Um, you know it's going under £10. There we go. Even though you're actually getting more with the ball chain, um, more in weight, firstly. Very strong ball chain. Here we go. Again, a metre long length. You don't just get those, though, because the ball chain, you will need the fastenings. Now, you could probably, um, if you wanted to cut this up, and you can obviously wrap loop with your fine wire and your featherweight head pins. Yes, like yeah, that, you can, they? yeah. But if you wanted to just make a simple over the head chain, you've got these, they look like little little canoes. Can you see that? Or oh, little kayaks. Can you see? Looks like a little kayak. So you pop <laughs> pop your ball. <laughs> Sorry, grow up out. You pop, you pop a, a ball in one end, yep. and then literally tuck it to that side. <laughs> I really am. Go on, go on. And then a ball in the other end. And if I turn it round, you can see where, he, where, where, where it's meant to sit. Yeah. <laughs> so literally, it's, 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 it's kind of, yeah, you, you put them in and then you separate them. And that gives you that complete, that complete connection. It does. It or does. I'm so glad it's you sat next to me. Because <laughs> if it was Claire McDonald, it would have been game over, wouldn't it? It would have been absolute game over. Mind you, you were chuckling. I could see I'm, your shoulders yeah, yeah, going. I'm trying to be... You're keeping it together. Six ninety nine only um, for three meters of your ball chain. I apologise, Ross. He goes very quiet when we're in such uh, such scenarios. <coughs> he goes very very quiet. I, I didn't know how else to word it. Listen, I didn't know how else to go about that. No, that's fine. Um, that's fine. Six ninety nine only. I could probably count on one hand the amount of times we've actually had ball chain. Yeah, that, I mean, it's, it's not something we've had very often. I think we've had, um, I think the first time I saw this sort of chain, we had like a, a spool of chain mm. and it was just sort of ordinary sort of, um, you know, just like an oval link and, the, and then the little ball. And the, so it's like about an inch of chain between them. Yeah. So this, so the whole thing is, uh, you've, got, you've got the impact all the way down, haven't you? So it, yeah. you could just use a single strand to make a simple bracelet and, and it looks really fancy. If you've got um, a watch in, in either of these colours as well, so if you if you team a couple of little simple um, chain bracelets next to your watch of the same colour, it looks oh, like a, a really expensive suite. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Well, it looks an expensive chain, doesn't yeah. it? Um, okay, let's bring you the last. I wouldn't call these extender chains. I would call them chains. I think they're actually fit. They could be finished piece of jewellery as they are. We are doing them to service, absolutely. Because I don't know about you, but I would wear that as a as a chain. Look how beautiful that is. This is your classic belcher, a 
a belcher is all about the little circles do you see i think these are really really expensive they do yeah an, an extender chain yes okay you could customize it to do those little sort of couple of inches yeah. um but no i think this is a chain in its own right yeah i mean this, this i'd have to say this is my favorite one as well so um, if, if there's any left i'm well, having one do you but... know what I'm, 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 I'm in agreement with you i like these i like these a lot they're beautiful they are stunning absolutely gorgeous well the graphics are not on your screens people are already dialing through a meter of each color tassels you said earlier on absolutely beautiful tassels there's the web prize but you know we're not even stopping there so i put them all on the back of the hand so you can I mean, at these kind of prices, you would stock up, wouldn't you? Honestly, I think it'd be sensible to stock up because it's it's rare you get this sort of um, opportunity with all different colours. Yeah. You might get one or the other, but it's nice to have the option. So if you've got a, like a, a stall or a shop or something and you, you could have like a simple, like a, a pearl pendant or an amber pendant or a mm. jade pendant, and then you've got the option of three different metals. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that would appeal because to people do Because people do audience. have different preferences, yeah, they don't do, they? Yeah, yeah. Different preferences. Right, we're going to match the price. Just giving you that one minute warning. Um, in terms of quantity, how many do I have of this one? Uh, over 200, but they have been incredibly, incredibly popular. Uh, straight away, Geraldine, hello to you, Denbyshire, Isabel, Sharon, Linda, Lincolnshire, Lynn, Sharon, Sheila, Patricia. Hello, hello, hello to you, Kathy, Samantha, Ella, London, Nina, Debbie, Alison, Kim. You've all done it, well done. We've got loads of you on the phone lines, loads of you joining us on the web and the app, which is absolutely amazing. Um, keep the interaction today. Super exciting show. We've got some of those beautiful kits and a launch in Hannah's uh, next uh, Hannah's kit hour in the next nine o'clock. And then at ten o'clock we've got the launch of your red jadeite strands, and we've got the amber donuts, and we've got the most incredible masterclass. Um, I went to see. Oh, hello, Pitney. Jean Pitney. Wow, says Val. Oh my goodness. Again icons aren't they yeah i mean it's, it's all about the, the the show isn't it i love it i love it loving all this <laughs> loving all this wonderful memories aren't they because there is something so special about going to a concert uh 6.99 only to get hold of three meters of your base metal chain three meters of it so hang on just uh so seven four two, 21 pounds you can get hold of all you know for nine meters that's a lot of chain. Isn't it, it is. Yeah. That's going to get us going to well and truly stock up your stash. I, I think it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. It's a stash builder, but also, I mean, you just you just wear them all together and have your own layered it's looks, can you? Yeah. It's, it's the biggest trend at the moment, isn't Love it? Layering it. Yeah. of your chains. The biggest of trends. Make sure you do check out, though. Uh, right now we're talking about the oval, but you can obviously get hold of the different styles of your links as well, uh, from the ball chain to the sort of belcher, um, and of course the lovely oval. Um, hello, Margot. These chains are good for closed jump rings. That's a good point. That's a really good point. As so in, you as could in to solder you, to the end, or no? As in, as in. So say, for example, I think I know what you mean here, Margot. You would lose every other one, wouldn't you? So then right, you would actually have one them. closed jump ring yeah. that you could bead on, directly onto. Beautiful. Good idea, Margot. Yeah. Great idea, because that's something we don't have that often, is it? Um, amazing. Make sure you do check out those baskets, everyone. Congratulations to you all. And keep that interaction, because it is a very, very exciting show. Now, coming up after the break, we have the most dreamy kits, the most beautiful jewellery. It's been commented upon um, literally in the in the lead up to today how amazing hannah's makes are um and the first time ever that we are bringing you three meters of beautiful ombre shell pearl don't go anywhere hannah and i'll return after this <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. 
Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. So, over the last two weeks, we have had two crazily successful Jewelry Raider shows. And this Monday at 11 a.m., it returns. Now, I've just come back from the Jewelry Maker Vault, and we have got some absolutely unbelievable pieces for you. I have got some of the finest opals from Ethiopia, some of the most beautiful tanzanite. Chrysophase will be making a, a reappearance to Jewelry Maker. Peter site, pieces that we haven't seen for years here at Jewelry Maker, but most importantly, some of the most irreplaceable pieces in our vault as well. What's unbelievably special as well is I have got just a few pieces of a gemstone from out of this planet. Moldavite will be making its return at the best prices that we have ever seen at Jewelry Maker. So come and join me this Monday at 11 a.m. for an absolutely ludicrous Jewelry Raider show. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers, and a happy Saturday morning to you all. I'm so excited about today's show. Oh, this amazing hour, beautiful jewellery, wonderful demonstrations coming your way. We'll, 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 we'll go over to that in one second. But I need to mention, for those people that have just tuned in, maybe you had a little lie-in. Good on you, you deserve it. You've tuned in at the right time, because we've got an awesome hour of kits. But also, today, we are launching red jadeite strands. No, they're not dyed. No, they're not polymer infused. Totally natural at 10 a.m. today. This is beyond all imagination in terms of the rarity and the scale of this opportunity. Now, they are limited, needless to say. Um, we're talking 100 in quantity or less. This is literally something that should be in a glass cabinet. The rarity of these gemstones. I'm, I'm loving it. I, 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 saw, I saw it popped up yesterday. I don't know if it was Instagram or Facebook. Mm. And then Susie, bless her, she was straight on it. Like, yeah. oh my gosh. I, know, I saw that comment. Yeah. yeah, I know. Because I was talking to Susie in the week saying, you need to make sure you're tuning in yeah. on Saturday. Absolutely. Now, let's go. Um, yeah, I know. All available coming up in, in just under an hour's time. Hannah, these, the, your jewellery is absolutely beautiful, as Thank per you. usual. Thank you. You're a fan of a shell pearl, aren't you? I, I absolutely love shell pearls because they're lightweight. They're like you've got that beautiful luster on them. They look amazing, mm. um, but they're all quite they're uniform as well. So if you're if you're making sort of three D shapes and sizes, then they're going to like 
tessellate together nicely. They're just beautiful, nice finish. To so them. things like looming, I can do looming as well. That Stretchy would look bracelets, macrame. Yeah. And I'm of course thinking back to, uh, and I thought of this yesterday actually. Um, do you remember that necklace, that big collar necklace you did with Shell Pearl on the front of that DVD that we did? Yeah. yeah do you yeah. remember that, Michael? I filmed it. Didn't yeah. You filmed it. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at these kits, and I know you haven't got the graduation, but you could still do it, couldn't you? Uh, yeah, I think you could. I mean, you'd, it, so it would be slightly different. It would be more of a sort of um, a bib style rather than a graduated collar. Nice. But it would work, yeah. 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 Um, now, you will clock that each of these kits, and there's a reason why we've been speaking about sort of uh, music icons. Um, let's play a game. The first person to, to guess the artist wins what? Oh, just wins. Okay, okay. <laughs> fair enough. Taking part. Okay, fair enough. Just for a bit of fun. This is going to take you nanoseconds because you can't. I, I'd be very surprised if people don't get this. Very, very surprised. We've actually mentioned them already this morning. Uh, they're, not, they're, not, they're not difficult. Oh, well, there's a spelling mistake in one of them. Oh. <laughs> it is not just one spelling mistake, there's two. There's. <laughs> Oh, what a shame, because it's a great song, too. Anyway, um, OK, <laughs> you'll have guessed before then, don't worry. Now, I want to start... No, in fact, Hannah, you tell me which one to start with. What kit do you want me to start with? Uh, well, I, I, I've been playing with the purple kit because I, I, I was only given um, a couple of them, but that's sort of a colour I gravitate towards. Shall we start with the purple, yeah. then? Yeah. They're all available on pre-order if you want to shop ahead. Now, remember, the first person... You don't win anything, <laughs> you just win. It just, it's just, it's just well done me. Um, we'll give you a shout out on it. Yeah, of course. Now, here it is. The first time that Jewelry Maker has ever launched a three meter length of beautiful shell pearl. There are 80 of each of these kits, so you do need to be quite quick on this one. In ombre. We'll give you the 60 second countdown to make it fair for absolutely everybody. Um, OK, so let's just take one end. Here we go. And you can see the ombre. Um, you've got, oh my goodness, Hannah, they're absolutely beautiful. They're amazing, aren't they? See that soft progression to the pink, to the soft dusky pink. And then it goes pow. Oh my goodness me, they're absolutely beautiful. But Three. it goes on and on and on and oh on. Oh my, <laughs> I'm going to make so much jewellery from this. So much. Three metre long lengths. You know, sometimes we can actually be quite limited on the quantity of the gemstones that we actually have. Yes. Yeah, you yeah. know, which, you know, that in itself will almost, uh, uh, um, yeah, if you've, got, if you've got a design in mind, the oh, I haven't got quite the gemstones or the, the length of the strand that I would actually need. You're not going to have those issues with this, are you? No. I, I, this, is, this is one of those kits where all of the, um, all of the shell pearl jewellery that I've made was all from the same kit. Plus everything I'm going to demo with, plus what's left in that bag. Oh. It's all the same kit. It's like, honestly, this uh, You didn't need of it. duplicates for the demo. It, it was it's amazing. Oh, yeah. wow. Come on, we're going to guess this, aren't we? First person that messaged him was Tracy Queen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I watched the film the other day, it's so good. <laughs> 80 of these kits are available purple naturally is naturally is one of our most popular colors isn't it yes isn't I, it the isn't it the color of craft it's the color of creativity um and wisdom oh yeah there so, we go. Um, I need a bit of purple in my life yeah. then. <laughs> if it's going to give me a bit of wisdom. Brand new, never done these before. The, the, these kits have never, ever, ever been on your screens. Um, you've got a three metre length plus um, the, the actual ombre effect. And you've got this incredible uh, um, stretch magic elastic, which is super, super duper strong. Um, in terms of the actual thickness, by the way, it's a 0.5 millimetre, so it will go through your shell pearl and a multitude of other gemstones. Now, this is fabulous at £49.99. All the kits are going to the same price. And that's not the price. Ooh. Shell pearl, beauty okay. of shell pearl, is it's also not only more, more robust, more uniformed, um, 
It's also more affordable, isn't it? It definitely is. It definitely is. And there's just masses of it as well. If you wrap that all the way around your wrist, oh. you have like a whole arm of, of shell pearls. I mean, Coco Chanel eat your heart out. We've got we've got a PowerPoint where we talk. I think it just says pearls, 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 Ross, and it's literally layering of pearls. That Coco Chanel uh, once said, "Every woman deserves ropes and ropes, ropes of pearls." Of pearls yes. She wasn't talking about cultured pearls. She was actually talking about faux pearls at the yeah. time, um, because she pioneered the introduction, really, to um, uh, sort of of your imitation stones. You could technically argue the fact that shell pearl is a gemstone because it is con reconstituted shell yeah. and pearl it's still yeah it's made of the same um ingredient if you like the yeah. same makeup it's just it's just been put together yeah yeah it's more durable yeah. reconstituted in that idyllic shape not your price we're not stopping at 49.99 shop ahead on the blue shop ahead on the oh that's lovely like a Pretty, oh it? like a glass of champagne that one is um you've got your gold and your silvers you can you can check out all all of the above are we matching the price on all the kits Twenty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Ten meters of your stretch magic elastic. Three meters. Three meters of your beautiful, beautiful ombre pearls. Look in the it. six Look. mils. Give us the other end. Do you want to grab an end? We're there not, we I'm go. not going to skip, but <laughs> no, I uh, know I haven't skipped since I was about twelve. Look. 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 Seriously, <laughs> you know we literally we, we could we could. We could both have those ropes and ropes of pearls, couldn't we? <laughs> oh, my goodness Amazing. me. So much we can end up getting. <laughs> uh, yeah, not even stopping there. Seriously, look at all that. There are only 80 of these available and half the stock has already gone. And I mean, I, I see why that one kit literally has created all your jewellery plus the demonstrations and you still have leftovers. Yeah. Uh, the clock is ticking because we're not even stopping there. Um, we want to be able to treat you, not just the one colourway, maybe to um, so that you can actually get the blues, so that you can actually get the beautiful. I'm going to bring it in because I think that would look lovely together. Beautiful, isn't it? Really pretty. How about those? Ah, oh, but they work, don't they? They all work they, together. Yeah. Hang on. I think and because you've got the ombre as well, you can just continue graduating sort of throughout the colours. You can mix and match. You can put them all together. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking all those all those Full kits on. together. Blue and purple naturally goes together yeah, as well, doesn't that. it? That's sort of like a berry mixture, isn't all it? All berries. Blackberries Ooh. and blueberries. And oh, delicious summer berries. Not even stopping here. We're going even lower. Plus, you get your stretch elastic as well. So, if even if you just want to do simple stretchy bracelets, um, win-win scenario. Twenty-four ninety-nine for three meters. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> um, how, I'm useless at the metric uh, metric system. But if if uh, our strands are say thirty-eight centimeters, how many thirty-eight centimeter strands do you get in a meter? Sorry, I know I'm testing you now. So. So, 38 centimetre strands. Oh, yeah, four, yeah. So, how many do I get in each? It's about nine, isn't it? Or eight and a bit. 7.89, there we go, there we go. So, just shy of eight strands in this kit. That's, that's Of our usual strands. Yeah, and it's an incredible value, isn't it? It's just like, it's amazing. I love the fact that they're all um, sort of on one one strand so you can really sort of have a look at them but it also means you can sort of like fold it over itself and work out yeah. how you want to design your jewelry as well before you even take it off the strand oh. it's just it's brilliant and it's the perfect kit to make that inspiration that's why i've got like i said we've got a powerpoint called pearls 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 that's all right um where literally um all the models are just literally draped in pearls and they more than likely are shell pearls yeah well i would think they probably are i mean if, if you know you know if you do those um multi-loop slider clasps um, in some of our findings packs, um, you could you could use any of these and just make sort of like three, four, five drapes of, of pearls, <sighs> and then all, all graduated up. And then you know if you were going to if you were going to a wedding or a party or you know it just looks fabulous. It uh, doesn't. It just yeah. We can use this one. It wasn't the one I was thinking of, but we can definitely definitely show these um, because yeah, it this look 
literally layering, layering, layering pearls. It's, it's fabulous. I mean, I think it's, I mean, you could say it's decadent, but at the same time, I think people are more willing to be a bit more flamboyant when it's something like a shell pearl. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they look like shell pearls to me. They do. Oh, no, they're not. They do say fresh water, but they do. that one I know is, is, is shell pearl. Um, lovely. Uh, there's a photograph of Sarah Jessica Parker um, actually wearing, uh, wearing, oh, there we go, something oh, yeah. like this. Literally, all out. That's what Coco Chanel was talking about. Literally layering up pearls. Love it, love it. There is no such thing as too much pearls. No, I don't think you're right. And uh, do we do the GC twist still, the Gemma Crow twist? We basically. can. You layer them up and twist them. And imagine we could do that. Twisted necklace. I'll tell you what, we'll do that with the next colourway, yeah. shall we? Okay. Um, let's do. Gold? Yeah. Ooh. Shop ahead, pre-order on your kits. Three metres. There's almost so much it's difficult to manage. It's a nice problem to have though, isn't it? It is, don't isn't you it think? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What about that? Look at that. Amazing. Looks fabulous. I love this colourway. A little bit of a tan as well. If you're on holiday, yeah. Nice swishy dress. Absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. These. Are, this is is a really decadent colourway of shell pearl, where you've got you know your rich golds, you've got your almost like champagne diamond colours within there as well to um, to the chocolate tones. Ah, oh, we're matching that price point. So what's this one called? Uh, uh, Hello, Stuart. Uh, David Bowie. What's David Bowie? Name of the song? It's not, it's Queen. Yeah. Did David Bowie do it as well? With them. Oh, yes. yes. Sorry, Ted. Yeah. <laughs> of course he was in it, wasn't he? Under pressure. That one. <laughs> Pushing down on me. That one. Yeah, love it. Sorry, Ted. Sorry, sorry, I was a bit behind then. Um, beautiful, beautiful colours here. $24.99. We're matching the price across all the different kits so you can choose your favourite colourways. Or oh, go all out. Go on. It's Shell Pearl. You can be indulgent with your Shell Pearl. Plus, don't forget, you also get 10 metres of your stretch elastic, which is 0.5 millimetres. Um, so if you just want to do simple creations like your stretchy bracelet, then that's going to absolutely work as well. Um, we, we've spoken about this uh, before on air, and I know it's something that Susie says quite a lot as well. People immediately recognise pearls. Whether yes. it's shell pearls or culture pearls, and you may well need to educate them on the difference of that, but um, immediately recognise them and immediately recognise them as, as, as an item of luxury. Yes, yeah, yeah, I think they do. You know, it's, it's luxury, it's um, sometimes it's um, status, sometimes mm -hmm. it, it's um, just something special. You know, you, you feel like you're, you know, elevating yourself slightly or it makes, yeah. it makes you walk with a you do, step, you do. don't you? You do, you're so right. Like, yeah. we've got a little bit of a long-standing joke in this, uh, amongst this crew, that whenever I put something like pearls on, like a pearl necklace, the team in my ear will go, oh, where's Elle gone? Because she says, I, I, I hold myself slightly Hello. different. You do. I think, I think it's, it just makes you feel good. It does. I totally yeah. agree with you there. Twenty four ninety nine for the beautiful golds. Um, for the beautiful <laughs> golds. Yeah, all of a start, sudden start striking poses like Madonna. <laughs> um, loving this. Um, again, moving on because we want to bring you these kits simultaneously alongside one another. Can we do the blue? Do you want to do the blue? Yeah. Yeah. I think the blue's going to melt the no, phone lines. Oh, no, because that one comes with a dis different elastic, doesn't it? Let's do that last. Can we do my favourite? Champagne, baby. Oh, I Champagne. love it. Well, you know. <laughs> this is beautiful. It is so lovely, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Look. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, but look, look at that as a little design feature. I've just made it, a little, uh, yeah. little knot in the I did a little, uh, I did a, yeah, a little love knot there. Here we go. Oh, my goodness me. It's, there, this is a lot of pearls to manage, isn't it? I love them, though. Me too. It's, like, oh, it's just cascading. They're so, so pretty. This colourway is absolutely exquisite. I want to buy this kit. I want this kit. That's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's the soft, gentle, nude tones. So you've got it's obviously your classic uh, ivory white. You've got your more powder pink. You've got like an apricot-y like colour there, like a papaya pearl. 
um, to more of like a champagne-like colour. Three metre lengths in this beautiful ombre. Think of the work that's gone into ombreing. You don't need to do anything to this. You could literally just restrand it and have it as an over the head and literally just wrap it over just multiple keep going times. Around, around, around. Yeah. I know our sister channel did those. Um, I don't think they were quite three, three metre lengths, but they did sort of, uh, um, I think might have been a metre and a half or maybe even a metre. Literally 360, and the idea was that you just sort of knot them or throw them over your head. Yeah, I, I, I think they're really versatile like that as well, because you can, you can either do the layered look, you can do the twist and then get, um, there's a, a, a fastening called a shortener. Yeah. And um, clip that on the back. Um, and then, I mean, just like the, the big knot like you did before. You know, it was like if you if you wear multiple layers and then just do, do a big yeah, loose knot like nineteen twenties, yeah, yeah they not in the really centre. Uh, yeah. Rihanna did it. She rocked. Uh, she rocked. I think I don't know if they were shell pills or cultured pills, whichever it is. Here it is. Um, either way, she does rock. Yeah, yeah, she looks absolutely amazing. This is, she's wearing a cardigan for goodness sake. She's wearing oh, a cardigan pearls. and pearls. Yeah. But looks absolutely amazing, doesn't she? Layers and layers and layers. You could absolutely be inspired by that Chanel piece of jewellery. Um, it's very clearly Chanel because of the big flower. Um, and, of course, it says it behind her. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, a yeah. bit of a giveaway. <laughs> You could absolutely wear that look um, just by restranding these. This has proven to be one of the most popular colourways. I totally agree with you. And this song is... Who, who texted in? They're all queen. Yeah, they are all queen. It's a kind of magic. It's a kind of magic. Even queen likes queen. Yeah. Who doesn't? Who doesn't like queen? They, are, they were so ahead of their time, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, I mean, so just incredible, incredible talent. It's oh. such a, it's such a, it's just anybody shame, that can make it? a make like a, 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 an absolute worldwide hit record with <laughs> is a talent. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Twenty four ninety nine only. Tribal call to arms. Yeah, isn't it, it's know? awesome, <laughs> absolutely awesome. Um, this as well, it will look perfect alongside the gold colours. In fact, they all really work together, they don't do, they? They do, you really can mix and match them. And, and I think if you do, you, you get all sorts of wonderful different ah, kind of looks as well. Beautiful. You make little floral designs. You could use them for bridal things like tiaras and combs uh, and... Oh, yeah. You know, you, re you really could. It's like, it's fabulous colours. I'm going to take inspiration from Riri. I'm thinking about literally just the, multi. you know, multi-layers. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, now, this is absolutely going to be probably the fastest seller. Do you agree? Yeah, I think Silver I think always so. is. And, yeah, at monochrome, you can wear it with everything. <sighs> I d I, I'm struggling to show you all of this because there's that much. <laughs> there is that much. Here we go. Layers and layers of pearls, Coco mm. Chanel once said. There is no such thing as too many pearls. Uh, beautiful shell pearls. So basically, uh, if you want to know the difference between a shell pearl and a cultured pearl, um, shell pearls are reconstituted. So what that basically means, um, pearls get cultured pearls sometimes get fractured during the drilling process, um, or maybe they're not that they're not that in a desirable shape. So what they do is they still keep the material, uh, they ground it down to a fine powder along with beautiful um, iridescent shell, and they reconstitute it into the idyllic uh, the idyllic spherical shape. Makes them much more robust. You haven't got to be anywhere near as precious about uh, perfume and, uh, and hairsprays with a shell pearl and you are guaranteed uniformity yeah. they are always one of our biggest sellers and i'm looking across to your masterclass necklace as well mm. hannah with the hematite yep. this would look beautiful with the hematite it, it would look fantastic actually if you if you made um like big tassel necklaces out of these they would be stunning and yeah I just you could you could team them with the hematite you could just use them just as the shell pearl mm -hmm. and i've me being me i've put seed beads with, with mine but um you Why not? You don't need to, but I just, I just like the graduation then. Yeah, nice. And you are guaranteed to have a perfect six millimetre round. Yes. Guaranteed. Yeah. $24.99 for your beautiful shades of silver. I love that. That darker shade is really lovely, isn't it? It's, it's very subtle. Well, almost like a changing. smoky silver. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's very, I think it's quite a sophisticated strand, that one, with all the, yeah. the, the subtle shift in there. Nice. That would be lovely alongside that black spinel that we had oh, earlier on. Gosh, yeah. But yeah. the black oh, spinel. And those little labradorite, you had Ooh, that, like you yeah. the labradorite between them. 
that would really, really sparkle. Beautiful, Stunning. absolutely beautiful. Now I know why I've had Queen in my head at the beginning oh. uh, since this morning, because I've been literally, Dan will tell you, singing, she keeps them away, Shonda, mm. in a pretty cabin. Mm. I've been singing that all morning, <laughs> all morning. 24 99 only for uh, Killer Queen, beautiful greys. Um, make sure you check out, and again, great addition for anybody that wants to start jewellery making and maybe hasn't started that adventure yet. It is highly, highly addictive um, and you are making luxury jewellery. Now, the final kit, this is all about the blues. You feel like I should mm. pass it over here. Now, are you ready? I just don't think it's going to last long, this one. <laughs> we always, blue, we know blue is the most popular of colour. Everybody loves blue. Um, you think about it in the sapphire world, it is. You, know, you think tanzanites, you think kyanites, you think your lapis lazuli. Historically, blue is the most popular colour of gemstone. Full stop. And the same applies with shell pearl. Oh my, look at that colour. Just look at the colours in should there. Shall we go across, shall we go along Beautiful. the strand? Beautiful, yeah. This is stunning because you've almost got like an aubergine colour. Beautiful, aren't they? Oh, it's almost like a tanzanite, very yeah. pale blue. Then, oh, grades into the sort of more of an electric blue. Then you have like a duck egg blue. Oh, that's pretty. Then it goes to the white, and then you go back to that lovely, uh, almost like tanzanite color. Oh my goodness, this strand's beautiful. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? There's that duck egg blue. Oh. Amazing, amazing strand. I think this one, this kit, again, might well be one of the most popular. It's hard to choose because they're all I know, beautiful, aren't I know, they? But I think, I think that team with the purple as well. So oh put, yes, put two together. I, lo I love the sort of the berry crush thing going on. Yeah, that, I think they just look amazing. That's six meters of shell pearl if you got oh, both yeah. of these kits for <laughs> under fifty pounds. It would look lovely with the silver. It would look lovely with the pinks. Um, also, you are getting your elasticity here. This is for the bead on elasticity. It's the same measurement, 0.5 millimeters, um, and you're getting 25 meters. So don't stop me now. <laughs> Don't stop me no. <laughs> anybody that can guess, anybody that guesses that song will get every item, item on the show sent to them for free. With, with, as long as it's that. Don't stop me no. <laughs> yeah, so much, yeah. <laughs> oh, bless I love it. I love it. I like the little typos that we have. Hematiti will go down in history. <laughs> it absolutely will. There was, uh, the, yeah, graphics, yeah, not getting hematite. No, no, it's a, it's a very rare form of hematite known as hematiti. <laughs> uh, £24.99 only uh, for your beautiful blues and your kit, don't sop me no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's why you love us, isn't it? Everyone's oh. thinking that now. If they've got, if they've got their song oh. in the car, you'll be thinking of that. That's yeah. what you're going to be That's singing now. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> um, how many did we have of this kit in the lovely blues? Eighty of this kit, <laughs> and there's a well. We're racing towards half the stock being allocated already. Uh, Lynn, Claire, Angela, Cheryl, hello to you. Uh, anonymous maker getting two. Kathy, Stella, Patricia, uh, Alison, Susan, and Brian. Nolene, hello to you. Jade, Yvette, Karen, Julie, Janet, Angela. Keep on dialing through because there's loads of you there. Um, any questions that you have? Oops, sorry. Any questions that you have for lovely Hannah, do message us because we are live here in the studio as well. You are half an hour, just under half an hour away from the launch of beautiful Type A, which is just incredible, natural red jadeite in strands, which is unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Please, please, please make sure you're with us for that because that is literally one of the most exciting opportunities in the history of JM. Um, Hannah, let's let's admire your jewellery once again because that they're absolutely gorgeous. And in terms of potential of what you can make out of these kits, yeah, I mean you could make masses of things out of these kits. I think because um, the kit sort of comes with elastic, then I, I've gone with, with obviously with elastic jewellery. I have done one that's on memory wire that just sort of wraps around, 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 just because mm -hmm. I I like that sort of wrap style. But 
Um, I think you could do like you could do marla necklaces with these because there's so many of them. Wow. You, 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 like, all the long line tassels, all that sort of the 1920s flapper style, or you know you can just pick your favourite colour and then and make a sweet of that out of that. Yes, that's absolutely. <laughs> du, du, Charleston wasn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, so I've just been playing with um, oh, the position the thing. Of, of colour and how that changes the, the pattern. Um, so I've got, I've got one, uh, there's like a stretchy ombre on there, which, which just sort of follows the graduation of colours and the subtle shift in colour uh -huh. there. Those are just individual, straightforward, stretchy bracelet, and I, I've just used um, a spacer bead from my stash to hide the, the knot underneath. The one next to it is the, uh, the one with the um, memory wire. And then this one, I was just going to show, uh, there's a little ring that goes with it. And I was just going to show how you, you then get the lines instead of the little set of four. Oh, yes, um, yeah, just, like a chevron. Just, it's literally just to do with like positioning of colour. Mm. Um, so I've got, I've got my length of elastic. I would say always get, get more elastic than you think you're going to need. So I've got at least a metre. Okay. And then stretch it out a little bit to start with because it just, it's sort of, um, you can kind of feel it shift. And it's like it stops the, the overstretch once you've made it. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to use a, a, a big eye needle. Um, mine's very old and very bendy look. <laughs> it's well loved. It's well, it's well loved, um, but um, it's, it's a useful little tool. Um, I think you could probably do this without a needle, but I just find it easier. Um, and then what I've done before, I'm, before I start anything, with any shell pearls, I, I always like to um, use a reamer. So it's like a little needle nose sort of file. And you just pop that into the drill holes and just give it a little twizzle and then some sometimes you'll get like a little bit of swarf on the top you can just brush that away and if you do that before you start it just saves a lot of time when you're making okay. um it's because of the, because i'm passing several um bits of elastic through the same bead and then um if it's just a single strand it'll just go through but if you want to do double strands it just helps to have a little bit more okay. clearance for the holes so i'm just going to start off i'm going to take two of one color and two of another and I'm going to feed those on like this. Whoops. Or I'm going to ping it across the studio, as is always the way. They're always naughty. You know, when you do these things at home, they, uh, they behave themselves better. Yeah. <laughs> show, show it off for the camera. That's what I it know. is. That's it. They get excited. Look at me. Yeah. I'm on TV. OK. And then it's just hopefully gentle pull. And what I have found, I'll be, be honest about it, is if you if you, the drill hole isn't big enough and you need to ream it a bit more, you'll find that you can actually um, slice the elastic with your needle. So you do need to be a bit mindful of it. Um, so once the, the, the drill hole is clear, it's, it's much easier going, shall mm -hmm. I say. So just overhand knot, probably do maybe three of those. And then I'd add a little dab of um, clear nail polish. Yep. Not the glue that's super. <laughs> Not that one. Well, you could if you wanted to, but nail polish, I think, is cheaper, isn't it, if you've got a clear one? True. Most, most people might have a clear, clear one kicking around, although that could be sweeping generalisation on my part there. I don't know. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the needle through. So it's going through again the second time. And then you've got to look at your pattern. So on this one, I want to make a row of three of the colour. So I've got to add another purple one, and then I've got to add two of my next colour to then continue the chevron, so or the stripe, whatever you want to call it. So it's the purple one first, and then two of the next colour. And then I'm just going to gently help these over the end of the needle so that they go through. And then what you want to do is actually go back through this pearl here so I'm stretching it out slightly and this is hopefully going to be okay to go straight through like that so that's the third pass of elastic through that bead which is why this um this elasticity this elastic um, thread we've got is really good um the gauge is quite fine but it's still relatively strong so um you know it is it is elastic but you can you can use it perhaps in a, in a more um free way than you might normally so, and again, I'm weaving my threads through until we're at the top. So again, I've got to look at the pattern. So this time, in order to follow that pattern, that bead needs to be over here. So I know that I need to go to my, my next color along. Shall I go back to purple there? 
Maybe I will. So I need two of the purple first. Is it purple? Should I do a white one? I'll do a white one for a bit of, bit of a change. Okay. And you just have to like if you. It's literally it's just watching the pattern, watching what's happening next. Like, do you want the colour that's next in line, or do you want the last of the three to make the line? So adding this one in there. And then again, picking it up, and I need to go back through this top bead here. So each time, you need to make sure. <coughs> uh, this is a big eye needle I'm using. Just um, somebody was asking earlier, which basically means it's just it's it's got the, the whole length of the needle is an eye as well, apart from the very end tip. Okay, passing that through there. If you haven't got a big eye needle, you might be able to use um, ordinary beading thread mm -hmm. um, and then just fold it in half. So the yep. only, only problem with that is you do need to make sure you've got a lot of clearance with the drill hole because it makes it like sort of a, a, a double thickness. But okay. you could probably do that. So you see the stripes are starting to form. So this time... <clears throat> we don't actually have them in stock at the moment because we have got a couple of people asking. But um, watch this space. I'm sure it is on, it is on order already. They, they, they do make a difference, especially if you're like me and you struggle to thread your needle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, absolutely. I mean, they're great for... Like, That's why yours is stuff. so well loved. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's very wonky, bless it. But um, it's one of those things that's useful to have in your stash if mm. you can get one. But I would say you can you can probably manage with them. Um, maybe even a darning needle. I, I, I'm just I'm just thinking that it needs something that's got a, a, a big enough eye to be able to thread it. However, if you're just threading individual, um, like a simple stretchy, you wouldn't need a needle anyway. You could just pass it through. Yeah. As long as you've reamed the holes as well first. We're just gonna scoot. Oh, you sorry. Up. That's all right, lovely. Um, just so you know, just so you know, um, the purple, the We Will Rock You kit that's on your screens right now is the most limited of the kits. Guess we shouldn't be surprised by that. Um, but it's still currently available, all of them, but they are getting quite limited. Yeah. I would honestly, I really think, and like, if you put them on, um, if I get you that that one, am I allowed to take it out of shot? Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna pinch that one. Yeah. I'm gonna say you have a play with that because that that's memory wire. And I think that's another way of, of really displaying these well, because you can put masses on there and it's so lightweight. Oh, yes. One size fits all, isn't it, with a, yeah. with a, with a, with a memory wire? I think, I, yeah. I mean, so it's just an alternative way of doing it. I really love the, wrap loop, the wrapped um, bracelet kind of look as well. So I did one with um, um, like sterling silver spaces and, and pearls previously. And I, I wear it almost every day, to be fair. Um, but I think I think you could do the same thing with these kits. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. And you'll make lots of these because you've got three meters. Yeah. Um, amazing. Loving that. Loving that. So I mean, if you were to once you figured out the sort of the formation of your colours, Hannah, could you just literally? Because I'm I'm I've got the me I'm memory literally like a fish. Um, so you could almost write down, couldn't you, the pattern? That you're yeah. doing. You, yeah, you could write Dark down purple. Write down the pattern, or you could mix it up, or you could just go for your favourite colour. Yeah. Um, and then I don't know how much time I've got, but I was to, to as long as you need. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going because I want to show you how to make it into the ring <clears throat> itself. So I need to add the other couple of rows, um, but it's the same principle for a bracelet as well. So hang on, I'm just trying to go quicker. Right, pop these two on as the next colour. So all of these, you know, like every time you get one of these like central pearls, you need to make sure that the hole is big enough that you've got three passes of elastic going through there. So sometimes they, they will get a little bit stuck. Some, sometimes you need to um, back up a little bit um, or you can gently sort of help the, the needle through by using pliers, but then that's where I've come unstuck before. And I found if I try and force it, you can you can slice through, um, which is why I say use more elastic than you think you're going to need. And then if you do have a, a hiccup like that, so w when I say slice through, it would be this bit that comes away. So you'd only be losing the little bit that was mm. sticking out. So if you've got more than you think you need, you're always you're still going to have enough, even if you do have a, a pearl that you need to take off and then re-ream. So passing that one through. Okay. Mm. And this elastic disappears, doesn't it? It's it's brilliant, honestly. I think I think it's fabulous. I mean, this elastic is lovely. 
and you could use it with ordinary pearls you could use mm. it with um, any of your gemstones um, I've used it with the um, in the hematite actually that's coming up I've made um, a, a cubic right angle weave bangle which yeah. is all elastic as well um, and that I mean that's hematite which is quite a lot heavier than the shell pearls and it still works and it's you know it's it's really effective so I'm just getting to the point where I want to try and join this up. So if you're going to join the end of your bracelet or you're going to join um, to make a, a ring, again, you've got to work the needle through until you're at the end. Don't rush or it's going to... There we go, just gently. Pass that through. And then you want to match your colours up at the other side. So you're effectively you're folding it over because you want, you want to join that end to that end which means you're going to need to have a purple on that side so that you join the one, two, three in a row. And then you've got the colour that you're joining, you need one, two, and then whatever your colour is there to complete the last one. So if I pick up the, the um, purple, go back through the, the, your very first one that you created and being careful not to get stuck with the knot that you created. Uh -huh. So you do need to move that out of the way slightly. Okay, so you pull that together. And then you add the colour that you started with. And then you go back through that last one there. So you're, you're making a new set of four by joining it together. I'm just going to turn it around so that I can pull that through. And then it should be kind of like a seamless join. I'm hoping that I've not got tangled up with the knot. Right, so this is one where it's gone a little bit tight and then it might slice through. I'm just going to grab... Just going to grab that. Gentle coaxing. Yeah, it still, it still might go, it might not. Yeah, so that's sliced. So here's an example, right? So that bit is the bit that's sliced off the end, but it's a tiny, tiny bit. Uh -huh. So then you can undo that and then you can re oh, retry. Oh, so all is not lost. It's not, yeah, it's not lost. So, so it, does, it does mean that you just need to be a bit more mindful. So I think it might be that I should have made that hole a little bit bigger. So I'm hoping I can do that without needing to undo it. Which is why it's worth spending the time to start with, doing like reaming the pearls, just to see if it gives you a little bit of um, clearance. Mm. So we'll try again, and it might be, it might be that I can get it through. It might be that it, it's, um, it's one where I need to back up and re-ream them. Get a hold of it. Yeah, because if you look at this one, it's already got several passes of thread, and then I've got the knot down there as well. trying again what I'm trying to do is like sort of force it fo forward a little bit oh I thought that was going to go then but hey hey Yay. Yay. gentle just, persuasion yeah it really it really is a case of just like don't don't get angry with it and just gently gently keep working um somebody's asking to see the tassel that you've made yeah sure we can show Hang that on a minute. Too. Yeah. So that's um, the the hematite on, on the necklace there. And that's coming up in the in the masterclass. Yeah. But you, at the same time, you could use these kits in the tassel. Yeah, you absolutely could. So, so we've got the, the hematite kits coming up. But these ones, so it's basically it's different hematite sized beads and mm -hmm. then seed beads to the the um, tassel connector. Yeah. And then we'll 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 show you more later. But it's got little loops that allow you to stitch your tassel to it. And then the rest of it is just simply threading, so that you absolutely could make that necklace. Yeah. Um, with these colours. With, with these colours, the only thing you'd need is the, is the tassel cap. Yeah. Which is in the other kit, but there's nothing to say you can't mix nope. and match the hematite with the shell pearl. Definitely and I think not. It would look really effective anyway. So. It certainly yeah. would. Um, and the tassel next yeah. to uh, as well, you could actually use these kits yeah. as well, couldn't you? Um, also, I was asked to bring in some previous jewellery that I made because you could do those designs. So on the end there, there's a multicoloured pearl necklace. Um, 
can, can you see it on the white bust uh -huh. there, that one? So yeah. if, you, if you've got some bugle beads and um, some spaces, things like that, you could make that kind of necklace with these kits as well. Yeah. Or you could do the, the tubular netting, which is the white one on the far end. Yeah. Um, and then again, that, that is, it's the same principle, but I would use um, like a, a wildfire or a fire line or even a beading thread to then make those little components because otherwise you've got you've got to get the, the elastic through maybe four or five times with some of the, the pearls and that's that's a bit of a push three three is fine yeah but more than that it becomes a difficult but you could use things like your wildfire and everything like that can't if you if you use wildfire you can absolutely do yeah. it yeah amazing they, they amazing um, do check out uh, your 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 baskets on um, on your kits they've been incredibly popular beautiful jewelry hannah as thank always you. thank you as always now Yesterday, we brought you an amazing storage solution, which can entirely sold out. I've got one of our newest jewellery maker bags to bring you, and this is a roomy bag. It's coming up in about five minutes' time. It's the one with the hard bottom. It does. It's nice and robust. It's huge. It's literally like a flight bag, is that? It's like, it's it's, like a Mary Poppins bag. It is, yes. <laughs> um, that's coming up. Now, we've got a question. Hello to you, Andrea, saying, how do you knot the end of the ring to finish off the piece? Sorry, I thought I... Yeah, no, that's fine. It's like, um, I, what I would say is what I've done is wherever possible, feed back through um, the last few pearls, and then you literally loop your um, needle underneath the thread like that, so tuck it underneath. And so this is your loop of thread. Put your hand through that loop. Ooh, take the end of the needle and pull it through. And then what that does is it just creates a knot around the, the, um, the stitch, but close to the pearl. So I would do that a couple of times. And then again, just put a dab of either glue or clear nail polish on that and then let it dry before you cut that away. Because once you pull this and stretch it, if the knot's completely, um, if it's not completely dry, then it, it could undo itself, and then you have to start again, which would be a bit annoying. So um, yeah, nice and simple. And another question for you, uh, Hannah from Cambridge, is saying, what length bracelet do you make uh, to sell, please? Uh, and is the length of elastic longer than the wrist measurements? Thank yeah, you. Yeah. So, question. so I would say um, I usually go for an average of about um, seven inches for the length of the, the bracelet when it's unstretched, and with elastic, I would say you're gonna you're gonna need a good maybe two and a half, three meters stretched out because if you're if you're doing that particular pattern, you need to allow for the fact that you might lose a bit off the end, and you need to just make sure that you're not going to trip yourself up because if you get and you go in through, and out, don't you? So yeah, you're going round and round and round um, multiple times. So if you if you've got masses and masses there. It, it just it just it's, it gets you out of trouble really it's like there, there's going to be a point where like you'll need you'll need to add the needle back on if you run out it's quite it's not mm. so easy to attach elastic to elastic without creating quite a big knot yeah um so then I, I, with with some weaving techniques you can do a little knot and then weave them through and carry on i think with elastic you're safer if it's all one piece yeah um yeah. and and yeah, so you're better to have it there as that safety yeah. net, aren't you? Yeah, so, so always use it, I'd say... Uh, for, More than you need. Uh, yeah, I would say uh, about two and a half, three metres. Because worst case scenario, I'm for just... For a bracelet. I'm yeah. looking at this, that you, the excess that you have. Well, I can yeah. make a stretchy bracelet out of that. You can absolutely it's not make simple stretchy. So, so I've, I've used way more than I needed, and I've got, what, 50? Yeah, I'd say probably about... 50 centimetres, yeah, yeah probably about 50. 50. Something like that, centimetres So you can left. easily make you it... You can trim that and then just do a normal stretchy or two or however many you want with that. Yep. And then, so it's not being wasted. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, coming up the bag, but before we do, I want to bring you a really beautiful, beautiful charm kit. Now, this comes with a complete... I don't know if I... I I'm just going to borrow one of the busts here. Should we do it now? Let's do it now. Because, look... Have a little look at Monica Veneda and see their paper, I think it's called the paperclip or Alto. It might be the yes. Alto chain. Um, they do a necklace like this and it's like a hundred pounds. Um, now, I know that this is not the same uh, materials. However, it's still a lovely piece of jewelry. Would we all agree? Um, so you're not just getting the chain. You're also getting the corresponding finished bracelet. Right. And if you take a little look down here, oh, look. you have you have all the jump rings and all of these beautiful charms. Um, so we're talking about what? Two, four, six, eight, ten charms. You'll love these charms as well. 
because lots of them are quite well quite symbolic this hasn't been on our screen since march was it march it was it was uh, ross's first official morning show um the first of march i remember it actually very vividly ross um here we go so you've got that really beautiful uh, you've got the key you've got um a butterfly you've got a nice tree of life just here all beautiful charm stroke pendants there's the there's the butterfly you can see um you've got a nice little little bee all of these are included all of these are included within this it it says is it a bundle i think it's more of a kit um and you've actually got the buddha just there sorry i'm holding this terribly um so all of these plus the jump rings plus the chains and i'm going to put them back down there so you can actually see everything that you're getting hannah it's it's, it's as simple as opening and closing a jump ring with it, these it isn't it absolutely is i think they look fantastic and very you know again i keep saying sort of on trend but it, it is i think there's a lot of people wearing layered jewelry yeah. and charms and mixing that with um gemstones as well and seed beads and then so there's quite um there's quite a pop of color going on in the shops at the yeah minute. yeah so so normally if you're if you're wearing something that is um, perhaps less colourful, you, you would then go for um, something very colourful in your jewellery. Mm -hmm. But if you're wearing colourful clothing, you might then want to just have sort of one tone, like a mon uh, monochrome tone or just silver or just gold um, as a balance within the jewellery. It's kind of like the... But it, it sort of balances, or you can add your favourite colour to it. Yeah, exactly. You can. This is the thing: as jewellery so makers, you've got that ability. It. Yeah. Hannah, if you were to waltz into that charm shop on the high street, oh yes, would and you were to buy one charm, I think they're about. Four, and they do sell four base four metal. Pounds, are they? Yeah, they, they do the, sell base metal ones. ones. You're getting ten charms and the bracelet and the necklace and wow. the jump rings. Wow. So I mean, That's hang on, one, two, twelve. Let's call it 13 components, jump rings being one. So what that, what's that, like 80p? 13 components. That's crazy. And if you've got the, um, the chain bundle p. earlier as well, you could, you could have your... Oh, yes. This, this could be like a thicker chain for the necklace to add to your layered look, and then you've got a, a, enough of that chain to then make a skinny bracelet as well. So you can, you can really maximise on that look, can't you? You really can. I mean, that looks like a, a really expensive necklace, it's doesn't it? lovely. And it's, it's everywhere. All the big brands are working um, with that kind of elongated link. Some call it like a, um, a paperclip chain. Yeah, I, I think I know it's a paperclip chain. Um, I think Monica Veneda call it the Alto oh, chain, but I know mm. Misoma do it as well. Lots of big brands. Um, and I'm not making a direct comparison, obviously, because this is, uh, th this is, this is well, base metal, firstly, but you've still got that beauty, haven't you? You'd expect to pay £10 for the chain on its own. In fact, you'd expect to pay more. Um, make sure you check out. It might be a really nice gift. I know there's a lot, uh, a lot of the kids doing GCSEs and things like that at the minute. I mean, what a lovely gift. Yeah. So, so you've got all these different charms. You've got a necklace and a, and a bracelet. It's just, it's a, it's a simple little thing, but the nice. gesture nice. would be lovely. And that kind of price point, I think, is, you know. Teachers' gifts as well. Yeah. We're getting to that lovely. time, aren't we, where yeah. the school's breaking up. I oh, know. Now. <laughs> I love oh, our, I the bag. Kid, you love this, didn't you? You I launched did. this. I, yeah, I, I had great fun doing a very, very silly, very pure cheese. Um, love it. BT with uh, with Callum and Alex and Alice and uh, literally Alex was under the table passing me things, so it made it look like we've got like masses Mary of Poppins. things coming out. What of do you mean? So. No, it actually is the Mary Poppins bag. What you're you talking get about? A lot in here, well, so. actually, we test because I launched yeah. this and we actually put the Gemini in here. Oh, right. The Gemini okay. fits in here. It is a very roomy bag and it has a nice solid base. The solid bottom. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, sometimes when you pick up a bag and they start wearing, don't they, here because you've had weight in it. Yeah. It's robust. This is robust. Sometimes you can go into like your DIY shops and things like that and they have the solid base and you pay a premium for those. You do, you do. Um, because things do build. They do build, weight builds within our, uh, within our, 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 our um, storage. You know, I watch all of our lovely designers um, literally come through the door. Like we're moving in, literally don't we? like you're moving in. <laughs> Claire McDonald the other day, I was like, let me help you. She's like, no, I'm balanced, I'm balanced. You know, Honestly, the things that she carries in, you know, big clamps, and they're heavy, aren't they? Yeah. You need a quality bag for that. Now, I went through this when we first launched it. I don't know if this is actually going to be on your screens again because it was very, very popular. So let's go through the number. Firstly, cushioned. Can you see this? Attention to detail. 
a nice cushioned handle. Nice. So comfort grip. You've also got one, two, three. Yeah. Four. Turn around this way. Hang on. Five, six, seven. Eight. Hang on. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen pockets. Gotta love a pocket. You gotta love a pocket, yeah. absolutely. You can fit a lot in here. We were talking about how, because as well, you know our old jewellery maker bags with the branding? You yes. know, love it, absolutely yeah. love Stripey. it. But we've got quite a, you know, it, it's not, this is not just something which is all females, is it? You know, lots of us will get involved with uh, jewellery making, so maybe you don't want the big bright colours. I don't know. I think this is quite a universal bag. Quite and a universal also, bag. just saying, it's got a nice sturdy base. You can get a couple of bottles of wine in there. You know. Yeah. Just saying, you know, yeah. if you're going for a picnic somewhere with your, with okay. your jewellery making, you've got, it's almost like a cool bag. <laughs> it's just so sturdy. Yeah, it's, it's great. a great idea for your yeah. picnics. Uh, hello, Gillian. I have this bag and it's amazing. Holds a lot and is very sturdy, yet fine to carry and must have. Thank you yeah, so much, Gillian. Yeah. Um, hello to you, Maria. Hi, JM. I bought this bag. Um, it is so sturdy. All my punches and heavy jewellery making equipment has fitted inside. Best storage ever. And the other thing, you know, if you're in the car, you've got your bags in the back, you go round the roundabout and you hear this dung, 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 and everything oh, falls dang. out and falls over. It's like, no. The bottles this of wine, This one yeah. doesn't fall over. It's yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I, I had a, something like that happen. It, it was a couple of years ago I'd been to um, the orange DIY shop oh yes and I heard that sound anyway can I was like oh it's okay it's all sealed it'll be fine forgot about it by the time I'd actually got home opened oh. the boot oh no what happens the paint can rolls out and <sighs> everywhere That's, yeah. and you cannot get paint out of a pavement you can't, no matter how much you jet wash it, it just doesn't happen. That's a really good point, actually. Yeah. Great for storage yeah. in the car as well. Um, £19.99. pence. I should point out you have got your shoulder strap as well um, with your, your sort of comfort pad so it's not going to dig into your collarbone or anything like that. They, it, is, it is a very sturdy, sturdy bag. I think one of the, you know, the finest quality bags that we've actually it's, put together. It's, it's a good quality bag. I literally yeah. put the Gemini tool in there, which the Gemini tool, for those of you that don't know, is the... Um, what do you call them like, again? Like a die cutter thing? It is a die yeah. cutter, yeah, yeah, there we go. Um, and they're heavy. They're not, you know, they're not, they're not lightweight die cutters. No, it's a, it's a, you know you're carrying a piece of equipment with that, aren't you? Yeah, I've seen, again, seen some of our hobby maker, um, Sarah Davis, for example, yeah. when she's been here. And she's she's usually got the big Check plastic the guns. boxes. She's a, <laughs> yeah, she's strong, isn't she? Um, but she's carrying, like, sort of the plastic boxes. She needs one of these. She needs one of these bags. 19.99. Make sure you check out your baskets. They are getting quite limited now. They were only launched a few weeks ago. Pamela, Julie, Anne, Yvette. Hello to Cumbria, Joe, Dahlia. Hello to you, uh, Joe in Yorkshire. Uh, Beatrice, I can see you there. New customer, Bristol, Eileen, London, Isabel, Pamela. Maker wants three. Julie, well done. If you check out your baskets, this is yours. Um, how many do we have available left in uh, in stock? Only 60. It's not masses. This would be great. Because do you know one thing that gives me anxiety? Oh, go on. My husband's toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> what, because it's not organised or because it's in the kitchen or what? Because <laughs> it's not organised. Okay, okay. I need, I need him to organise his tools. Well, it this would, would work for that too, wouldn't it? It would work very it would well work. as a bag, wouldn't it? Um, Hannah, thank you so much. Beautiful, beautiful jewellery. Love the kits. Do make sure you check them out. And you are coming back, aren't you, for the I am. Master back later, yeah. Do you know there are real perks to you having this uh, little little break? And that? Oh. Because it means that you can get involved with the Red J guys. Oh, gosh, yeah. I hadn't even there thought about that. There are like, the perks. Bags. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't go anywhere. Because honestly, I, I said it at the beginning of the show and I'm going to say it again. I think this is going to be probably one of the biggest, this in fact I don't think I know, this is going to be the biggest, most monumental show that you have ever seen. Because never in our wildest dreams did we imagine that to own type A natural jadeite in a strand, 
Never did we imagine that was going to be possible. Needless to say, not because of our purchase, um, you know, uh, desire, Mother Nature only allowed us to have a few quantities. So this is ultra exclusive. You have moments to get yourself ready, prepped and primed. Dave Troth is launching these in literally a matter of minutes. Don't miss this occasion. It is historic beyond words. We'll be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. So, over the last two weeks, we have had two crazily successful Jewelry Raider shows. And this Monday at 11 a.m., it returns. Now, I've just come back from the Jewelry Maker Vault, and we have got some absolutely unbelievable pieces for you. I have got some of the finest opals from Ethiopia, some of the most beautiful tanzanite. Chrysophase, we're making a, a reappearance to Jewelry Maker. Peter site, pieces that we haven't seen for years here at Jewelry Maker, but most importantly, some of the most irreplaceable pieces in our vault as well. What's unbelievably special as well is I have got just a few pieces of a gemstone from out of this planet. Moldavite will be making its return at the best prices that we have ever seen at Jewelry Maker. So come and join me this Monday at 11 a.m. for an absolutely ludicrous Jewelry Raider show. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share.
brimming with excitement because this is honestly, oh, there is. That's the perfect way to put it. Sorry, my director has just said there is a, a buzz in the building. And that's not just here at Jewelry Maker. I think that's across the entire partnership. Never in my wildest dreams would I imagine that this would be possible. Natural type A, jadeite, launching in not just individual little beads, strands. And there is no better person to launch it to you all this Saturday morning than the man himself. It's Dave Troth. Oh, thank you very much, Al. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. I think the, the, the buzz is the right oh. word, the, the, the kind of anticipation for this showcase. And I'm fully aware that this is kind of my last um, outing with this variety of jadeite. Now, we, we hope to secure more of the green varieties of jadeite, uh, the, the apple green, the kingfisher green, the moss in snow over the next you know six months. But, you know, that is seriously in question. And that, that's yep. because on the 22nd of June, which I think was Wednesday, uh, yeah. yeah, there was a Hong, Kong, so. a Hong Kong auction that took place for the first time since COVID, which was a Bonhams auction, which was a, a wealthy collector, Asian collector, who essentially opened up his vault of jadeite. And, uh, you know, the, the bids were incredible. I mean, a lot of it, because there's quarantine in Hong Kong, a lot of it was over the phone bidding. Uh, we, we received the catalog here. The pieces are unbelievable. And, you know, you had hundreds of people driving the prices up of jadeite. It's the first time that the, those guys in the Far East that had access to this material again. As we know, there is no mining taking place in Myanmar, so there's a massive shortage mm. for top-grade jadeite. Now, when we come to imperial green, so the material that looks like resin, that incredible, vibrant, glowing green material, that's going to be in the market. It'll probably be in the market for the next 100 years, even if there was no mining. And that's because that material has been mined for 800 years, and there is stockpiles of it. There's, there's a lot of it that's laid still in cutting houses that hasn't even been cut and won't be cut for the next 20 to 30 years. That's just the reality for Imperial Jadeite. And when I was in Tucson, you were with me, El. I, um, I was at the Pillar and Stone booth. Um, I have spoke about them at length many, many times. Roland and Nata, Roland Schlussel mm -hmm. and Nata, his wife. Now, they are the bridge, essentially, between the Far East and the Western high jewelry world for securing and sourcing jadeite. Mm. So they lived in, or they can't at the moment because of COVID and because of other political situations in Myanmar, but for much of the year and for much of the years, they would live in Myanmar. Mm. Now, he's German originally. And they would secure this jadeite and they would bring it back to the big jewelry houses in the Western world. And that, we saw their booth, we got to see their material. And this guy is the guy that literally wrote the book on jadeite. Wow. He wrote the book on jadeite. In fact, there's the In Colour um, magazine that he wrote about it. It's called Jade, the fifth pillar of the gemstone uh, community. You know, that, that, that is what he wrote. Um, and he's just actually this year released his book, which is uh, 10 years of work written with uh, 23 other prominent gemologists all about jadeite. And that book alone, the price of that book, because of the knowledge, because it talks to jadeite, is actually more expensive than any piece in the show, which, wow. is, which is crazy. And, and you know, we got speaking to him, and uh, it was amazing to see his booth, to see the pieces that he had on there, uh, and how Jade I showed you guys how Jade I is sold in, in, in the, the marketplace, you know, at wholesale. So when we buy garnets, when we buy emeralds, we buy like 10,000, 50,000 carats. But when it comes to Jade, usually when this is bought, it's bought singularly or in pairs. And he said um, in, in February, the price of Taipei jadeite is right now at an all-time high. Particularly difficult for us is the sourcing of the skin. These are the fancy colors of jade, the lavender and the red. These prized colors are so rare because this is the skin of the boulder as it oxidizes over millions of years. This is why you never get solid red color sculptures or jewelry. The skin is so thin comparatively and the boulders, they're just not coming out in the current market. So there is no boulders coming out in, in the marketplace. There's no boulders coming out, right. um, which is which which the, the material that's affected the most is is the fancy colours, mm -hmm. because that's the material that isn't stockpiled. So when there's nothing coming out, the green material is still coming through because they have you know, rough of it they yeah. have to cut. But the lavenders and the reds in particular is the material that's never been stockpiled. It's always been hand to mouth because it's not found in every jade out boulder. And uh, you know the analogy that I always like to use is this: you know, you think of an apple. The skin of the apple is where the, the fancy colours would live. The flesh of the apple is where all the green jadeite is. And only one in a hundred, maybe, boulders even has fancy colours in the skin. In fact, on that cross-section on the left there, there is no fancy colours in the crust or the skin. Mm -mm. 
you can see the green in the jade. All the jade, all the flesh is green, variety of green. There's patches of imperial, uh, there's a lot of moss and snow. There's always going to be green jade in a boulder, but these fancy colours have completely disappeared. And, and Roland said these colours have turned the industry on its head. The demand and supply is a real issue, and as such we are seeing some of the highest prices for this material, and still dealers are reluctant to sell because it's simply irreplaceable. We are finding it easier to provide imperial green to our clients and at a more affordable price for the first time ever. So, and, and he went on actually to say that he believes in the next five years, the next couple of years, the next five years, maybe 10 years, the next time a solid body color red or lavender jadeite goes to an auction house, it will break the auction record. Wow. And that's, that's what they are seeing you know, at the source, on, on the, the ground level for this material. They're saying, you know, these fancy colors, the price has changed that drastically that's what's going to happen. And, and this is what he means when he says it's almost impossible to get a solid red carving. Because it is the skin. As you carve into it, you get a lot of the green. And then you think about this, this piece that I've got with me right now, which is actually part of the show. It's one of the most limited showcases we've ever bought to your screens. Jadeite, usually, we're used to doing like 200 yeah, quantities. Yeah, exactly. There's, there's the biggest quantity is 100 today. And then, for instance, this piece here, which is 20 carats of solid body That's color. unbelievable. It's crazy what we're doing. Type A red jadeite. There's less than 50. It's unbelievable, That's Dave. jade. That's jade. And I just want, I'm just going to turn it over so you can see. It's solid. Thank you. Yeah, solid red body color. It's not just a hint. No, all the way through. No patches of green, no discoloration. This is absolutely immeasurable. Do you know what, what struck me, Dave, when I actually saw these as in person? Yeah. Because I'd heard the rumor was... Now, and bear with me on this one. I'll try to word it as best as I can. How much like Imperial Jade it is. Because, yeah, I mean, no, like... The, it's translucent. It has the glow. The colour. Uh, intensity. Yeah. So, I mean, when you see pieces at auction houses, they tend to be brown. They yeah. tend to be russet colours. But I asked Roland back in February. Uh, you know, he said, for Jade, I, this, this is the, the, the company now. He said, for Jade, I, we're at a point of no return. Today, Type A material, which is completely natural, is exclusively a top-tier investment gem. Mm. And he said, look, we've worked with this material for 30 years, and once this is gone, and when he says this, he means his booth, you know, what he has on yeah. his booth. We can't afford to get back in, so we're diversifying into tourmaline and spinel. Type A jadeite is the most expensive gemstone in the world. And then I asked him, is there a jade that stands out in the current market? And this gentleman said, as you can see, we have every color variety. And I've shown you their booth. They did, they had lavenders. They had the, we'll show it you right now. They, they had the lavenders, the honeys, the gray the black, mm. um, all of these wonderful colors. The white material, you can see here, the tray of lavender, tray of borderline imperial green, moss in snow, gray to the left, black to the north. Then as you go through, they've got bangles. All of these amazing colors that you can see. I even picked up what, that, that box down there, you're gonna see it right now. So honey, green, black, lavender, gray, amazing. You see the prices on the back, you know, this is wholesale prices. Yeah. But this is, you know, you times that by three, times that by four, five, whatever. Yeah. Moss and snow, they're 12 grand without the amethyst. And I said, is there a jade that stands out in the current market? And he said, as you can see, we have every color and variety. From imperial green, they had a 49 carat suite of imperial green. Wow. Um, to honey jade. But in my time in the industry, I've maybe seen a handful oh. of full body red jadeites. And I wish I'd bought them. And he's just released his book this year, and he said, because the sad truth is, I probably won't ever get to see another. It was hell to even get a picture for the book. And I'm holding, casually, a 20-carat, solid, body-coloured red jade. Now, that was back in February, and we were blown away. And straight away after hearing that news, we spoke to, to our vendors, knowing that Hong Kong was cancelled in the March, knowing that there might be a further opportunity, knowing that we can do something that even Roland and, and, and other jewelry houses can't do, we can buy in quantity. Mm. So, you know, whereas Roland or someone else might go, hey, do you have one piece of jade or five pieces of jade? We'll go, any jade out you've got, we'll buy it all. Yeah. That's what we've done. And that was our opportunity. And, and that's where this show comes from. But then we were at JCK. Yeah, I think it was, I was there maybe 10 days ago. Yeah, not long ago. In, in Las Vegas. Roland Schlusser was there again. He had Aquamarine on his booth this time. You know, this is how the, the market is changing. Uh, and I got to speak to a gentleman called Alex. Alex is a gentleman that we buy a lot of diamonds from now. He's been in the industry a long, long time. Okay. Um, and for a lot of the early part of his career, he actually lived in China. And he worked on jadeite projects for, for the Western world and for uh, the Japanese market as well. And he's predominantly, he's actually solely 
uh, investing, uh, well, working with pearls and diamonds right now. That's what we, we actually did a close out deal on some incredible blue diamonds with him. And I, and I wanted to speak to him on camera and all he wanted to speak about was what was happening with Jadeite. And this is what he had to say. Take a listen to this. So I've been dealing with the jade market for the last 30 years. Uh, spent most of my adult life in China working on jade projects. Uh, right now the market for natural colors is through the roof. I've never seen it like this before. Uh, supply related issues, uh, demand related issues from China looking for this material. Um, you know, it's an incredible opportunity right now if you can get a hold of that. So, you know, for me to say, oh, I've never seen anything like this before, is by the by, because I've only been working with Jade out for the last three years. Alex there, you know, lived in China for 10 to 15 years, worked only with Jade out. And he said, for the fancy colors right now, the, the, it's through the roof. The demand. And he, and he said, I've never seen anything like it. And he said, the opportunity, if you, if you can get it, is the best opportunity you can get. And, and you have a unique opportunity at home right now that you can get involved. Now, I'm going to share one more clip of film with you, and then I'm going to bring you this incredible collection. I am going to uh, preface this with the fact that when I'm speaking to this guy, um, I'm talking to him about what's happening in the world. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you exactly what happened. So I met this gentleman. He's, he was about my age. His mother was on the booth as well. They've been in the industry for 55 years, jadeite dealers, Chinese. And their booth was very like pillar and stone, so it was glass with, with shelves that went down. Mm -hmm. And then he had like a, a cabinet that rose up on the one side of the booth, which is a glass cabinet filled with imperial jade eye. Okay. okay and you know he's kind enough to let me hold some pieces of incredible six figure pieces you know like a hundred thousand dollars minimum wow about seven or eight pieces imperial jade eye. and then the other book ending his booth was another tall cabinet and it was called the skin uh, jade eye skin uh, cabinet or something and it had you know your lavender and then some of these red colors right and I, I asked him candidly i said you know which is the hardest to get and he said without a shadow of a doubt this material the skin and he said, I've still got material like this. We can cut this to order. But the price doesn't change. It's still the most expensive right now. Yeah. But he said, the skin, he actually goes on to say, the, the only way that I can get hold of the skin material now, unfortunately, is if someone passes away and their children or their grandchildren come to me and say, hey, this is our you know, legacy heirloom collection or whatever. You know, can you do something with it? And then he says, I have to pay the market value of today. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, what does that look like? He said, and his mom was on the booth. And he said, well, pieces that my parents sold to the family, say, for $5,000, I'm buying back now for $70,000. Wow. So if you want to talk about appreciation, yeah, that's if you want huge. to talk about what's truly happening for type A Jadeite, this is a gentleman that only deals with Jadeite. Now, um, I, 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 you know, we filmed this interaction, we was talking to him, he's showing the pieces, and his voice goes very high. <laughs> I'm going to warn you, okay? You've heard it, haven't you, Al? Yeah. yeah. So his voice goes very high, which, which is fine, because I actually saw his face. But for you guys, it might sound weird. But it's because, you know, when you're speaking candidly about something, and it's a bit embarrassing, and you're like, well, how much? And he's like, well, if something was $5,000, maybe I'm back for $70,000. But just what is preface that, because you are going to hear it yourself right now. But this is the most incredible uh, clip of film I've ever received at a, at a gem show. And I think it talks to the collection that you're about to inherit right now. Take a listen to this. Column is his. This yeah. is what people want, and it's very difficult. <laughs> just can't get that anymore. Yeah. See, I, I, I think this is far more interesting. I love okay. this. But, 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 but basically, <laughs> that, that material there yeah. is the material. I mean, you have no more of that. Yeah. So basically, only way we get that material is it sounds terrible, but somebody dies. Yeah, that's you the know? only way you can get hold yeah. of that material somebody now. Dies and they come in with their parents' jewelry in a box that we sold to them like 30, 40 years ago, and they're like, you something with this tent. We're always like, yeah, of course, we'll buy it from you for, you know, for value today. Wow. So, and how much yeah, has the value changed for that material? The value is like $5,000. So it's gone from five thousand dollars really to seventy thousand. Yeah. Wow, it's that's incredible. You know, but that's literally the only way we're getting that. Wow. You know, and, and you guys have been in the industry for what, half a century. Fifty-five years. Yeah. So you know, it's uh... I don't want to, you know, go, go. He's literally saying pieces that they sold themselves for $5,000, they're buying back. They're not just valuing it and saying, yeah, we'd say that in the current market, that's what he's saying, 
I'll pay 70 grand to take that back right now. And, and you, you can see those pieces. Mm -hmm. you, know, the, the, you mentioned it earlier, Al. You said our material is almost like imperial because it's so saturated. Yeah. This material is like, well, it's like orange, red. It is red, it's beautiful. But you can see the skin. That's one piece. That's not like they've not uh, you know, put another piece on top and glued it on. That is all carved from single pieces of jadeite. And this is the skin of the jadeite, the purples and, and these incredible red colors, the bangles. It is your opportunity right now. And uh, we, we probably will never get no. another chance to work with this no. material again. I know that Elle has already said before the show to Ross categorically, I'm buying some of this material. And that's fair. I've bought some of this material. It is just, how, how am I going to miss out on this opportunity? And, and, and you guys are probably thinking exactly the same. I know that a few of you, a lot of you, Ross has just said, have already somehow managed to acquire some of these pieces without them even being on pre-order. Pre so I don't know how that's happened. No, I salute don't you. Either. Congratulations. Where there's a will, there's a way. Very, very limited showcase. And you've probably heard us say that many times before. You're going to see how limited this showcase is today. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. It is absolute. Do you know what I can literally see? And I don't think I've ever said these words on air before. I can see the pound signs in terms of its valuation. Wow. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, of course. It, you, you can see the rarity. You can see why. Yeah. I mean, look at, look at this piece that uh, Adam has got here, just wrote it. Oh. Look at the, the, the polish on it. It's, it literally looks wet, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and that is you know, talking to the quality of the material. It's not dull, it's not lifeless. It is you know, vibrant, it's gemmy, it's top material. Oh my goodness. Now, um, I'm hearing in my ear, Dave, that we have 75. Now that is a huge That's, quantity. It's a huge quantity. Thank you, Lucky Stars got 75, but we could have done with 375. Yeah. And it still would not be enough. Um, Oh, oh, somehow people have actually shopped ahead. Well done. 71 are available. Congratulations to the four of you, that, that, or the one of you, however, however this is done, that have already secured this piece. They've checked yeah. it out. Everyone's going to pay the final low price. Uh, yeah. oh, Julie has messaged yeah. me. Morning, Dave. So excited for this. Yeah, I've been excited for this all morning as Not well. Not me. I was, a, I was awake at half past three this morning. Yeah, it's one of those showcases. You get maybe a couple of these a year where you yeah. just get really, really excited about what you're about to bring to the collectors here. And I know the excitement we're going to get from you guys. Congratulations to everyone down below. Let's do a 60 second clock uh, before we even bring in the graphics. And I'd say so everyone's on equal footing, but there's some of you that have already managed to get it, <laughs> yeah. so well done. Um, this 60 second clock. There are literally four strands. Yeah. Which four is strands. incredible. And, and you, know, you know the prices that we're going to do. Huh? You actually do know the price we're going to do. And, and you guys at home, if you don't, I'm just going to say one thing. There's four strands in this show, but the reality of that is there's probably only going to be four strands this year, and they're yeah. in this show. Mm -hmm. That's just it. Um, if you want to get all of them, then do it. Not all of you can get all of them because the quantities differ. Yeah. But if, if it's something you wish, and, and this is what I talk about. You know, you talk about valuations, Ellen. I always talk about valuations, but I think what really opened my eyes up when I was at JCK, and you just heard that clip from there, it's not just about this immediate valuation. Mm -mm. It's about the appreciation. So totally. Someone paid $5,000 for some of that material that we just saw, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the next generation of that family is selling it for 70000 Yeah, absolutely. This is what I talk about when I say, you know, we're, we're collecting for future generations. When we talk about an heirloom collection, that's not just hyperbole. That is what we're talking about. This is one of those moments today. Well, this, this is the first time in my 23 years working yeah. in, in, in high-end jewellery yeah. I've ever seen. Do not wait. I'm just going to say that now. Usually I wait. you wait for the first price, you wait for the second price. Oh, yeah. Not today. Don't. Not today, there's, there's, there's just, it's just filling Ooh, up to my right. My so it is going to sell out. There's not 150 of these or whatever. Do not wait, is all I'm going to say. It's 170 carats here. No one's waiting. That, so it's, it's, not, it's not about being you know, polite or it's not about being you know, quick to, the, to, to wait for the, the phone calls. I'll give you a price straight away that you know, we, you, I don't think anyone could get this from. Go to two grand, Ross. Go to two thousand pounds. Could go to five. Could go to seven. Let's just go to two thousand pounds. I'm nowhere That's near incredible. done. Yeah, I'm nowhere near done though. Straight That's to 170 I mean, carats. We heard the prices just then from that recording, which was what, what literally less than two weeks ago, in JCK, mm -hmm. talking about these. Yes. These colours. Yeah. 
Half the stock is gone? Yeah, half the stock's gone. Oh my goodness. Yeah, again, you can just see the, 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 the quality of this jade out. I can't believe that we're saying jade out in this color is, is, is on your screen. Look at that, glowing. Just that alone. Yeah. Just that, okay, uh, I'm going to ask you to do something, Elle, if that's all right. Sorry. Yeah. Could we count them? Sure. It might already be on some detail somewhere, but sure. we'll just count them. Because I want to kind of rough know, like, what, what that one that just was glowing, what carat weight is that? It's 170 carats on the strand. 18, 20, 20. 35, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 51. 51, 7 oh, I don't, I can't millimeters do the math. I can't solitaires. Do the math. 170 divided by 51. Uh, 3 something, 3.33 3, 3 carats. There you go. Is that right? Is that right? 170 carats divided by 51, yeah, that is right. Well just, done, o Anna. just over You're like Matilda. three and a quarter carats. Well, there you go. So that one glowing, beautiful. Yeah, they are. They are the biggest. We yeah, don't have are. any. Sorry, Maria. We've got seven. We've got six, and we have a slight graduation from five to six. So yes, these are the biggest, Maria. Can I have a minute clock, please, Adam? How many have gone? All of them? What? This is crazy. Forty-five. Okay. Out of how many do we have? Sorry, 50. Yeah. Oh, my goodness me. This, I love this piece of jewellery that Anne and Sue has created. Look at that, look at that colour. I can't get over that. It looks even more luminous against the skin, doesn't yeah, and, it? And, ag and again, Adam, I don't know if we can with the clock on the screen, but if you take us back to that gentleman's booth with those red, uh, the, the, the red pieces, and we're blown away by the, the size of them, let's just say that. Mm -hmm. And then you compare that to the colour that we're seeing across the room right now. It's ridiculous. It, yeah. Um, you can get hold of yours with your four-way split pay. Oh, goodness me. Yeah. Yeah, just keep, just keep making that comparison as and when will we bring that Pillar and Stone uh, um, recording. This no, not Pillar and Stone. This is sorry, the, not Pillar and yes, Stone. The, the, Alex. The, no, not no? Alex. Alex was a gentleman that, that was talking about it. It was the, the Chinese family That's that had it, that sorry, collection. Beg your That's okay. But the colour of okay, this is um, amplified. You see your split pay here. You see your split pay. What is it? £499.75. Mm -hmm. Go to that price. There's no point doing a pantomime. There's no point going, let's go to £1,000. They've pounds. almost sold out, yeah. £499.75 for 170 Oh, carats my goodness. Of Taipei me. Red Jade out from Burma. You watch how quickly these sell out, jewellery makers. It is a, a one time opportunity. Um, it's the biggest carrot weight. It's the biggest millimetre. Oh, thank you, size. Adam. Look at this. Look um, at that. Look at the difference in in, in our colour here. It's yeah, amazing. that's the uh, the, yeah, uh, the the gallery are actually saying it's more of an orange on the one side, yeah. whereas ours is like saturated is, it, pure it is like a, it's candy a apple red or red. Oh my goodness me! And it's natural, natural, natural. Okay, I'll take a minute clock, please, guys. We will give one more incredible deal to our collectors. It already is, but... Yeah, oh, yeah. No, let's do it, let's do it. <sighs> Those of you that are... So you've got 60 seconds now. Do you know who I've spotted as well? Who? Susan. Yeah. Susie. I did tell Susie. Do you remember, when we had, remember the first time we showed, Susie saw Red Jade mm. in her life? It was on the show. Really? Yeah, she'd All never seen years. it before. Never seen it before. I was talking to her. Um, I showed her the, you know, the strands, and she said, "Without doubt, I'm, I'm going to be watching." That's absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? That is the bot. You know, that's future Bonhams auctions, isn't it? That's uh, what we're yeah. going to see. Oh well, I mean, like I said, the Bonhams auction just took place in um, in in Hong Kong, and there was no red jade, no, not one single piece. Not a single piece of red jade out. And here you've got a strand of 170 carats. That's amazing. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. 3.3 carats in each individual solitaire. In each right. solitaire. I want to say massive congratulations to those of you that were fastest on the phone lines. Biggest uh, carat weight, biggest rounds, 349. Congratulations. Oh, my goodness. Get these home. Me.
get them into your, your heirloom collection and, and you know, secure them for the, the future generations is, is the way that I would look at an opportunity like this. That's working Three, out. I don't four, know if nine. I should say this out loud. Just say it. Less than seven pounds per yeah. natural type A jadeite. It's amazing. Red. First time that we've ever, type ever a. introduced type a. Type, type a. Type A. Yeah. Not polymer infused, not dye. No, no, no polymer detected, no resin, no dye, no smoking, no heating. Oh my goodness. And, and, and Dave, you know, we've had red jade out here before yeah. uh, on, on uh, Jewelry Maker, but literally teeny, weeny yes, little, little, little parcels yeah. where you had literally a couple, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. You've got 51 individual solitaire stones with that intensity of red. Um, do you want to see the quantity that's left? Yes, please. 17. Yeah. You can be one of those 17. But you've got, you got, you got to make that call. It's a free phone number. You can use the web, use the app. There are... Um, 79 people within their baskets, people on the phone lines as well. Um, it's a one chance opportunity because it, it would be very, very complacent and frankly incorrect of me to assume that this is ever going to happen again. No, I mean, like I said, I wanted to be uh, yeah, up front from the off and just say, yeah. whilst we might be able to get green jadeite, maybe white jadeite, red jadeite. Uh, is it, it's is, it, yeah, I said, you're, you're going to see four strands this year and they're all in this show. And they're all in this show. The final 11 opportunities. Make sure you check them out uh, uh, of your basket. So, I mean, we can see you there. Uh, there we go. There we go. If there's any left come the end of the show, Dave, I'm jumping on it because Me. I'd be a fool not to. Uh, I, I'll, I'll like be you. honest. I think you're a fool for waiting to the end of the show. Oh, I'll well, be I'm, honest. I'm doing I'll it be honest. courtesy. I know, but I mean, sometimes you like, look at these people. The phone lines weren't even open and people jumped on the phone yeah, lines well, and, and spoke to the contact. I do that. Wow. Sometimes you've got to bend the rules. <laughs> You know, you're, you are there saying. Uh, it's almost, I'm it's, no, but it's almost like we're, we're saying it. We don't believe it ourselves. They're only ever going to see four strands. They're only going to be in the show. And it's like... No, I believe you. I know. I, I know we believe it. But sometimes we have to act on it. I've bought mine before the show. Because I know I'm going to be here. Susie. Susie. I know Susie, I'm going to be here. Susie, please, can you add some to your oh, well for me? Please. Please, Susie. Pretty, pretty, please. Because otherwise I'm going to miss out. Five left. Um, um, like I said... Thank you for joining us. Um, you know, thank you for, for listening what, for what we had to say. And uh, we, we appreciate you know, making us your jewellers of choice. But this opportunity is, is something that just simply won't be happening again. You know, we, we are no. not magicians. I wish we were, but we, we can't find this material. When, when some of the biggest jadeite dealers, the most prominent jadeite dealers are saying, we, they have to wait for, unfortunately, you know, previous collectors, previous generations pass away for pieces to be opened up out of, you know, essentially treasure boxes, yeah. and jewelry boxes. Um, and and to, those, to those of our collectors, and I'm speaking to those of you, probably those of you that are in this auction right now, uh, that are collecting jadeites, you know, the likes of you which have these big, have amassed these collections with us now, of maybe 20, 30, 10 pieces of jadeite. We are working with a, basically, in, in uh, JCK we met uh, a company called Wolf. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. They're... Um, they make safes, essentially. Okay. But they also make jewellery boxes. They've done collaborations with the Kardashians on like a, you know, travel cases for jewellery. Um, Dua Lipa. They're, they're amazing. Um, they have uh, a huge $100,000 safe in Harrods. They have another one on Bond Street. And we got speaking to them and we basically said, we need to up our, our jewellery box game, mm -hmm. essentially. And we're going to hopefully do a collaboration with them later this year. So if you have these incredible pieces of jade eye or jewellery, that you want to store away. We, we do a great Gemporia uh, jewellery box next door, but this has a patented technology in the velour on the, on the in, in, internal lining of their jewellery cases, which polishes the jewellery oh as you put it away. Can and, you imagine? And, and, and so you essentially never have to clean your jewellery. It's kept safe. It's got all these different amazing patented components. We want to work with them because we now know the kind of jewellery that we're putting in your collection. Uh, do you know, I had a conversation, Dave, and I'm sorry to... So, uh, you're absolutely right. I totally agree with you. I had a conversation with one of our buyers last night, and I was like, when are we doing 18 karat gold clasps? Have because you never done them? No. No, and you know, I'm trying to buy one because of the pearls yes, that I've course, bought from yeah. you and, and jade out like this. It's hard to do. I'm literally having to source them from Italy. Sourcing them from Italy. Yeah, and it's I said, ridiculous. When are we, we need to get those in. We do, do 18 karat gold class because these need them. Yeah, 100%. We, there's no way we should be putting these with silver 
or even nine carats. So no. We, yeah, I think maybe later this year, let's do it. Let's do a show. I think so. That's sold out? That, the, yeah, that's gone, isn't it? Gone. Oh, Next. sorry. Technically, there's still one. Susie, I can see two in your baskets. I hope one of those is for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now to the six. Yes. So again, we're dealing with a massive carat weight strand. Everything. Got you one L. Thank you. I love you, Susie. Oh, thank what a you. Hero. Thank you, you can Susie. Do the same on the other sizes as well. There you go, personal shopper. I know. Oh wow. I'll, I'll transfer you at the end of the show. <laughs> yeah, make sure she does, Susie. All right. I will. I um, promise. And now we move on to to the next strand. Like I said, then a quarter of the strands will be gone when this oh, sells out. Oh my goodness. And I did say at the start, you're going to want to get as many of these strands as possible because I think. The, 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 I'm not a designer, I have no idea, but for me, I look at it and I go, you can create a graduation, you can, you can create breaks, you can create a lot of things. You know, a lot of people look at this as a strand, I'm doing it too, but I also look at it as a parcel. Yeah, it is. Let's a do a 60 second clock to open this parcel. But again, when I'm looking at the, on the furthest left of the screen right now of the strand, look how gemmy those stones are. Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? It's absolutely incredible. And I almost don't want to separate them. No. I and, and can I just make a point? You see the, the piece that's almost bicolor in the center of the yeah. large one that's just sold out. Can you just point that out for us there? So this one here? That one there, the ombre one. That is what it's all about. If you, if you were to compare that piece with the pieces on that, the, the, the Chinese the booth. Uh, family's booth, you know, that, that is what we're talking about. You see those bicolor pieces? Yeah. Because it's cut from the same stones. Yeah. You know, it's cut from those jadeite skins that, that are usually pushed up against the white material. And you've got it just in that one, in that one piece, I think, is very special. And you'll get uh, uh, you know, those you know, throughout these strands today because it is natural type A material. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Now the clock is sticking. How yeah, many? I, yeah, how many of these, Ross? Sorry. 100. Okay, this is the biggest quantity of the show. That's incredible that we can say 100, though, with, yeah. the, with the rarity of red. No, carrots. absolutely, but this is why we differ to many other vendors, many other dealers, 110 carats as well. We, we buy as much as we can to, to facilitate a great deal. Again, I will say one thing, do not wait. Um, no one's waiting today. It's one of those showcases. It's not like a traditional jewellery maker showcase. No. Um, a lot of uh, staff are on the phone lines right now. Those yeah. guys are, usually tend to be the first on the phone lines. Um, I cannot get over how immaculate those stones are. It, it, it's, un, it, it's unbelievable. Yeah. It, the translucency, the color, intensity as well. Because sometimes with jade, it can be, you know, it, it's a hint, isn't it? It's a hint oh, yeah. of color. Whereas this is absolutely amplified. Yes. It's like red imperial. Yeah. Does that make no, sense? No, it is. That's exactly. We should call it imperial well, red. Yeah, you know, when, when this, well, and, and red is, is kind of the royal color in China yeah. as well, and has been for for centuries and for, through different dynasties, it's a very auspicious color, very powerful meaning, uh, prosperity and, and, and whatever else with what it's associated with. And as soon as you can talk to more, more of that. But this is why they're saying this material, they believe, you know, many people in the industry believe when, when a sizable piece comes into an auction house, whether it be a bangle, mm. whether it be a strand, you know, um, they believe it will break the auction record because now the Chinese are understanding how rare this is because it's not coming mm. in the current market whereas there is still imperial green out there and also there is a whole new generation you know younger generation of of, of wealthy collectors in china that want to own jade because of its history but they don't want to own the same pieces no. that their parents had that their grandparents had yeah. they want those fancy colors the same thing that's happened with pink diamonds in the last 30 years the last 20 years and now we're seeing it with red jade the difference is there's never been a red jade mine you know, this material no. is, is so seldom found in seen. Go to £2,000 straight away, Ross, then we'll have a minute clock just I, to get you guys started. I mean, I, I was reading the other day about um, the rarity of pink diamonds and yeah. how it's, what, 0.01% what, of colours. Is that in, in diamonds? Not so it's a minuscule percentage yeah, or something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this is probably comparative, if not beyond. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that level, that 100%. Level. You know, if you looked at all the auction, I mean... I went to that booth and I was literally looking for red jade. I don't know if there was a single solid red jade. No. It's very, very difficult to do. And even when we go to the auction houses, literally the auction houses, and you see red jade. I've shown you that bangle before, which is white. Yeah. With a hint of red, and they call it a red jade bangle. Just Christie's. because there's that. Because there's hint. that moment of red. There's another one there. Yeah. And they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. Yeah. But next to the earrings, look at the difference of the color. Yeah, I'm gonna do you a really good deal on this guy. So um, again, Sarah, you've multi-bought. 
uh, in-house designer, you've multi-bought collectors on the phone lines, multi-buying massive queue on the phone lines. It is a free phone number. If you can use the app or the web, I'd recommend that today. It's, it's one of those showcases. Oh, my goodness me. What an achievement this is. Mm -hmm. What an achievement this is. A quarter of the stock has gone. Yeah. Not waiting, taking your recommendation. Right, Ross, there. I want you to match the price of the previous piece straight away. You know we're going to go again. I don't have another minute clock. It's all going to sell out now. So straight away, Dave, I can get these two sizes yeah. for under £1,000. This is type A. Yes. Natural J yeah. and, and And if we want to take into consideration what that Chinese dealer was saying, and they do business very different to us because they're not a shopping TV channel, but, uh -huh. you know, we are cheaper than what they were selling these pieces for 30, 40 years ago. Yes. $5,000 40 years ago. Yeah. But this is... This represents, a, we are the only company that is doing this and the only company that can do this. And it is perfectly encapsulated by that tiny moment on the timeline of Jadeite. Because Jadeite's never been this affordable. Never. So it's the one reason why we've never had it. At Gemporia, we didn't have it for 15 years. The COVID pandemic meant that a lot of the market was closed. No one could buy anything because no one could sell anything. Any traditional bricks and mortar store was closed. High streets were closed. No one could go out. We were very uniquely positioned where we could still do business safely by joining you in the safety of your own home. And um, these, these vendors, like Sally Hewer, like Bernard, yep. who actually do 90% of their revenue, 90% mm -hmm. in a three-day weekend at Hong Kong. Yeah. Hong Kong still isn't open. So this is how they continue? Yeah, right. Go to uh, 299, Ross. 299 pounds? Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, Ross has just said I didn't think anything would um, would be anywhere near, would even go beyond £500. No, um, and this is your chance to get 110 carats of Type A red Oh my jade goodness eye. me. Do you want me to count £74.75 on split pay. Um, look at that. Look at that. It's such a distinctive red as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's not a red like we find in, in any, it's not a ruby red. No. It's not a spinel red. It's not a garnet red. 12, 14, 16... 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 63. 63 solitaires approximately. Yeah. That's um, of All right, let's do a minute clock. I'm going a. again. I'm going again now. Yeah. We're going again. 74 pounds and 75 pence. Yeah. That's working out at, what was it, sorry? 1.74 carats in individual solitaires. Yeah. You know, we've shown um, before totally different colour, like the black, sorry, the black uh, jadeite. Yes. Um, there's a piece in Cartier where it's literally half a cabochon. It's beautiful. It's, it's lovely. It's that wonderful, intense, inky black that we aspire to with that gemstone. It's surrounded in a lot of gold and smothered in the finest quality diamonds at 32 grand. I mean, one of those is bigger than the carat weight, and it's a rarer colour. It's actually a significantly rarer colour than the gemstone, uh, the, sorry, the, than the black variety. Imagine this with your black jadeite. Oh, my goodness me. How beautiful would that be as a piece of jewellery? We have four strands across the entire opportunity. That's it. That's, you know, that's it. And, and it's unlikely ever going to happen again. Yeah. Right, Ross, we're just we're going to do something really special here. There's a lot of people that are going to missing out throughout this whole show. We want to make it as affordable and as accessible as we can for everyone. We're going £100 lower than the first piece. We're going to go £100 lower than the first 170 carat strand. Um, we're going to do it on this piece. Then we have two other incredible strands to bring to you. So don't wait. Don't hold back. You, know, you, you now have confidence in what we're doing. We're giving this jewellery to you. We want you to you know, realise the value of it. We want you to work with it. You know, this is very different to what I do at Gempori. You know, we sell the finished jewellery. I know what it's going to look like in your collection. Mm -hmm. This, you know, I, I always look, because I don't have the imagination, I'm sure that a lot of you guys have, but I look at it and I go, that's a strand. But you guys might look at it and go, well, actually, it's going to become the earrings. It's going to become uh, whatever you would make it into. Like I said, I'm not a designer. And, and I want to see those. I want to see what you're going to do with it. I want to give you the opportunity to work with, you know, hundreds of carats of type A matched red jadeite. For me, this is what I'm going to do with mine. Literally just restrand like that. I love that. Just really simple. Yeah. 
really simple. Yeah. And we've got those tiny moments, those kind of hexagonal uh, yeah, carved Yeah, we've got those. It's got those coming up. We're going to do an amazing deal on those. So you're going to... £249. Pounds. Yeah, yeah. £62.25 on interest-free split payments. So can you imagine the conversation? Can you imagine? I not. I know you wouldn't do this, obviously, yeah. but, you know, that, 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 you know, the family... I'm, I'm going to do... You keep JCK. talking now. I just want to do something a minute because, right, when I see you on, yeah. on that camera... You right. want to see those? Well, I'm just looking at this. And I'm just saying, if you if you had a booth, yeah. right, and, and uh, you had this incredible booth, just even on, on, on that camera there, yeah. and, and you were at JCK with yeah. me, what, I don't know, 10 days ago, yeah. and we see all of that red jadeite around yeah. you, pure red jadeite, no white, you know, matched strands of it, certified type A, and, and, and the multitude of, 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 of options that are there. Well, I mean, you've got a huge 20 carat single carat weight piece. You've got a 170 carat necklace. You've got this, that, that. You, you could retire. You, you could just sell that booth and retire, I'm telling you. And you could do it at half the going? price of the booths next year. I keep saying to Jake, why don't we do it? <laughs> not on all of it, not on all of it, but why don't we do it yeah. on half of the well, material I'm that we're buying? I'm going this road trip. This sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, it does. I mean, um, oh my goodness. And, and I've been saying, uh, certainly over the past couple of months, really, really, Dave, that we need to start. And actually, Caroline mentioned it to me yesterday. Bonhams, Sotheby's, don't be frightened of those big brands because this is exactly what they want. It is exactly what they're looking for. OK, you want, you want, you, do you want to know, do you want to know how fast these would sell out on, on your booth, even at the market price? Because there's nothing like it. Give me a minute clock, please, Adam. I'm going to give you a little idea of what it would feel like. OK. OK. So if you walked up and there's a guy next door selling them for, I don't know, tens of thousands of dollars. And you yeah. Were, well, we were just going to do them $5,000. OK. This is how fast they would sell out. I'm going to go to another price. Just going to do it to give you an I, idea. What, 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 what you, you're moving that price? Yes. OK. And if you guys know me, uh, you probably do now. Um, we, I never take, like, the five pound off. No. Or we don't do you posting don't, packaging. You don't think no, we don't. And uh, do it affects the rest of the show as well. It does. There's a knock-on effect. Do you know there's 39 left? Uh, that's the kind of information that I should have, isn't it? Because I don't have an earpiece before I commit to something like this. Um, but it's fine. There's a massive queue <gasps> on the phone lines. It, it, the, my, the screen here is full of, of yeah, names. Yeah, full of names. It's amazing. Now I know there's like 39 left. Oh, 29 left. left. OK, well. 27 left. OK. What's going to run out first, the clock or the quantity? Quantity. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say, I'm going to go with the quantity. All right. In that case, just go to 199 now, Ross. Just do it now so we don't... We're going to take £50 off the price for it. Oh, all. my goodness me. So I reckon we could, we, could, we could book that trip to the JCK. Yeah. Uh, to JCK. Buy a booth. Buy a booth. Sort the, these will all go in a day. Yeah. And then we could sunbathe for the rest. And then we could just spend the rest of the time loving Vegas. Yeah. Um, but this sounds amazing, doesn't it? It does sound amazing, actually. I mean, it's not going to happen because I'm going to miss out on this opportunity. But yeah. you guys at home, maybe I see one of maybe it. I see one of you guys at Vegas. Yeah, too. absolutely. Yeah. Maybe I see Sarah in West Yorkshire who's just bought three of these. Uh, maybe I, I or do Susan it. Susan in Essex or, 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 or Stirlingshire. A lot of you multi buying Cardiff and. Um, Oh my goodness me. Put it on your wish list. That's exactly what I'm going to have to do on this occasion. There is a bit of a queue on the phone lines. You can always download the app, all the W's at jurymaker.com, tap the app or, or, or the website. There's no queues there. And I, I personally would want to be waiting in a queue on this. It'd be, oh my goodness me. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I've messed there. up because we've got two more strands to go. You, you have a bit. Have you seen the one that's wrapped around my wrist? Yeah, the big one. The next one, by the way. Mm. Is that the next one? Is 105 carats. Oh. Okay. There's one left of, the, of, the, of, of this. Oh, it's gone. Well done. <sighs> Let's not even do a clock to bring these in. Let's just bring the graphics in. Are we going to the barrels? Right now. Oh, the rounds. The last of the rounds. But there's a, there's a beautiful graduation to these. Mm hmm. I mean, that's the, that's the design done straight away, isn't it? 105 carats. Wow. Again, saturation of colour. How many of these do we have, Ross? 100. Oh, 100 again. That's incredible that we can say 100. You know, if we were anyone else, if we, if we were mm -hmm. a, a massive auction house, it would be, you know, like the one you were saying about the other day. If it was an auction house, there'd just be It'd one. It'd be one, <laughs> yeah. 
there'd be one. And the okay, one. well, we've messed up here, and you guys are aware of that, so I'll just get on the phone lines early. I'm not even going to do straight away for, for every single one of you. Let's go to 299, Ross. Let's just go 299 straight away, give everyone the, the kind of confidence that they know this is going to be one of those fast, crazy auctions. Let's do a minute clock. There's a minute for every single one of you now. Nice. Uh, however many there's left, 80 or something, to get on the phone lines. Look how beautifully gemmy these are. Yeah. And it's literally every single one has yes. that intensity of oh, colour. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I remember when we first... Well, I learned about Red Jade, really, and it was... It was a, it was a, it was a warmth. There was a warmth present to mm -hmm. one of one stone, whereas this yes. is entirely, entirely an end to end. There is so immaculately as well. Yeah, and that's natural. Remember, that's very unlikely to be all from a single boulder. You know that that, that would have been matched over years. I'm sure. I was going to say that. Is this is this years and years and I would, years? I would I would assume so. Yeah, with the kind of collection we have on display today, you know, the quantities we have, it would be years. Yeah. You know that cabinet that you showed us back in Tucson, which had the beautiful pearls in there, the Sophia, Sophia Loren. Uh, yes, uh, well. the, the GIA Night of the Museum. Yeah. Yeah. This is the kind of... Piece that would be in there. In fact, they didn't have yeah. anything like this. They had coral. Take £100 off the price, Ross. What? And that's the price we should be at. But I messed up because that's the price I did the previous piece for. Uh, Adam's just said that's exactly what I thought about this. This the Sophia Loren. Yeah, it's you know, it yeah, that's extreme coral. Sophia Loren. It's timeless. Yeah, elegance. It's, it's yeah. With pieces like this, feel like something that we shouldn't be able to own. Yeah. I'll take another minute clock, guys. This, by the way, what you're looking at is your final deal. Should be. Ross knows that. Well, on this piece, it should be one nine nine, but we just did one nine nine on the previous. Yeah, but piece. technically, Dave, these aren't these aren't. I'm just talking about our own prices. You know, forget the market value. Forget the market price. I can't, I'm not even qualified to give you the market in price. Our in, bubble, our, in, yeah. our, in our little bubble. We, we paid a price for JM. it, and, and we, we put a tiny margin on to, to keep the lights on and things, and we give you these incredible deals. Mm -hmm. We never look at the market pricing or the market value or what the, the, you guys do that. You go and get evaluations all the time. You let us know. Um, but we just give you the most incredible deals obviously um this is no reflection of the true value you know that don't you that's yes, why there's yeah. a frenzy on the phone lines um and this is absolutely something that at some point you should get you should get insured because it's well we're saying we couldn't replace this opportunity so if we can't i think you start, guys think you know where i'm going to go on this price i think i do but you have no idea oh and i'm talking to you as well ross actually um see ross probably would like me knowing what i do to get like one Seven nine because we should be at one nine nine. I'm gonna go to one two nine right now. That's your final deal. It's gonna sell out in a heartbeat. 129 pounds. We have one other strand as well to, to bring you, and then some very incredible pieces as well. One two nine is ludicrous. He did just say but one this two is nine. What we yes, do. I did, yeah. Let's just go for it. He said that's massive. Look, he's <laughs> a little, a little very gentle, disapprove. I thought that possibly. Go on. Possibly you might squeeze it under 150 yeah. with 149. Well, you're right, I've done that. We've squeezed it well under 150. <laughs> it's closer to the 100. And it just means, for instance, those of you that were already on the phone lines, there's a lot of you are coming back in now and adding twos or threes to your order. It's 32, it's 32 pounds and 20. That's mad. 25 pence on split pay. Can we do a little tot up here? Oh, go on. Can we? Because that's a huge amount of natural type A jadeite. If you've been lucky enough to get each and every single one of these strands, and yes, it is an investment. We're not going to say otherwise. It is. However, for what you are getting, oh it's yeah, the I, most was, amazing, I mean, I think it purchase. goes without saying we're kind of saving more than we're spending. But you know, no one's going to uh, you know say that this isn't you know, uh, you know a lot of money. You know, one hundred and twenty-nine pounds is a lot of money to anyone. But is that what less you're than getting, a thousand pounds for all of those? Uh, um, Ross, for all three. 349 plus 199 plus 129, 677 pounds for wow. you to get hold of all three. Oh my goodness me, that would be amazing. And that, you could literally add. No, there's not 200 of these guys, there's only 100. There's only 100 of these. 11 left. There's 11 of them left. Unbelievable. They will be a sellout imminently. Yeah, and in Cardiff, you've just got four of these. Well done. Yeah, absolutely incredible.
absolutely incredible. Five left. Look at, look at, I mean, this is huge. It's absolutely huge. And an opportunity, you said it earlier on, Dave, that we have right now that our children won't have. Yeah. Unlikely, anyway. Absolutely. Highly unlikely. Okay. Right. Before we even get into anything else, Al, if that's mm -hmm. okay, I would like to, to remind you of, of, of why this is such an, an incredible event, why there's, there's big queues on the phone lines, why it doesn't feel like a traditional auction. Um, we were at JCK, you know, 10 days ago. I think I left maybe five, six days ago. Um, and we spoke to a Chinese family um, about how they even entertain the idea of getting hold of more of this material today. And this is what they had to say. Take a listen to this. The problem is this. Yeah. This is what people want, and it's very difficult. <laughs> you just can't get that anymore. Yeah. See, I, I, I think this is far more interesting. I love okay. this. But, 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 but basically, <laughs> that, that material there yeah. is the material, I mean, you have no more of that. Yeah, so basically, only way you get that material is, it sounds terrible, but somebody dies. Yeah, that's you the know? only way you can get hold yeah. of that material somebody now. Somebody dies and they come in with their parents' jewelry and a box that we sold to them like 30, 40 years ago, and they're like, can you do something with this? And we're always like, yeah, of course, we'll buy it from you for, you know, for value today. Wow. Sure. And how much has the value changed for that material? <laughs> So it's gone from five thousand dollars really to seventy thousand. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. You know, but that's literally the only way we're getting that. Wow. You know, and you guys have been in the industry for what, half a century. Fifty-five years. Yeah. So you know, it's um. So you you heard it there for yourselves. Um, this is and that, that's prominent Jadeite family. The only deal with jade, not like me, you know, I deal with emeralds, uh, I deal with rubies, deal with garnets. Amazing that I get to deal with jade as well. I mean, uh, uh, this kind of journey of, of, of understanding, of knowledge that we've been on together as well, by the way. There's a lot of you that know a lot more about jade than I. Susie, for one, yeah. who's in here. Again, you know, the family knowledge. You don't learn about any gemstone, I don't believe, um, in a lab or in a textbook. Mm -mm. You don't. Um, and, and that goes for school as well. You learn so much more when you leave school, don't you? That's when true. you're passionate about something, right? Uh, and I think that's why, you know, collectively, 18 years have been going here across the group. And I think we have the most educated community now that tune in. And that's not done in a textbook or a lab. I meet gemologists all the time. Yeah, that's true. All the time. And, and there's a difference between those of them that live it and those of them that have just learned it in a book. And I feel like this journey that we've been on, by speaking to people, by learning from people, is, is what's making you know, this such a powerful showcase today. Can I steal that from you for one second? The please. piece that I want to do next. I'm going to change the order up a bit, Ross. We're not going to do the fourth strand right now. And please, may I borrow that phone as well? Yep. Sorry, Al. No, you're Sorry, right. guys. Um, I just want to do this one next because I know there's people already coming through and buying this and it's our, one of our, it might be our lowest quantity, isn't it? It's the 20 carat piece that I started oh at the beginning of the show. Good. That right there, from there, from there is, is, a, is the, 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 the piece of the show for me. It's the piece of the show. And then I'm just going to use this phone light just to light oh it Oh my goodness you me, can look see, at that. It's like tracing paper. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah. Now this is a special, sorry guys, special, special moment for every single one of you. The fact that I'm holding a 20 carat jade out between my fingers right now is something that I thought I'd never, ever be able to do. I'm going to hand it back to you, Noel. Um, and I'm going to do a minute clock. Thank you. And the phone. There you go. Um, there are 50 of these. Thank you guys. We'll start the clock right now. It's 50, yeah. I don't think there is 50 now because I know a lot of you have already secured this and why not? It is the lowest quantity. Special, special moment for all of you. This is the standout piece. Adam's done, uh, the team have done an incredible Oof. job here of it showcasing it here. The light penetrating it. Again, we talk about this kind of wet look and um, I don't know if there's a gemological term for it, but this is, what, this is how the, the Chinese would talk about it. You know, the, the, the water content of the jade. That kind of, it's like the sun. Oh. It's like the sun. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of a bit speechless here because that is... How, how, literally? Oh that's millions of years crystallizing, okay, in the skin of a jadeite boulder. And that jadeite boulder, right, it might have been the size of, uh, it might have been the size of a, 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 a garden shed. 
It might have had the most incredible imperial green jadeite in it, but who cares right now? Because all I'm concerned about is this red moment that was found in the skin of this boulder. Here are the graphics. There are just 50 of these. Oh. Do not wait. Don't, no, definitely don't. I told hesitate. you, look, no one was waiting. A three's gone, two's gone, two's gone. That's 10% of the stock gone. More. I mean, this is going to sell out. In fact, this is going to sell out before there's a price. And this showcases how incredible our collectors are. We have, we had 50. Well, I'm just counting the multi buys right now. Two, four, six, nine. 20% of the stock's gone just on the multi buys. Mm hmm. Now, can I just make the point right now? This is going to be a considered acquisition, okay? And it's not to do with the, it's, it's to do with the single carat weight being in a single stone. Remember how difficult it is to get solid color. Thank you, Adam. Solid color in a, a, a piece of jade. You know, these pieces here, it's so hard to get that because the white comes through. To carve just 20 carats just from the red is almost impossible in something above five carats. This is 20 carats, four times that. Four times that. <sighs> Imagine the most beautiful round, brilliant cut diamonds. Well, this is what I, the other thing I was going to say. As, much, as stunning as that camera shot we've got is, can I, can I see what it would look like on the hand? Sure. Is that okay? Uh, just because I always look at these. It's the most limited item of the, of the show, guys, just so you know. And, for, and, and that's for good reason. You know, we bought as much as we could, but there was only... Um, you know, 50 of these. Like this? Yeah, and then, and then flush, and then flush. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. So imagine a cocktail ring. like. Oh, my goodness. Man. With a diamond in the center. Or the same thing as a pendant with a diamond in the center. Uh, that's this is a I'm high thinking. goose shape, which means that that, that that hole in the center has to be one-fifth the exact diameter of the, um, of the outer circumference. It has to be exactly central. There has to be that dish shape towards the center. I'm going to do one price on this. There's no pantomime. You guys just want your deal, and that's fine. The, the, this, it would take probably uh, yeah, a, you, a you, that, three, that. four mil diamond yeah. in the center. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That would be absolutely amazing. Ross, could you... Um, thank you. That's what I was looking for. This bangle here. This was a, a Bonhams piece back from 2014. And they call this a red jadeite bangle because they're so impressed that there's just that slither of red in it. <laughs> okay. And the rest of it is white. And white, let's not forget, white is one of the most expensive and valuable colors of jadeite. But yet they call it a red jadeite bangle. Not red and yeah, white. Yeah, they focus on the minority because color. Because it is the, the, the world-class material that we're talking about. Oh, wow. Okay. For every one of our collectors right now, I'm going to do a deal that is, is, is going to be amazing. 199 Ross for a 20 carat masterpiece. It's huge. Yeah, no, but we're just going to do one amazing deal here. 199. Wow. Yeah. It's huge. It's sold out, by the way. We could do 399, 499, whatever. I'm going to give it's you the weird. best deal. It's 199 on a 20 carat solid full red body color. And, and again, Al, can you do that one thing for me? Yeah. Uh, You'd like to, oh, uh, yeah, turn it 360 so they can see that it's red front and back yeah, and sure. sides. It is solid go. red body color. Red, 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 red. That's just, that shouldn't happen. And you can see there, it's so hard to do. Oh, so oh my goodness, so many people missed out. I, I apologize too. I tell you, more people missed out than got it, so I apologize. 104 people missed out. I'm so sorry about that. Wish list it. That's and not even 50 of you got it, because a lot of you multi-bought. So closer to 30 of you got it. Now, the only item that is available currently are the seven mils. And we are talking literally a couple. Yeah, I think of there was those five available. of those about 15 minutes ago. Um, the others have sold out. The high goos sold out. We're now going to... Oh... I, this, I think, is going to, I personally think this is going to be one of the fastest selling. Uh, these are the largest carat weights in a strand, in the single stones. The, the, the kind of the, let the me barrels. Count these. Susie, by the way, if you do dial through, please, can you get me some of these? <laughs> please. Two, oh, is it? Two, four. How many of these, six, Ross? Sorry. Eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 20. And how many? Quantity. 80 in quantity. 80. 80 That's in it. quantity, okay. 20 on a strand. Yeah. 
So that's working out in terms of carrot weight. Gosh, they're huge. Four and a half. Yeah, they're, they're massive. They're the largest carrot weight pieces on a strand. The, the, the largest carrot weight jadeites other than the, the haigu that we just bought to you that sold out. These lend themselves so well to, to you know, earrings or to everything, really. Just literally feeding them. Look at that colour. Mm -hmm. Literally feeding them onto a, like a, a leather cord if yes. you wanted to. Well, I mean, you just, yeah, Ross, you just found it there. That, there was a, um, sorry, that's on a, a, a cord. And what's the price on that one there? Uh, 41 to 46,000 US dollars. US that was dollars. in 2014. Wow. So this is what that? I mean when I said that gentleman said, my parents sold you know, those pieces that we just saw for like $5,000. Mm -hmm. I don't know when, but his, his mother was still you know, healthy and alive on, on the booth. So say 30, 40 years, years ago. Mm -hmm. And he's buying them back for $70,000. So that kind of ties into that piece there that, that we're seeing yeah. at the bottom auction house. 2014, it's $46,000, $41,000, $320,000 to $360,000, Hong Kong $1,000. And uh, God knows what they'll be today. Probably 70. You know, that piece on a, just on a cord. Oh, my goodness. And then we've got a strand here. An entire strand? Yeah. Look at the colour. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Now, the biggest single stones we have in a strand. Yes. Outside of the high goo. Yes. Let's, uh, let's bring the graphics in for this. I love the shape, and, I, and I'm, I'm curious to know this, this is a question, to actually look at the rice bead, obviously there's a symbolism uh, um, to the, yeah. like the marquise, it's a nod towards the marquise, isn't it? Yeah. As it tapers down, I guess we're, we're wasting some of the gemstones, so I, is, it, yeah. is, it, is it more expensive? No? I mean, the, the, these carvings, it works very differently in Asia, but of course you won't, there is wasteful with, with the material there, mm -hmm. um, but it, it's all about you know, how the jade wants to be cut is what they say, you know, it kind of decides itself. And this is, a, again, has that historical significance. Um, it's a special, special 90 carat moment for every single one of you right now. And it's incredible. It's absolutely And uh, can I just let everyone know, I'm, I'm just going to do a crazy deal on this because of how many people have missed out on every auction so far. I am, regardless of if we should or not, I am going to do a crazy deal on this. And just to put that into context, just to, to give you some context, my first price crash. And remember, you know, you can buy 100 carats of diamonds or you can buy a 100 carat diamond and the price is very different. They're it? very different, yeah. So it's, it's to do with the carat weight, the larger the carat weight in the single pieces. Yeah. It's all the same grade. You've seen that from every yeah. strand, from the high goods, all the same grade material. So, okay. you know, a minute ago, I literally put it all around you like you were in a shop window. And you can see, there you go, you can see it all. It's all the same grade. But look how much larger the carat weights of these rice beads are. Probably should have opened the show with these. Look at how beautiful that in is. Term, if we were going price descending. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing, I mean, that hand. God knows <laughs> how much that hand should be insured for. I, I know. Imagine. But, okay, straight away, first price crash, 299 just to give you an idea of how aggressive I'm going to go on. Wait, so we're starting, starting. at a lower I'm not price starting at, I'm not starting at three grand or 2,000 pounds okay. or even 1,000 pounds. I'm starting. Good. Yeah, oh, easily. Um, wow. Only, there was only 80 of these. I think 20 have gone. 40. Oh, sorry. Half the stock's gone. All right, oh. let's do a minute clock. One big crash coming. One big crash oh, coming. No more, no more little crashes. No more. Let's go again. Let's do this. One big crash coming. Let's do it. Oh my, it's Greater Manchester, you've got four. Uh, you, uh, Wiltshire, you've got two. Uh, so North Yorkshire, you've got two. Cardiff, you've got two. Um, there's, there's 20 Literally, left. Literally, the three rows of names on our screens right now. They're absolutely incredible. Sorry. Look at those. Oh, there's only 15 left. Sorry, guys. But I, I told you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something crazy for you. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Such a distinctive colour. Oh, that's using, what, two of the strands? Yeah. Three of the strands. Three of the strands. Graduating them, yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. How beautiful are that? Is that? You... you, you, you oh, what was the worst worded sentence ever? Go on. Um, it's the jade I... One, two, nine. I think they've sold out, but 129. They have, yeah. I'm still speechless. You'd never, you'd, there's nothing like this. No. 
No, I know. But look, how many? We've had literally hundreds of people miss out on every auction. And this one's just sold out too. Well done. Oh my goodness. Wow. Where do we go from here? So we have two, and these are going to just. I hope to God we've got big quantities of what we're about to do. In the hexagons, which uh, Al and Sue have actually incorporated. Yeah, in we saw those necklace. earlier. At the Can you see that there? So those beautiful little hexagonal shapes. Yeah. That's gorgeous, isn't mm -hmm. it? We have just over 100. Oh, great. A minuscule over 100. And then we have... Oh, you want to see these, though? Uh, th these are, yeah, the ones you're holding. Do you want me to show yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, show these. You know the ones I talked about earlier, Ross, which are the, the, the bigger carrot weights in the single pieces with that unique carving. Oh, my word. These are absolutely incredible. Oh, yeah. Look at this. How many of those do we have, Ross? 175. Uh, you, uh, they're gone, I'm telling you. They're gone. They're beautiful. The shape of those mm. are amazing. And they are drilled, uh, by the I way. Would do oh, wow. Yes, that so way. Right, OK. So, you know, like uh, the Van Cleef necklaces they do? Mm -hmm. That's how I do it, like stationed. Alhambra. Alhambra, yeah. Alhambra. That, I mean, it's kind of like that, I guess. But yeah. You just have it stationed on like a very... But I tell you... They don't have they don't have red jade. No, they don't have red jade. <laughs> they don't have red jade. We do. You do. Oh. Um, which one do you want to start with, Ross? The hexagons, okay, let's do it. No, you're not just getting one or two. What did we say the other these are hundred or something? Yeah, hundred and two. Hundred and two, okay. Um it's it's like it's literally like the Chinese lantern shape as yes, well, it isn't is, it? Yes, it is. That's exactly what it's like. So beautiful, this shape. Um, and perfect to incorporate in along, in along the strands. Again, for those people that have just tuned in. This is where you can own something now. If you've missed out on every single auction, if you've missed out on every auction, this is where I'm going to let you own Red Jadeite. Because I think this is those, these are those moments of detail now that can take your jewellery to the next level. And you can see it with what our, our designers have done here on, on the piece on Alice Hand. You can just see those moments they just take it to that next level. Yeah, they do, yeah. And if you don't get those today, where are you getting those from? Where are you getting that carving yeah. in red jadeite from? Let's open the graphics up on this. There's 102, and uh, this is where we're going to make everyone very happy. Ten carrots, OK? Six pieces, six individual solitaires. Yeah. Of, uh, of yeah, two, yes, two carrots per natural type A jadeite. Yeah. Do you want to know how crazy this is going to be? I mean, I, I don't... I, I'll yeah, do a minute clock to my first crash. And my first crash will give you uh, an idea of how good this is going to be. OK. Make sure that you are in the right Susie, place. you're already in. Congratulations. Don't first person on the phone lines was Susie. Uh, yeah. The, 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 I've never seen such a frantically... A frantic... It was a frenzy, isn't there, on the web, on the, oh, yeah. the phone lines as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's because this is so historic. 18 years we've been established across the partnership. Yes, that's right. Never have we done anything to this, nope. uh, to this magnitude. No. And there's 18 years worth of, of collectors that are on the phone lines right now that have never had this opportunity, and that's why it is the way it is. This is my first time ever witnessing, actually seeing, red jadeite in person. Mm -hmm. I'd read about it in books, seen photographs. But actually seeing it in person, and the colour is beyond words. Yeah. First price crash. Ninety-nine pound. Oh, I had a funny feeling there. <laughs> first price crash. First time you've seen any. First. Yeah, or first. First. Okay. This is it. I told you this is your moment where you can own pieces of red jadeite. This is why these auctions are here. This is why this moment is here. There's those moments, those moments of, of points of difference, those moments of detail that, that can take whatever you're, you're trying to achieve to the next level. And it's on four-way split pay, which I didn't realise, so I've obviously gone wrong here. Um, <laughs> £25. £24.25 on a uh, 75 on split pay. That's uh, um, OK. Minute clock, please, guys. This is it. This is where this ends. It's now or never for you guys. There was only 102. It's, it's already in double figures. And just it's going to go again. 
just to reiterate, this is the colour oh, that people uh, were it's saying. It's still the same gemstone, guys. Yeah. It's still and, 10 and carats. They are tipping to be the one that's maybe. Going to break the auction record, yeah. This is what a lot of you know authorities or I agree with that. Jade it's idealists beautiful. are saying, oh, well, it's just distinct, distinct rarity. Yeah. yeah, unparalleled rarity. It has that glow, doesn't it? That mm -hmm. presence, like, yes. like, like, like imperial green. But instead, it's actually a far rarer colour. Yeah. You got 26, 25 seconds. Oh, uh, you get six within your parcel. You got 20 seconds to check this out, guys. I would not wait. No, it might well even sell out before you get the chance to do that. It's well on the way to. Um, rapidly approaching, rapidly approaching a sellout. Mm -hmm. 27 of these are left within our vault. Well, they're going to be gone. Yeah. Half the price. Oh my goodness me! What? And you got your four-way spit there. Use it. Why not? It's uh, free, free. It's interest-free, isn't it? Type A. Natural. Well. Wow. Red jadeite. Ten carats. That's less than ten pounds per. I've per, never per seen these. Uh, this this shape before. Maybe that's less than ten pound. Less than ten pound. What, was what that? is that shape? Hexon gone. Is that an actual shape? I've never heard of it. Is it a spelling mistake? Yeah, okay, that's all right. It's all right, we had a kit earlier Sorry, on. Sorry guys. Don't I don't know, I thought, wow, maybe that's like some kind of unique kind of No, no. Yeah, it's yeah, we, we could have gone down that route, I thought maybe. Dave, we had a kit call which was meant to say... I didn't know if there was something wrong with my eyes. No, I thought, am I losing consciousness or something? I had an auction the other day and it's a um, beautiful strand of hematite, hematite. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, but well, that's sold out. There's, I think we have two more opportunities, don't we? One. Oh, one more, the Alhambra. The kind of uh, Van Cleef. Oh, Is that the one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's it. Um, now, I mean, look, I, you know um, that this is a larger carrot weight again, so it should be uh, you know, considered because it'll be, it'll be a smaller collective carrot weight, yeah. a larger carrot weight in the single stone, and the intricacy of the carving, which you're going to find out right now, it's really beautiful. I mean, the, the, to be drilled. able to cut something like this. Yeah. They're beautiful, aren't they? Almost yes. like mosaics. Yeah. Okay, let's bring the graphics in. How many? 173? 172? 175. All right. I'm going to absolutely get these gone. Okay. These are going. To all of our collectors. Imagine just these in a pair of earrings. I would multi on these because it's two, two to a, uh, an auction. Match pair. So, um, I don't, we're looking at the carrot weight, five carrots. Yeah, so two and a half in each, okay. in each of these, of course. In each of those uh, decorative I'd parts. buy, the price I'm going to do, I'd buy maybe five pairs of these. It means you can create that kind of necklace and, and then a pair of earrings out of Because they are through drilled as well, so yeah. very cleverly drilled. Yeah. Um, if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. But yeah. if 99 pounds Ross straight away, please. Sorry? 99 pounds straight away. And then we'll do a minute clock and then we're just going to sell them all out. Here you come. Sonia, one of our top Jadeite collectors has got three mm -hmm. of these. Paula, you've got two. Anna, you've got two. Susie and Wiltshire has got four. Yeah, well... First then. one on the phone lines again, Susie. You were. She wasn't messing around, was she? No. Well done, Susie. They are absolutely beautiful, that shape. Yeah. Greater London, you've got two. Congratulations. Maker in Sussex has got four. Congratulations. They're almost butterfly-esque. Tracy in Norfolk's got six. Well then, Tracy. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, our viewers definitely trust you, Dave, because you've said, what, you're going to multi-buy? Yeah. You're going to give a multi-buyable price? Tracy Norfolk's got six, and Maker of Greater Manchester's got six as well. Yeah. We trust you. Uh, well, I, I don't even trust myself right now, because this is going to get wild. Yeah, Not even going to mess trust, around. You don't trust yourself for different reasons, though, because you're yeah. going to take this... Well, this encourages me. It encourages me. <laughs> I, I, see, I see what you guys are doing, it's fine. Um, I'm very easily influenced, so we're going to do it. We're going to do something crazy. <laughs> oh, goodness. There was a bigger, this is the biggest quantity, actually, yeah. which is really exciting. Use it as a bead as part of a strand if you wanted to, or, yeah, use them pendants. Drill holes, no drill holes. Four-way split play is on this, right? Yeah. Yeah, 29 99 $29.99. That split pay of... I, I can't work it out. I mean... 
The phone lines have gone crazy. Yeah. The split pay, by the way, is about seven pounds. Okay. It's seven pound forty-nine, by the way. Your maths is on point today, isn't it? I know. I'm You're very good. Myself. I like it. I don't know why. I'm Sonia's now come back in and got it. six. Well done, congratulations. Yeah, well, Susan and Sonsi got five. Renfrewshire, you got two. Uh, everyone's multi buying. Actually, everyone is multi buying. Oh, Norfolk's got eight. So, Tracy, you had already thought I was going to do a good deal, already bought six. I've just done, obviously, a better deal, and you've come in and got eight. So, well done. It's such a distinctive shape as well. It's the same it? gemstone we're still talking about, by the way. It's the yes. same gemstone that Unnatural. we're still talking about. Unnatural. Um, whilst, do you have that thing documentary mode here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can we listen to Alex this time? Alex, a gentleman who lived in China for some time, and uh, JCK, you know, maybe a week ago, he had this to say, keep coming in, it is a massive queue, but take a listen to what Alex had to say. So I've been dealing with the jade market for the last 30 years. Uh, spent most of my adult life in China working on jade projects. Uh, right now, the market for natural colors is through the roof. I've never seen it like this before. Uh, supply-related issues, uh, demand-related issues from China looking for this material. Um, you know, it's an incredible opportunity right now if you can get a hold of it. Guys, the, the, the team here, nothing to do with me, my maths is terrible, the team here between them have just done some crazy maths. If you've bought everything in the show, and there's a, I'd say actually the majority of you have, for the first time ever in one of my showcases, the majority of people mm -hmm. have, have been on every auction, okay? So I think it was, a, in total, what we've bought to you so far is 1,084 carats, and your total... Spend. Sorry, no, 1,084 pounds. Oh, okay, so 1,084 pounds. For everything. Yeah. Which you should pay for one of those, really. For a, a total of 510 carats, which is around two pound a carat for red jade. Right? Is that right? Uh, that is right, yeah? My math is okay there. Okay, that's ludicrous. That's ludicrous. Yeah. You, I mean, even if you went back to Pillar and Stone, the one booth that had no red jade, right? Yeah. And you look at their honey jade, their moss and snow jade, their black jade, their grey jade, their white jade. The, you know, the, you're not going to get anything for two pound a carat. I mean, the, those two big moss and snow carvings, beautiful as they were, were a 12 grand wholesale. Uh, That's uh, mega, isn't it? I believe that auction sold out, is that right? Yes, uh, I think they've all pretty much sold out. Everything other than the seven mil, um, you can, oh, a couple of the six have popped in. Listen, as soon as we cut to this break, I'm out of here and I'll get them. Yeah. I'm out of here because I'm looking forward to this trip to Vegas. Yeah. Um, if I can part with them, that's the thing. But yeah, it, unbelievable. Have a little look at the website. If you scroll down just a little bit, this is, these are the items that we have brought you today. Look, watch this. There you go. Oh, some of the hexon guns just hexons, come back in. One's um, just come back in. <laughs> those are the two <laughs> that are available. Yeah. Um, are currently available. Yeah. Check them out. This opportunity we don't believe will ever happen ever again. Yeah. What an achievement. Thank what, you so much. Thank you, Al. Uh, thank you to the whole team, everyone here. It's a big team effort. Uh, and thank you most importantly to you guys for joining us. It's always wonderful to have your company uh, on a Saturday morning and choosing to spend your, you know, part of your weekend with us. We really appreciate it. I know you've still got a master class to come. But from me, uh, I wanted to say a massive thank you. For me, it was a career highlight achievement to just mm. be here with Red Jade Eye to get to share it with you, made it even more special. So thank you very much. It really is incredible. Well done to every single one of you that has got hold of any of those acquisitions. Truly monumental. Um, but don't go anywhere because there is so much more to bring you. We've got the lovely Hannah Osborne stepping back into the studios for an exquisite masterclass. Um, yeah, I know. You're on cloud nine right now, aren't you? Enjoy the moment and it's going to get even better when that jadeite lands on your doorstep. Don't go anywhere, though, because we'll be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker.
Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. So, over the last two weeks, we have had two crazily successful Jewelry Raider shows. And this Monday at 11 a.m., it returns. Now, I've just come back from the Jewelry Maker Vault, and we have got some absolutely unbelievable pieces for you. I have got some of the finest opals from Ethiopia, some of the most beautiful tanzanite. Chrysophase will be making a, a reappearance to Jewelry Maker. Peter site, pieces that we haven't seen for years here at Jewelry Maker, but most importantly, some of the most irreplaceable pieces in our vault as well. What's unbelievably special as well is I have got just a few pieces of a gemstone from out of this planet. Moldavite will be making its return at the best prices that we have ever seen at Jewelry Maker. So come and join me this Monday at 11 a.m. for an absolutely ludicrous Jewelry Raider show. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. I'm still on cloud nine. I haven't come down just yet. That was amazing, wasn't it? Have it's you just... ever seen anything more incredibly beautiful? No, than I know. It's fabulous. I uh, so much say I haven't taken these off yet. They're beautiful. They really suit you as well. <laughs> Dan's going to have to wrestle them off me <laughs> from the end of the show. They're absolutely amazing. Ah, oh, look at those. Well done to every single one of you. But there is still so much more to bring you because... We have close-out sterling silver deals to bring you at the end of this hour. And, and, and we mean they have to go. We've got, we've got, we've got licence and approval to literally get them gone. No room, get them gone. Righto. Do you know, that might sound like a problem, which you, you might think, nah, that doesn't, that's not real. That's not real, that's not a problem that Jewelry Maker actually have. I, I assure you we do, because um, our warehouse manager, Carl, um, he's very, very vocal Yes. when he needs space. He will, <laughs> he will send emails 
quite publicly, if you like. <laughs> we love you, Carl, don't we? Um, saying, listen, you've got, to, <laughs> you've got to sell some bits, otherwise there's, not, there's no room. There's no room. So we have literally approval to um, clear it entirely. Okay, 200 opportunities of each. Two separate auctions. I tell you what, we're going to start with those. What? With this, did you say with Zavarite Garnet? In, inside the silver. Are these the ones I designed for Tucson? <laughs> okay. I know all good, because I'm, I'm, I, I remember actually being... Because what I can tell you... As soon as they said Zavarite Garnet in silver, I was like, listen, there can only be one piece, and it's a pendant that I actually designed. Now, originally, I'm, I'm going to... We'll do it at the end of this hour, but I'm going to tell you a story to this, because, look, these were, these were part of a conversation. Thank you. It started literally January last year, and I wanted these. I'll tell you. I'll be completely upfront and honest. When I went to Tucson at the beginning of the year, I wanted to be able to, one of our dial backs to be about Zavarite Garnet. Yes, fabulous. Makes sense, Bruce, uh, because uh, Bruce Bridges was going to be there. I could have that conversation. These were meant to be lockets. They were meant to be lockets. So when they touched down, I was like, oh, they're beautiful, but they're not lockets, are they? Um, we've negotiated a bit of a price, and that's how we're closing them out. Get these, because it's going to be an absolute giveaway deal. Also, I did cherry pick the best Zavarite garnets. Trust me, think of the lowest possible price for this, this gram weight of sterling silver, and also one of the most valuable of your garnets. You could literally, we could literally send these over to Gems. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. The idea initially was it was going to be a locket. I came back, oh, they're not lockets. So that's how this is happening right then. But before we get into that, now we have been promising these since yesterday. And I get it. And I said to Ross and I were discussing in the break, just gone. Red Jade, wonderful excitement. But it's a different, it's, it's an ex. It's an investment, isn't it? it was a, it's, a, it's a considered purchase, not comparative to what we should be paying and what we would be paying elsewhere, but it is a different price point. How about we still we stay with some of our favourite gemstones, and amber absolutely is one of your favourites, but we bring you a shape I don't think we've done before. You've seen the shape in jadeite. I don't think... You've seen amber in a high goo. I, I absolutely, I'm in love with these. I love these. I love them all. <laughs> You've got them in yeah. all four colours. They're coming up and they are going to be affordable for the size of these ambers. From your butterscotch to your lemon, to your earthy, to your cognac. cognac. Yeah. I'm going to start one with this one now. Now, it's, it's very special. The year where uh, Great Britain celebrated the Platinum Jubilee, a gemstone which is known to be particularly challenging to carve is amber. Why? It burns. It can literally burn. So any high temperature, any, any polishing, it causes, it creates a friction, so it can literally burn the amber. So to create a crown within your amber, that's not set inside. If I flip this round for one moment, you'll see it is literally carved within your amber. Can you see that? Inside your amber gemstone. That's unbelievable. Imagine the pressure. Of, do, like, what uh, if you slip? <laughs> yeah, what Honestly, if you burn it? They're in incredible artisans, aren't they? They really are. They really, really are. That is absolutely amazing, isn't it? Very unique. You have this wonderful halo of 925 sterling silver. It's a beautiful pendant. Again, very symbolic. I think absolutely um, appropriate for us to be launching this um, in 2022, given the fact that this is the year, of course, where we celebrated the uh, Platinum Jubilee. Or, you know what? Maybe that's not your thing. Maybe you're not really into the monarchy or... or Whichever, you know, absolutely entirely your choice. Um, but the crown, 
The crown itself is very symbolic. It might be sort of to your prince, to your princess, you know, um, your queen or your king, whichever way you actually look at it. It's an incredible, incredible design and really is a work of art. You said that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's so precise, isn't it? And so intricate. I can't believe. And has the added danger factor of you, you could burn it and, and ruin it very, very easily. I imagine there was, there was a lot of amber that was burnt in I the process. Imagine. Yeah, I would think so. No way near your price tag. I'm showing you the back, obviously the reverse to let you know that this is not something that, it's not glass where we actually have a crown literally just suspended or a resin. That is a carving which has been created in to your cognac amber. We're at 49 pounds and 99 pence for cognac amber in a pendant, quite a historic pendant. And we're not even stopping there. Not even stopping there. Oh, look at that. I didn't even see the piece of jewellery that's created. Simply attaching a jump ring. Yeah, that's all you need to do because it's a beautiful pendant on its own, isn't it? Yeah. It's cool. Adam's just saying I'd wear that. Yeah, cool. What was that? Oh, you'd actually want to make a jester or something to go underneath. Yeah, that's cool. Like, uh, yeah, you could do almost like the uh, Harlequin. You could do maybe look at things like your family crest. Um, I like that idea. That would be having cool the family actually, crest yeah. behind it. Forty nine ninety nine is absolutely incredible for the quality, the intricacy, the work of art that has gone into hand carving. Is you, you can't do something that, like this by machine. If it was done by machine, then it would literally just shatter the stone. I should imagine or burn it entirely through. So literally carving, creating that individual, very unique regal crown. $24.99, oh my goodness me. <laughs> That's the silver way, isn't it? Surely that should be the price of the silver, which again, sorry to keep moving it around. You can see there's a significant gram weight within there, cradling and framing. Uh, your cognac amber, but cognac amber, so you've got the rarity straight away. Cognac amber, which has been hand carved with this beautiful, beautiful um, intaglio, intaglio, crown intaglio pendant. I don't know if that has any meaning. I don't know what intaglio means, but maybe it does and that's my ignorance. If it does, then obviously use that. I'm looking at it maybe actually as the crown influence. I, it, might, it might just be the technique of actually carving the, maybe. the stone. Maybe. Yeah. Why is there a clock on our screen? <laughs> so, okay, we, we do some pretty incredible sterling silver chain deals, don't we, on a regular basis. If you were to go into an amber boutique and you were to see this, would you ever, ever imagine that it was going to be priced for 925 precious metal, genuine amber, would you imagine it to be under £20? No. No, you never in a million years. <laughs> no, hundred. Yeah, hundred and twenty pounds. Hundred and twenty pounds, I'd say. Yeah, that would sit yeah, comfortably that, with that's you. That's, Hannah. A, that's a comfortable sort of price point for that. For genuine amber, yeah. not yeah, resin. Absolutely. I mean, and I don't. I don't think that's being greedy. I think that's just a, you know, a reasonable it's price. The price point of amber for, for, for amber. Yeah, but it's not just amber. It's it's carved amber <laughs> as well. We're going to take this under £20. It's been a very busy show. Oh, my goodness me. Something for, uh, for, for, for gents and ladies. Something with symbolism and something with a story behind it. Not just the gemstone, but also the fact that you have that hand carving within as well. £20. Genuine amber. Just literally feed it onto a jump ring, onto a sterling silver chain. It's quite a jubilee keepsake as well, isn't it? I love you that. Know, something to hand down through the generations. How many of these the, were ever created? You know. Um, you know, and, and you know, I, I'm, I'm going back to what you just said there. You know, the Royal Mint do do limited edition. They do coins and things, don't they? And yeah. stamps and all Royal sorts. Worcester. Yeah. China. Get all that crockery. Amber for £20 today. Oh, I'm so excited about these. 
I'm so excited, and I can tell you this is one. These are hands down some of my favourite ambers that we've ever done. Uh, yeah, I think I'm there with you as well. Yeah, I just I love the shape. I love the, I love the fact that you get all the different colours. I can't decide which one the favourite is. And uh, uh, Hannah, I don't know uh, if you know the, what they're going to. You I've, don't need to have a favourite. Oh wow, really? Yeah, because bear with. Bear with. Well, you've just heard it in your ear, haven't you? Was that for those? Yeah. No. Yeah. I know. <laughs> But, but there is a hundred uh, approximately of each, uh, uh, approximately. Gosh. Who loves amber? <laughs> Who loves the haigu symbol? The symbol of the haigu, I love it. The, you know, the <laughs> sentiment behind it as well. Yes, I know that was used very much uh, alongside jadeite, but that doesn't mean to say that it can't be incorporated with other gemstones out there. But some beautiful jewelry made up by our, our, our fabulous in-house designers, you can see here. Um, just literally lark's head knot onto cord, but that could also be onto a sterling silver chain. The haigu symbol, um, you heard Dave briefly talk about it just there. It's almost like a, um, a donut shape where you've actually got one fifth, a hole is one fifth of the exterior, the circumference of the haigu. Um, and it was placed on literally chests and waists of deceased loved ones to keep their continued everlasting love. Now that was the idea, the sentiment Aww. behind the haigu of, and that. also keep you connected as well. Yeah. They, 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 cause, Jade out translates to heaven, so it was that connection to your lost loved ones. Uh, and I, do you know, whether you go with that or whether you don't, I really love the story and the history of it. I would absolutely be thinking that same thing alongside the amber. Now, these are fine quality ambers. I want to see you on the phone lines. Not nearly enough of you on the phone lines, because these are beautiful. I haven't showed you yet, to be fair. Haven't even showed you. We're going to start with the cognac. I'm adding these to my order, and as you know, I'm shopping today. The first price crash is not what you're paying. But I tell you what it will do. This is huge. Look at the measurements. 11. Mm, technically speaking, we shouldn't use carrots. It's an, it's an organic gemstone, technically speaking. Let's go with the measurements. 24 millimetres. Because it's an organic gemstone, what that basically means, much like your pearls and your jet um, and your amylite, because it's an organic gemstone, um, there's not a carat weight, it's done on measurements. That's the first price crash. We're not stopping there, are we, Hannah? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know why we're not stopping there, because I think they're worth It's huge. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's huge. Just literally feed that onto a chain. They are, honestly, I think I, the way I would do that, I'd, I'd lark's head it onto either a cord or, or a chain at the top, and yeah. then I'd have like more lark's heads to, to then make tassels from underneath. Oh, like, nice! Of some like um. Oh yeah, that would be beautiful. You know, the S on fringing things like that, or chain again. That would be absolutely oh, beautiful, uh, wouldn't stunning, it? Stunning, yeah. Our clock's having a funny <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> Don't worry. It's at zero anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going lower. We would, it, 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 that would be a good deal. Yeah, yeah. Prices this morning are shocking. Yeah, Fran? I know. they really are. In a good way though, right, Fran? <laughs> nice shock, but definitely shocking. <laughs> We're going lower. We just want to see you on the phone lines. We're giving you time. We're not closing there. It's genuine amber. Yes. Get that clock rocking, because we're going to go Ooh. even lower, even lower. Hang on, I think now is an ideal opportunity, whilst it's sticking oh, away, for me to show you the selection of colours that we are going to be bringing you in uh, in the remainder of this hour. Gosh, I'm actually running out. There we go. But you've got you've got your earthy. I want them all. And me, well, you can. Hannah, you, oh, they're, I can't hold them all. They're not going to be left, are they? <laughs> Literally, no, that's true. That's true. They may well sell. Uh, they may, may well sell out today. You've got your beautiful cognac that's on your screens right now for your graphics. This is the earthy. That's the butterscotch. That's the lemon. Now, just be warned. There's less than a hundred of each of these, and believe me, believe me, they are incredibly affordable for the size. Incredibly affordable. I've been really excited about this auction opportunity. Because I don't remember, I don't recall ever having a, a, you know, a, an amber in a donut, high no. goo, whichever way you want to call it. I don't think we've done them. 
Not certainly not of that size. No. Anyway. If, we, if we've done some, that, that, then it might be maybe, in a pendant. Yeah. You know, with the silver. With with something framing it. Yeah. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Do you want to just get? It's crazy. Want, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's it's absolute madness. Just to get an idea of perspective. So here, Anne and Sue have actually done. Look. Oh yeah. So, literally, yeah. a lark said not onto some with sterling chain. silver with the chain. And if I just feed it through personally. Yeah. If you got. Well, yeah, you you can. I think the lark said not just makes it sit flat. Sit but if flat, you wanted yeah. to move around, then you could just thread it through. There you go. But you could do that with any of your um, of of your ambers. Look how beautiful that is. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? And it's a huge piece of amber. My core screen's gone funny again. It's gone all wonky woo. I can only see the bottom end of the screen. Um, but we had how many of the, the, the cognac? Yeah, literally 100. Um, so many are, of you have chosen to shop ahead. Trusting us, thank you so much for that. I love this, Anne and Sue created, cute, using it? it alongside some macrame. And again, that's something most of us as jewellery makers could do. Something for gents as well. Yeah. I think you can move it to the side a bit. Yeah. It sits in the middle. There we go. Yeah. Would you? There you go. Da, 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 da. There you go. Oh, look. How cool that is. I love that. That's cool. Love that. Doesn't take it away from the amber. No, it doesn't. It's beautiful. Now, on to the next amber, which is... Should we do earthy? Uh, this is actually one of the rarest colours. Now, um, there are over, did you know, fun fact, it's been, it feels like a long time since I've actually spoken about amber. Um, there are over 250 different colours of amber in existence. Yeah, we narrow that down to, say, around seven. Certain colours are rarer than others. Now, you have some of those colours on our, 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 on our table right now. Earthy, the reason why earthy amber has that almost borderline green colour is because there is literally organic matter which has transformed it to that colour. So if you can imagine that this, um, this, this gemstone, which has gone through uh, millions of years of, uh, of a process called polymerisation. Ooh, it's good, good word. Good, good word, word, isn't it? I know, mm. I know. Polymerisation, literally. Think what this treasure has seen. Think what this has seen. Think of the ice ages. Think of the movements of tectonic plates. Millions of years, a gemstone that literally floats in salt water, literally floats, and is just a, you know, a, very, um, a very delicate two on the most scale. Imagine what this has withstood. That's why I always say, still, still wear your amber. It is a gemstone that loves to be worn and, and gets better with age. Anyway. So you have a presence of organic matter within this gemstone, and that's how you get this really beautiful, almost like a, an earthy green. The more inclusions in your amber, the better. You are not paying 19.99. 24 millimeters in its size. Love that. So I'm looking at this, and uh, you know, the two ambers, I gravitate towards one colour, and I know my husband would gravitate towards this one. But you could absolutely have his and hers, couldn't you? Yeah. I think I think if you, particularly with this kind of bracelet, you could do this, couldn't you? You could even do it on something like leather cord. Leather cord would look great with that, actually. Yeah. Pop it on the leather cord. Oh, I love it. Yes, yes, Ross. You know, we always use the the mobile phone behind. Behind your, your jade eye, the same absolutely applies yes, when it comes does. to your amber because each and every single one of those inclusions within, remember the inclusions are desired in amber, that, that is millions of years old. The popularity of amber went through the roof, guess when? On the launch of Jurassic Park, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> of course, when that amber um, was in the top of, uh, of his walking stick. Now, factually, is that correct? Mm, you can extract DNA, uh, but not enough to actually be able to physically clone dinosaurs. Um, that's, that's apparently I'm what I'm I'm quite relieved read. about I'm that. relieved about that. <laughs> Leave them exactly where they were. Um, yeah, wonderful, wonderful historic figures. £14.99 pence. You are, I'm literally holding a piece of our planet's history. Uh, yeah, I mean, I love that. I love the, I love the fact that it's, it's something from Mother Nature that's going to last for absolutely ever. 
and yet you can wear it. You can, yeah. You, can, you know, you're, you're sort of binding yourself to the earth with it almost. I love it. Oh, and then kids love it. I, I think yeah, it, actually, well, if you want a gemstone yeah. to spark a kid's enthusiasm for things like geography, history, paleontology, yeah. all of those things, then this is it. This is literally it. Show and tell. This is the perfect gemstone to, uh, to introduce. You know, because you could say like that, that could, that, those little leaves could have brushed against dinosaurs. Those little leaves could have, um, or bugs inside, yeah. existed millions of years ago. It's absolutely fascinating, isn't it's, it? I love it. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm totally into all of that sort of thing anyway. I love, mm. I love the sort of like the history of, it, of where things have come from. And that to me, it's just, it's such a, it's such a, a snapshot of history, which you can then turn into something else which creates a snapshot from now and then you and then you pass it on to whoever might wear it in the future yeah and, then and they might reinvent better. it again you know and it's and it stays as beautiful as that again setting a stone mm. in the middle of these yeah. would be absolutely gorgeous wouldn't oh, it stunning yeah literally stunning. just glue in a uh, glue in a gemstone in the center well done um now one of my favorites is the lemon i love lemon um, I love lemon amber because it, because it's got a sort of softer body colour, um, and it is literally like almost like a lemon quartz, I suppose. The softer body colour means that you can actually visually see the internal inclusions far more obviously. So, take a oh. Do you think it's such a cheerful colour as well? It is. It? It's so sunshine, it's, isn't the, it? A light, bright, uplifting yellow. Yeah. Wow. It's like staring at the sun. Oh my goodness! Have you? I didn't know Amber did that. Beautiful. Let me just draw it away slightly, and you can see those amazing inclusions within. It's absolutely magical. You're not paying nineteen ninety nine. You. I don't believe we've ever done. We've ever actually done it. We just. There we go. I don't believe we've ever actually done. Amber of this size in the in, in the donut stroke high goo shape. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think I've seen them before. Like, if we have, then you know, forgive me. For yes, I, 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 yeah, I apologise too. But they're beautiful. I've, I know I've seen something similar with a sterling silver mount around it, but not. But nothing like not this. loose. And they're so tactile as well, aren't they? They've got lovely and smooth. Like, even if you just just held it, that's the sort of thing you know, like palm stones. Yeah. I, I think I think they've got that same kind of tactile appeal as well. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's physically warm, isn't it? Yeah. Amber is a physically, you, you can actually feel the warmth of this amazing gemstone. And most of the world's amber that is, um, is out there is actually now under sea. So it's becoming very, very, very difficult to get hold of. Um, it, it's, it literally can be found washed upon the shores. We saw SARS from the Baltic region within Poland. We've got a fantastic relationship with Marius. You've probably seen him on your screens from time to time, um, from time to time as well. He's uh, very charis charismatic, um, and he knows as well uh, what uh, what you want. Um, can I can I ask you to do something, Hannah? Hello. Yeah. Can I ask you to take that off there for a minute? Yeah. Because I'm going to be very decadent in a few moments' time. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to feed at 14.99. I'm going to feed all of those all of those amber donuts on one sterling silver chain. Okay. I am. I am because of that kind of price tag. What are we up to now? 45 pounds. That one cherry on the bus as well. If we got that. That's that, the earthy. That's earthy, is it? It looks like a different colour from here. Yeah. That's the, the earthy colour. I love the fact they're all so different. Yeah. You get like you know you, you can pick three earthy ones and they're all going to look different because of the inclusions. Yeah. Fantastic. All completely unique. Look at that. I know. I'm loving that. Oh, you sounded very Welsh then, Hannah. You did. did. I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I love yeah. that. <laughs> I love in that. I love in that. I know it is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> this is. I know. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Fabulous. I love it. Fabulous. Um, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to borrow this bus for a second because why not? Treat yourself. You're absolutely worth it. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Ah. Oh. Oh, I like that. So simple, so simple, and yet so effective, isn't it? Beautiful. Should we do the last? Yeah. And actually the rarest colour. Yeah. Um, when I was over in Tucson, there was a couple, not many actually, I was quite surprised. There was a few different amber suppliers out there. And anyway, I got, 
I got chatting to one of them. I said, what's the rarest colour? Because I always thought it was the green. I always thought that green amber made up less than 2% of all of the colours of amber. So I said, is that the rarest? And he went, no. So OK, what is? He said, butterscotch. What, this one? That one. This one. With mookite. Oh. For an autumn kind of look. Or with carnelian or your red jade for, for the Oh, the for red the jade. Yeah. They'd be, it'd be amazing with the red jade. Stunning. So with butterscotch, it is a little bit more opaque. That doesn't mean that you won't get this. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness me. You know we are not stopping here. Although, hang on, let me just double check. Russ, what are you going to? Y even though it's the rarer colour. Okay. How many do I have? A hundred. I think these are one of my favourite amber opportunities that we've done. I think my favourites are that one and the cognac. Yeah. Because you could put them together and I could, I could just see those. With, with, again, I'd, I'd go with Mukai, I think, and just make something quite sort of fiery, but like muted fiery. Mm, yeah? I like that. Yeah. I like the idea of carnelian. I also like the idea of maybe setting a round, brilliant cut stone in the centre of this. That'd be fabulous, wouldn't it? Mm, literally just gluing it into place. How about if I told you you could get all four colours for £60? Sixty pounds. These are That's huge bonkers, ambers. Yeah. Huge, huge, huge ambers. You know your amber boutiques, which are very few and far between. Have you noticed that? Unlikely to be able to bring you anything. Even one of these fed onto a sterling silver chain. That wouldn't be sixty pounds. Again, you're missing that the hundred off the beginning. I exactly. Think. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. 160 pounds. 160, I could, I could imagine that, yeah. Totally, because it's genuine amber. Stay where you are on those phone lines. You know exactly what to do. Absolutely incredible. Um, we've got those beautiful sterling silver closeout deals still to bring you on the Zavarite. Um, they are available on pre-order. They were literally designed by myself, actually, for, 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 um, for Tucson. We're going to literally, they're going to be gone. They're going to be gone after this gone afternoon. Gone for Tucson. You've also gone <laughs> for Tucson. We've also got the most amazing... Oh, my goodness, Hannah. That's a lot of hematite. Again, masses and masses and masses. It's I best brilliant. go and get my phone, hadn't I? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wait until you see the kits, the jewellery, the demonstrations. Hannah and I'll be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. So, over the last two weeks, we have had two crazily successful Jewelry Raider shows. And this Monday at 11 a.m., it returns. Now, I've just come back from the Jewelry Maker Vault, and we have got some absolutely unbelievable pieces for you. I have got some of the finest opals from Ethiopia, some of the most beautiful tanzanite. Chrysophase will be making a, a reappearance to Jewelry Maker. Peter site, pieces that we haven't seen for years here at Jewelry Maker, but most importantly, some of the most irreplaceable pieces in our vault as well. What's unbelievably special as well is I have got just a few pieces of a gemstone from out of this planet, Moldavite will be making its return at the best prices that we have ever seen at Jewelry Maker. So come and join me this Monday, 11 a.m. for an absolutely ludicrous Jewelry Raider show. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. So, over the last two weeks, we have had two crazily successful Jewelry Raider shows. And this Monday at 11 a.m., it returns. Now, I've just come back from the Jewelry Maker Vault and we have got some absolutely unbelievable pieces for you. I have got some of the finest opals from Ethiopia, some of the most beautiful tanzanite. Chrysophase will be making a, a reappearance to Jewelry Maker. Peter site, pieces that we haven't seen for years here at Jewelry Maker, but most importantly, some of the most irreplaceable pieces in our vault as well. What's unbelievably special as well is I have got just a few pieces of a gemstone from out of this planet, Moldavite will be making its return at the best prices that we have ever seen at Jewelry Maker. So come and join me this Monday, 11 a.m. for an absolutely ludicrous Jewelry Raider show. Welcome back, lovely jewelry makers. Lovely to be with you this afternoon. Look, she's back, the bombshell. Yay! The beautiful <laughs> Hannah Osborne. It's like, like leopard librarian thing going Arr. on. Today. I don't know. Oh, I like it. Arr. Leopard librarian, absolutely. <laughs> it works. As always, you, she literally sashays into the room looking absolutely oh. fabulous. Shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> and speaking of fabulous, your jewelry. I, I love these kids. I love Me them. too. <laughs> Oh my, God. but you know when you said the hematite, I was expecting strands. No, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. I was we're, so we're, wrong. We're going for maximalism today, so Look more, at more, the more. <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna for one second scooch that to one side because you've got your closeout deals on the sterling silver coming. Dan is waiting in the wings to give me those back. But look at all of this. 
Oh my goodness! Amazing! You could literally just restrand those, couldn't you? You could, but it, it takes a long time. It is good, yeah. So much of it. That is true. Yeah, and honest, then honestly, there's just masses. And let's not forget these. These are so so gorgeous. The detail in these. I tried to do a little bit of a, a, a footage thing for Alex with the social media, just trying to show you how intricate they are because yeah. they're so beautiful. They really are. Yeah. They're like little tulips, aren't they? they are. Oh, my, and Hannah, I kid you not. And I and we didn't. This is a conversation. You didn't know I did this. Last night I was looking. Um, looking. I said earlier on I was looking for clasps. And it's because I can't get them. I can't get them from Jewelry Maker, class and different designs um, in your golds. Yes. And I'm like, we should absolutely be stocking these. Had this conversation, Caroline, didn't I, with you last night via WhatsApp. I found things like this in your platinums, in your 18 karat gold. I've, as you can imagine, they were huge prices, huge prices. But if you want that look for significantly less, then here it is. So if I flip it that way, what's going on inside, Han? Um, well, so it's it's basically it's hollow, but on, on, <laughs> on the end side of it, it, it's got like um, like little loops, which means you can use it to, to make your tassels with. Yeah. And then so um, you attach to those. Yeah, yeah. So the tiny little loops, and and then so you could just do like a, a like a simple wrap loop or something if you wanted to with mm. your favourite gemstones off those. You could add some of those chains that we had earlier so that they dangle off and have a swishy tassel. That would be lovely. Swishy tassels. I'm yeah. all about the swishy tassels. Um, but the, I mean, these ones, I, I've got so much of this, this like, amazing, like shiny, shiny. I love shiny. I love shiny. <laughs> I love shiny too. Did you see too. the thing? I, did, I, I, I tried to do TikTok again. I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing I, on I TikTok either. And then some, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Um, what did you do? Did you put that song over it? Did I, I, you? Did, I did the shiny song with the, with the, with the necklace. Well, the I'd shiny, made. shiny. From, from, uh, Moana. from Moana. Yeah, yeah. yeah he I would literally that. be in his element, wouldn't he, right now? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do what? Uh, the one. Oh, and then, yeah, that one on the, on the other board. Oh, wait, oh, my goodness. Now, we're going to be bringing you these kits in a few moments. So, just one second. Let me just uh, move them that way. They are available on pre order. Just teasing everybody now. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Hannah, this, uh, I see, I see now, I see, I see. Pass me that necklace over, okay, if um, you can. Oh, Sorry, that was I'm very bossy. Didn't mean it that. to sound quite so abrupt. Um, <laughs> so this one is like <laughs> oh a, 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 delicate, a delicate version, if you like. Yeah, I love it, because not everybody likes big tassels. No, well, this is it. So, if you, I mean, it's still quite, it's still quite a sizable tassel, really. It's just, it's just a different sort of feel to it. You know, it's, it's more... Um, perhaps elegant rather than bohemian. Yes, I get know? that. I get um, that. But then this this one also it has like these tiny little loops underneath. And then when I started to to make them, I think it's actually I don't know if it's f uh, five or six loops it's got, but I ended up just doing the four because I wanted the pearls to sit inside oh, each other. That's gorgeous. And what have you threaded those on with? Um, I just use um, this uh, the green wildfire as kind of like my my go to. What and just tie it on? Literally just tie it. Yeah. Oh. Even I can do that. Yeah, everybody could do it. Even I can. I can yeah. do a bit of tying. We're going to start with this kit. It's beautiful. If you've been, a, I, I have to say, this is one of my favourite. It's, it's I love very this pretty. Look. And this is the ball chain. You know, we were talking about the chains earlier. This was the one that I'd seen before. Yeah. But, but so the bundles of chain that you had earlier, you could make this kind of look, but except it's it's the ball all the way along instead of just with the chain gap. Ah, oh, I love it. So an alternative look. It would go with this. Yeah. Elsa Peretti, your heart yeah. out with that kind of diamond dot almost. Um, now, they are genuine cultured pearls. We're not talking about shell pearls. Nope. We're not talking about faux or plastic. They are, or glass even. Genuine cultured pearls. That is a beautiful pink mother of pearl set within your tassel. Oh, the tassel top, I should say. And yes, it is 925 sterling silver um, with the chain so that it comes complete. All I need is wildfire then to make this necklace. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I want this kit. That's <laughs> absolutely beautiful. It's just, it's just a little, a little Brucey bonus, really, isn't it? A, a nod to... I didn't think this show could get any better, Hannah, to be honest, <laughs> and it, but it just has. I, tell, I didn't say we've got lots of goodies, you know. I didn't, didn't tell everybody what everything was, just that there was a lot coming up. <laughs> um, spot the typo. Tassel tactics. Tat, tat, tat sick. <laughs> it, that doesn't matter. That's a minor detail, isn't it? Oh, Don't worry, it doesn't say that when it arrives on your, uh, on your doorstep. <laughs> 
All that nine two. <laughs> all that 925 <laughs> sterling silver with that beautiful iridescence of mother of pearl and genuine culture pearls we paid that for the strand yeah you absolutely would i mean the, the, it's just a beautiful strand of pearls and then the, the rest of it's sort of like additional little little treats aren't they i love oh, it luxury though yeah luxury, luxurious high treats. End, easy to put together and a complete kit the whole the whole thing you don't need anything else there's a clock ticking away on our screens. Oh no, why? What's he doing? I don't know. <laughs> How many do we have there, Roscoe? Just over a hundred. If you are watching for the very first time and you've never made a single piece of jewelry, or like me, maybe you like quick makes, you want something that is, I want that luxury look. I don't want it to be too technically advanced because frankly, I don't have the time. I don't have the time to do it. But you want, a look like this, I mean, you try and find, I've shown you pieces from the jewellery editor which re look reminiscent of yeah, this. Yeah, And it would definitely not have a 29 99 price tag. Well, you know what, today, this hasn't got a 29 Not nearly enough people on the phone lines for this. It's too beautiful. We need, Ross, what are you going to take it to? Oh, my goodness. So you work out the price of the actual sterling silver chain, you work out the price of the mother of pearl tassel, and then you think about, okay, well, jewellery maker, beautiful quality cultured pearls. We're already bringing you a massive saving. Unbelievable deal. Where's he going? Ooh. 24 pounds and 99 pence only to get, oh, look, there they are. Yeah. Let me show you. They're so cute. So there's the little loops inside, and that's what you thread, your, in your case, wildfire. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could use um, beading thread and crimp beads and things like that if you wanted to as well, but I, I just wanted um, quite a fine sort of um, thread so that it would move freely. You, that's then stunning. You could, put, you could put little um, wrap loops and things, Yeah. as I say, through them. But um, Wildfire is going to be super easy, isn't it? You probably need like a 0.4 if you're using wire to go through there because it's, it's quite a fine yeah. um, component. And at least with wildfire, you can get that knot right up, yeah, can't you? Yeah, you can hide it underneath it, you see. Can I hold your necklace up to the, uh, yeah, up, yeah. Up, up to the décolletage? <laughs> um, this is absolutely beautiful, Han. Thanks. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, look at that. It's just pretty, isn't it? You need to be wearing this. Are you going anywhere special anytime soon? Uh, I'm going to my husband's cousin's wedding tomorrow, but I've got a different necklace lined up for that one. So. Have you? Mm. Can you not do a wardrobe change halfway through the evening? Maybe, yeah, actually, I probably could. You, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Don't outshine the bride, though, because with jewellery like I this, you may well... Do. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Hannah, that is absolutely gorgeous. Mm. OK, but um, loads of you there. Check out your baskets. I'm joining you on that. That's absolutely gorgeous. And, and even I can make that. OK. Oh, where do we start? I think we should start with the most popular. I'm going to go. I'm going to say silver. Because I'm looking at that lovely necklace hand, and yeah. that could be solid metal. Solid, it, it gives it, the illusion it, it of solid, be. precious metal. Yeah. It, I mean, gosh, it'd be worth an absolute fortune. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> yeah, it would. Now, these aren't small kits at no, all. There are a lot, a lot of gemstones in these. Um... That's a metre. Yeah. Um, <laughs> of heavy, beautiful hematite. Another metre. Another metre. Hang on. I struggled with the three metres earlier on, didn't I, of shell pearl? And then I've got another metre on top of that. Yeah. Four metres. Oh, look how beautiful that is. They're so shiny. <laughs> they are. Oh, gorgeous. And let's not forget, you also get that really beautiful tassel top. Now, let's show you a price point that you're not going to pay. You're not going to pay this afternoon. I'm hoping there's enough of these kits to go around. Silver plated. This is silver plated uh, with your beautiful cubic zirconia set within. We've got a hundred of these kits available and immediately there's a response on the web and on the phone lines. Not your price. Ross, are you going to match prices? Yeah. So we can also tell you how much the gold is going to be, how much the blue is going to be with this price, price point and you can shop ahead. 
They are, imagine mixing them up. Oh my goodness, we're going to dive straight into the demonstration and you can shop ahead on the other colorways. Because 29.99, that's four meters, Hannah. You know, I remember when we used to do hematite kits and they would have maybe, I don't know, three, four strands, a couple of additional components and they would be around what's on our screens right yeah, now. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, I think, I think that's genuinely for a kit, that's a really good price point, I think. I'm, I'm quite comfortable if I, if I go to buy a kit to pay that sort of money. But then when you see how much is in it, it's... Four meters. Honestly, like, it's just enormous. These kits are like so, so giving. You can oh, make so yeah. much jewellery out of it. I love that bracelet that you've done yeah. as well. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> so so I, was a bit, I was a bit naughty and I sort of mixed my kits up a bit. And I, I oh, used, you mixed I used, your kit. Well, I used the elastic because I, I wanted that's to make... That's a stretchy. That's a stretchy. Yeah. No so, way. Yeah. <laughs> way. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's just it's, um, cubic right angle weave stretchy bracelet using the smaller of the the sizes of the hematite but then i still had it in, in like enough to continue to make the, the the necklace with the tassel and everything as well so yeah loads there's so there is so much in these kits it's incredible i love these uh, hannah i'm going to go as far as saying this is some of my favorite jewelry Ah. it's Aww, absolutely thanks. beautiful <laughs> absolutely gorgeous 20 pounds that means the blue is going to be at uh, £20. That means the gold is going to be £20 as well. Shop ahead. Um, make sure you check out your baskets nice and early because I think these could be on-screen sellouts. That's masses that you're getting for £20 today. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, where do we start? Because what I want to say is, can you demonstrate everything? Um, um, uh, but you take the lead. Yeah, so, uh, what, so the actual the necklace itself is just thready. So I started with the... Um, a lark's head knot through the top of the tassel connector uh -huh. um, with ordinary um, beading thread and then just added, as, as you would normally, just um, a toggle So you start the from back. the middle and work up? Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, just So that's literally just threading, so I, w I wasn't going to demo that, but uh, then I was going to show you how to do the tassel. I was joking, you demo um, what you, and if I, demo, if you want to demo. If you want me to, I can show you the technique for that, but without the elastic, if that's right, because it takes a long time. Yeah, okay. Being careful with the elastic. I, I, okay. I'm not, I don't want to put you on the spot. Okay. okay. No, no, it's good. It's all, it's all <laughs> fun. I might throw it back at you and say, here, you have a go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, I, uh, yeah, if I get this into shot, hang on. Let's move some of these around. So, I love the fact that you've got all the different sizes. Um, so, you've got three different sizes of the hematite in the kit, regardless of what colour you're on. Do I need to come down? Where am I going? Maybe way? this way a bit, that yeah. Way. That's it. There we go. I'm yeah. Warren. Hi, here we go. <laughs> you can see it now. Right, so, um, actually I'm wondering if I need the needle on there to start with. I might thread it from the other side. So, these little loops at the bottom, um, all I'm going to do, I've got a long length of my um, fire line or wildfire, whatever thread you um, prefer. I'm literally going to start off with, with a, a little knot, just to, just to anchor it in place. So, I'll do two or three passes of the thread just through one like that and then I would recommend that you put a little dab of glue or a little dab of um, clear nail polish on that knot because hematite's quite heavy and although fire line and wire fiber is, is nice and strong mm. it depends on the length of the tassel the longer the tassel the heavier it's going to be and the more yep. strain there is on this especially because people tend to fiddle with it when they're wearing them on, yes I'm they? a fiddler as well yeah yeah it just, you can't help it can you yeah <laughs> <laughs> right, so um, I, me being me, I've always got my seed beads on hand, so I've got some gold atos because I thought they, they looked fab just with the with the tassel there. So, so <laughs> three. I think uh, most people do fiddle though with their tassels, five, don't six, they? Seven, eight, nine, ten. They. <clears throat> <laughs> I feel like the wheels just fell off our wagon here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. No, just no. don't listen. Do, don't yeah, listen. Two, four, six, <laughs> Eight, ten. I've got like giggly schoolboys in the. <laughs> Four, six, eight, ten. I keep losing count. I think I did twenty-five We're on each happy. one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, 
what I'm trying to do is um, is balance the, the necklace. So, so whatever pendant you have on a necklace, it needs to be sort of balanced with, with the length of the, the rest of the necklace so that it looks right. So How do you gauge that then? Well, I, it sort of go by eye, but I, I think if, if you went too short, I think you'd lose the impact. Yeah, I agree. Um, so I think because this is a long sort of like long line necklace, it needs to be quite a, a substantial um, sort of flare at the mm -hmm. bottom. So... I keep losing track of how many I've done now. I'm sorry, I'll stop, <laughs> we need to stop talking to you, don't we? 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. I think that's that's probably all right. In fact, I might take one off because I'm sure I did 25 on the other ones. So then what I wanted to do is just graduate with the, um, the, the, the gemstones themselves. So I went for three of the smallest size. Just, just threading them on because they're slightly bigger than the uh, the seed beads, and then one of each of the others, I think. I just I might just have a quick look at that. Yeah. So one of this one, and then one of the really big ones, and then to stop it all from sliding off the end, pop that on there. Obviously, I've added these seed beads from my stash, but like you could you could use anything. You could just carry on using all the other gemstones if you wanted to, mm -hmm. and it would be thicker. Um, but I like, the, I like the sort of the tapered graduation. Then I'm going to add another one of my um, little seed beads on the end. And then I'm going to go back up through all of these. And it's, it's, it's really, really um, easy when you know how kind of thing. So I'm going like that. And then I hold that end one there. And then pull the thread so that it all links up together. And then just making sure you pass the, your needle back through all of these until you get back to the top. Gone through there. And then what you'll find is if you, when you get to the top, it's like sometimes you can pass the needle from one of these loops to the other. Sometimes you have to unthread it. So you don't actually need to have a needle. I just find it easier to work with one. Right, so that is tassel number one. Then I'm gonna do one more tie to the original loop like that and then what I want to do is I want to pass the thread through but to the next loop but from the underside of it okay so if you can get the needle under there and through the loop then that's good if you can't you might have to just unthread your needle each time you get to that point so I do that quickly get my thread because you can kind of shape your thread so that it's got like an outward curve to it to forgive me for holding this up to my face because I can't see terribly well down there. Okay, so that's just passing underneath and coming out of the loop that's next to the original one. Don't want that tail in there. Get rid of that. Okay. And then it's a case of repeating it. So it is repetitive but I think it's up to you on how you shape the tassels so you don't want it so tight that this doesn't then move you don't want it to be rigid it needs the, the movement so I just pop that in there and then I'm going to thread my needle back in again so this is going to be the challenge isn't it threading and unthreading the same needle when it doesn't want to go on okay so, you have to forgive me if it's out of shot. I just need to see what I'm doing. There you go. I'm impressed you thread the needle that fast. Ah, well, I was trying to think who was who first. It might have been um, Katie Dean. I think might have been the first person to show me how to do that. The thread the needle on, but you, instead of instead of going from trying to put the, the needle. Uh, trying to put the thread through the needle, you hold the very end of the thread and then you offer the eye of the needle to yes, it. Yes. So I it's right in the tips of your fingers and it just, generally speaking, it makes it a bit faster. Did it change your life? Well, yeah, that and the weaver's knot <laughs> have been a godsend, really. <laughs> so, hang on, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five. Right. So this one, I just want to make sure it's the same length. So I'm offering it up to the previous one. 
Yeah, I think that's the same. And then because I want it to, to look sort of symmetrical, I'm just going to do exactly the same pattern. So we've got three of these of the smaller size, one, two, and three, one of the medium and one of the large. Thread those on. It's very satisfying, this as well, because it's the sort of thing that it, you, even if you um, sort of put it down and walked away, there's no sort of particular technical pattern. It's just a case of remembering not to let the, the beads drop off the end of the tassel and then keep working your way around, you know? It's lovely to watch. It's quite therapeutic, yeah. It's one of those things that you can you sort of lose yourself in it for an hour or something. We're um, about to bring, introduce the graphics to the one, the, the kit that you're actually demonstrating with right now. So it's like yep. a really lovely midnight blue. There are only 70 of the blue and it comes with the gold uh, tassel top that we're uh, looking, well, Hannah's demonstrating yeah, with yeah. right now. Which is just such a gorgeous colour combination, don't you think? Yeah, I think it's quite sumptuous, actually, to have oh, the blue yeah. and the gold. Look at all of that. Oh, it's not going to let me force that through. I'm going to have to undo the needle each time, so... We're going to go straight down to it. There's the lovely, there's the lovely uh, gold-plated uh, tassel drop, which has this really... You said it is very sumptuous, very decadent, real uh, beautiful luxury colours. Nineteen ninety nine. This is more limited, though, far more limited. You can shop ahead on the gold that's available as well, um, and obviously you can get hold of the silver still just about. But they have been incredibly popular. Yeah, I mean, I, I think honestly, I think this is the sort of thing you can make it and you can chuck it on with anything. You know, if, if you've got T-shirt and jeans on, you can chuck this on and it just looks amazing. But if you're, equally, if you're going out, like if you're going to a wedding or something glam, it's, it's a bit of bling as well. Totally. And it's all the rage at the moment, isn't it? These long tassels. Yeah, well, this is it. And, uh, I'm, love it I'm loving the fashion at the moment. I, lo I love a big swishy dress and I love a long, uh, like a long line necklace and mm -hmm. big chandelier earrings. And I just think it's so, they're so easy to wear. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. Three, four, five. Sorry, I'm counting again. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the thing with seed beads. You do a lot of counting. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, I always think that our designers think that it's boring to watch. It's really not. It's very mindful watching you. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice mindful activity making mm. jewelry in general. It's like, I mean, I know, I know we sometimes do these little um, videos where they say, "Show us your working space," and it's like, really, it's sort of my lap in front of the TV. Yeah. On a big recliner um, armchair that I've got. <laughs> It's um, not, it's not very glam at all, but it's feet up and a cup of coffee. Yeah. Definitely, it's relaxing. And I, I personally, I, I, it's a bit like some people read every night. I find if I haven't made jewellery most evenings, I just feel a bit strange. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm missing something. Part of your, your, it's my, your routine. It's my, it's my, what's it, the decompress yeah. from the day is to make something pretty and just sit, sit and stitch or sit and, you know, weave something. Honestly, I just think they look so luxurious. They do. They look absolutely amazing, don't they? Yeah, I mean, so I've used them. Um, this is an Ato uh, uh, galvanised gold, I think it was, that I had from my stash. But you could use other sizes as well. You could use other gemstones. You could use your precious metals you if could, you wanted yeah, to. You could, yeah, absolutely. Oh, that one went through without having to unthread it. Yay. <laughs> look at that. I know, it's good, isn't it? How many so, of these loops do you have all the way around? Two, I think there is, hang on, there might be more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this one, and I think there's six on the little. On the, um, on the mother on the of pearl. pearly one. Okay. One, two, um, you can still get hold of the pearl, uh, the mother of pearl tassel, the one that I actually have just next to me as well. So if you want to get hold of this kit in the sterling silver, then you can. It's available on the website. We took this to £20 as well, which is frankly ridiculous considering it has cultured pearls and mother of pearl and sterling silver. Um, and is it exactly the same technique? Um, yeah, it's, it's basically it's the same, same technique, but um, that one is finer. So there's no way that you'd get a needle through that at all. Um, it is definitely just the thread. Um, uh, message uh, from Gillian uh, for you. Beautiful masterclass, Hannah. Can I ask what thread you are using? Uh, yeah, so I, uh, it's the wildfire. Um, so I'm using the, the green wildfires, that one. We do sometimes have it in stock. I don't know if we've got any left at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, but you could use fireline thread. You could use 
I mean, you could use cotton, but the, the problem with that is it, it can snag on itself and it's not as strong. Yeah, yeah. And he, and like I said, they are heavy stones, aren't they? So maybe, yeah. Um, it will come back into stock if, you have, if you're desperate in need. Um, hello to you, Margot, saying, Hannah, your talent is outstanding and Aww. your pieces are just stunning. Thank you. That's so sweet. <laughs> Lovely, Margot. Um, another message for you uh, saying, hi, loving this demo. Hannah, m love making tassels and the prices of the hematites are fantastic. Are we able to purchase the tassel cap separately? I don't believe so. I think that I don't know. I think they were part of the actual kit itself. However, I do know that, Julie, at some point we have done them individually. So maybe that's something. Watch this space. Leave it with us. Leave it with us. Because I think it would be really nice to be able to get bundles of these tassel tops. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess that's... Um, I think what happens is um, our, our buying team will uh, either spec things themselves or, or they'll talk to some of the de designers and then they come up with them what we call a spec, so a, a plan of what we think the kit's going to be and what sort of jewellery we'd like to, to make from it. And then every, all the components are bought in mm -hmm. um, so that when it when it all lands, um, we then put it together as a kit. So that's our lovely Alice would then take over from that and put it together as a kit. Um, and then it's given to the designers to turn into jewellery and they're sometimes given the inspiration pictures and they're sometimes left to their own devices um, to create whatever they want to create. And then quite often if it if it's popular that's when they might say okay this this was a popular thing this was something that we they need like. to get them as individual. we need to get them more and then mm -hmm. you might find that it comes back as a bundle or you might get a special closeout deal on them well watch this space because i think i think the general consensus gauging the call screens is that these tassel tops are incredibly popular so julie yeah. I sh watch this space. I will ask the question for you, though, lovely. We've got one more kit whilst Hannah is threading it. Yeah. yeah are you happy for me to bring that yeah. to it? Now, this is all about the gold. You know where it's going to. Now, it's all down to personal preference. Are you a silver person? Are you a gold person? Are you a colour? Or are you going to mix them all together? Either way, you are getting how many metres? How many metres did I say? Four metres, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because you get four strands, don't you? Four four meter long strands look how lo you said decadent yeah sumptuous i i think that's the perfect description look how gorgeous this is in the different sizes so that's your eight six and then you get two of the four millimeter and then you have you've got a really lovely addition um, in your rose gold coloured tassel, to tassel top with a lovely parve uh, cubic zirconia set within there as well. I've always wondered, uh, was it, was it, who was it that messaged in earlier on? Was it Julie or was it Margot? I can't remember. Who messaged in a few moments ago saying, I've always wondered how we do this tassel. I have as well, because I almost thought they had to disappear inside, a little bit like a wag's wiker. Uh, well, it just depends. There's lots of different ways. So this one, because it's got the loops there, it's sort of inviting you to stitch them to the loops but um, <coughs> sometimes we do tassels where you have to do something called a gathering stitch so, so the, um, the the fabric ones usually have got a gathering stitch and that's that's a particular type of knot that holds it all together um, and then sometimes it's a case of you have to sort of create like a, a stitch at the top and then glue it into the, yeah. mm. the finding so it all depends on the finding whereas these you literally these just tie on to just, just thread on I'm, lo I'm loving this it's like I'm, I'm seeing an octopus with blue shiny boots on <laughs> An octopus with shiny boots. Yeah, oh, he does. Now yeah. you've said that. Oh, he's a little, there's his little shiny. He's going to the disco look. <laughs> Love it. Like like, like some ro ro roller skates. Seven. Like some roller skates. An octopus in roller skates. Definitely. I must stop talking to you in between counting. Seventeen. That's all right. Um, <laughs> you could create almost like a. Um, you could create like a, a a random tassel and what i mean by a that random is tassel. a random tassel what i mean by that different lengths oh yes yeah, so like could asymmetric you... and you could use different um materials for the tassel so yeah. some of it might be part of a chain some of it might be seed beads could some... you double attach onto those loops yeah yeah absolutely i mean it's and it's only because i'm using just the the um the fire line that i've tied it on but you can use um you can use other things to attach with but the loops are quite open they're quite sizable so you're able to then you could do pass the double your drapage thread. yeah you could do multiple layers you could do different lengths yeah that would be amazing actually i i, I sort of I, things design themselves in my head as i'm talking so i'm sort of seeing i think i'm seeing what what you're sort of suggesting yeah suggesting. like a really a, you know a, a, a big 
chunky tassel. Yeah, and, but I'm thinking like you could have crystals in there, oh, you could nice. have chain in there, maybe like feathers and things. You could have um, met, like tassel, other tassels within tassels, so like the fabric ones. Love it. Yeah. Absolutely Amazing. love it. And all those colours really work together if you wanted to mix and match. You can get all three kits, well, all four kits, actually, for £80 today. That's, That's including amazing. the sterling silver one. I do. Now, who was it that messaged in? Ask it. Julie, you wanted a tassel top, didn't you? Now, this is sterling silver, and it's the only one that we actually have available on its own. It is brand new. Holler when you're ready for me. I want these. I'd be stocking up on these as well. Because that is parve set with cubic zirconia, not only on the bale, but all the way around. Now, Julie, I hope you're there. If I lean it towards you, you can see you have that sort of grid effect. It's like a cross underneath, tucked away. And I assume, Hannah, I tie directly onto there. Yeah, so what we've got, the little, yeah, so that one, you would, you would hook your um, threads sort of through and round, so it, so it sort of crisscrosses over, and then perhaps comes back down to a, like a crimp or, or to a spacer bead or something, so it's all hidden inside, or you can just use um, cords mm. and then just knot it so that the knot disappears inside. Um, brand new premiere, how many do we have? 160. Yeah, I'm going to be getting a few of these as well. I mean, I think they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. Yeah. They are. Two grams of sterling silver, parve set all the way around, really easy to create your tassel. Yeah, fabulous. Hiding all the mechanics, if yeah. you like. Well, I think that's it. I, th I think the, the most effective jewellery is when you look at it and you think, ah, how's that hanging together? You know, cause, yeah. because it's, like, it's sort of a little bit of magic then, isn't it? Sort of the illusion of it all being one thing, when actually it's lots of little components all stitched together or... or applied in such a way that it appears to be floating so clearly that process that you said a few moments ago we we've, we've we've learned that the tassel uh connector is incredibly popular right now yeah yeah massive. and our buying team have said right we need to get those individually um that being said we only actually have a handful of them available well this is the only one that we actually have uh, this morning there's 170 but if you're like me and kim and susan and brian and you're thinking right well i'll get stocked up on these because i love the tassels i love the design it's everywhere at the moment you know you might take inspiration from the kit that hannah or that we started this hour with these these are going low says ross in my ear okay hey oh gosh are they ross I'd be, wow, that is low. And you could Where literally just feed oh that onto gosh. a chain, couldn't you? And yeah, then put you your, really Whatever could. you wanted on there, pearls, gemstones, micro gemstones, yeah. that labradorite this morning. Yeah, oh my gosh, that would that would make an amazing tassel. It really would, because it's oh. so twinkly. Anything that's twinkly, it's just like, it's going to work. Because tassels, like by their nature, they move. So anything that's got movement in it works really well with a facet. Yeah. Um, and then you get all the light bouncing around and it's just incredible. Look, there's a lot of sterling silver in there, isn't there? Yeah, there really Twelve is. 99 A lot of you doing what I would do as well. Charmaine's bought four, Jan's bought two, uh, Suffolk's bought four, Irene's multi-bought, Lynn's bought three, Jane's bought three, um, Brenda's bought two. Sorry, I'm hesitating because every time I say your name, somebody mm -hmm. jumps in. Uh, Yorkshire's bought two, Kim's bought two, Sussex has bought two, Tanya's bought two, Brenda's bought two. There's a lot of multi-buying on this. There was 170 of these available. Um, I would get stocked up on them because, yeah, the, the, the tassel tops previously are only available in the kit. I should imagine we'll probably get buy those in the future. I would think um, so, yeah. We can certainly mention it to them, can't we? We can go and... These, well, you're, these, these you're are amazing. the perfect person to do that, I, aren't Yeah, you? I, can, I can give them a nod and you, say everybody you're loves these. You're seeing it. You're seeing Let's the full screen. <laughs> we need more. Um, in sterling silver, because lots of people will go, right, I want to make sterling silver uh, jewellery. That's Then the, this is available individually on its own. That is a rarity, to be honest, with components like this. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. But it is a rarity. So snaffling them up. Well done, everyone. Well done. I say from this show, I've got, I've got a proposal to, to put towards them, haven't I? So I've got the faceted labradorite um, sort of micro faceted shapes that we had earlier as a tassel. Mm -hmm. And then we could have... Um, any of the sort of like shell pearls or things like that as, as the main body and mm -hmm. then the tassel end and then some seed beads and then you could have the super bling like mm. labradorite 
yes number right octopus yes. has got his boots on now look okay you ready back yeah. to hannah make sure you check out your baskets on this one <laughs> There we go. Look how so, beautiful that is. So it's just really cute, isn't it? And you can do anything you like with them. So you can, you can add in um, other colours. You can add in like like you can just you could just do all of those. That's all good. <laughs> oh, has he got a name? Right. So I'm just going to tie this off as you would normally. You know, over, a few overhand knots and then a dab of uh, glue or clear nail polish whatever you want and then trim these two tails away and then it just disappears and that's the whole that's the whole tassel amazing so that's cool and then did you want me to show the technique for the yes. other bracelet if i if i because that is I absolutely beautiful so that actually is is on the elastic from the from the kits that we had earlier that's unbelievable so, however Doing it in elastic takes quite a long time because obviously you've got to be careful to, to passing the threads because it's multiple threads through it through a bead again. So it's a, it's a slow process to do it. So if I show you the technique, but with beading thread, mm. you can go on then. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's got that. That's going on her. No, I just wanted to have a little feel of it. That's yeah. all. <laughs> it's um, very tactile. Isn't it, it is, isn't it? It literally rolls. So if I made this with something like um, like wildfire, you'd have to have a fastening, right? Uh, well, no. So. Um, or it becomes a bangle. It, yeah, it kind of depends because when you do croy, you have a certain amount of stretch anyway. Um, I, I don't know. It's sort of a yes and no factor that one. I think I think maybe you would have a clasp, in which case you get you make like one long strip, and then you perhaps have an individual bead on the end, mm. and then you might want to pass um, sort of like a, a piece of beading thread through, and then I have a clasp on that. Um, but then that that one's continuous because it's all elastic. You see. That looks like an illusion, doesn't it? Hypnotic, isn't it? Love it, love it. Amazing. Okay, I'll pass this back to you. Any questions, of course, message in. There you Ooh, go. Oh, oh. Yeah, I just chuck it on there. That's all right. Um, I, I would never just chuck your jewellery. <laughs> never. Oh, so I'm doing a lot of threading needles live on air, which is always a slight scary moment. <laughs> going back to your nine o'clock kits isn't oh, it under pressure yeah oh yeah <laughs> don't, don't stop me now <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah don't stop me so don't stop me now right okay so back on there so let's get some more of these guys so i've gone with the smaller one because they fit together nice and neatly there we go so cubic right angled weave is like if you imagine right angle weave is like little squares um, cubic right angles is um, imagine like little boxes, little little houses, little cubes. So start starting off just four in a loop, and then tie a little, maybe a, th a three a three pass loop, kind of a reef knot, and then one for luck, sort of thing. And then I'm going to pass my needle through so that the knots sort of hidden. Okay, so they're your base beads. It's quite confusing in, in one colour, so I maybe should have done it in two, but never mind. Um, and then you're going to pick up three of your beads to start with. You're going to go round in a loop, so back through the same base bead and pull that tight. So then you've got two of those together. So remembering which ones your base beads are, you're then going to rotate that and then pass through the next base bead. And then this time, you don't need to pick up three to make your cluster of four there because you've already got a bead there and a bead there. So we're just going to pick up two. And you're going to go through this outer one and the one that you started with. You see that? And pull that through. Oops, sorry. Okay, and then I'm going to rotate it again. And then I'm going to pass through the next base bead. And I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to get two, one, and two. And I'm going to go through the outer one and the bead that you're starting from. And pull that. So then we've got sort of the, the base and then we've got three walls. If I pull this tight, you can actually sort of see that they're trying, they're trying to move towards themselves anyway. So I'm going to rotate it one more time. I'm going to go back through the original base bead, being 
careful because you've got the, uh, the knot in that one. And then this time, I only need to add one bead because I've got a bead here and then I've got one bead either side, so I only need the one on the top. So I'm going to go up through this side. I'm going to pick up a bead. I'm going to go down through that bead there. So on the other side. And I don't want that to tangle. Hang on. There we go. Pass that through there. Then I'm going to go back through the original base bead. Like that. And then I'm going to pull the tension. So now you've got the original four on the bottom. Then you've got the sides, like the walls of your house, if you like. And then you've got four beads on the top, but they're quite floppy. So in order for this to work, they all need to be quite secure. So you're going to work your needle up through one of the side beads. And then you're going to go in a loop so that you catch all four of the top. And then that makes your one cube. So just go all the way around. One. Two. Three. Through the fourth one and then back through your original one as well because then that makes a complete circle. Okay, so at that point, just make sure you pull all the tension so it's nice and secure. So that is one cube for a cubic um, right angle weave bracelet. So I don't know if you, I don't know if you can see like there's like if you if you look at that it's kind of mm. you can see one section there. Yeah. So the next one you're you're then treating the last four beads that you stitched together as the base bead. So you ignore all the others and then you do the same thing again. So you've, you've got your four. You always start with three and then you add two on each other bead. So I'm adding the, the first one. So that's wall number one. Turn it round, go through the, the new base bead. Like that, and then I'm gonna pick up two. One and two, and I'm gonna go through the outermost one of the previous set and the bead that you're starting with. Pull those together and then rotate it. And you'll see it's already trying to make a little bit box. So pass through the next base bead and add two more. And you go through the outer one of the previous set and the bead you're working from. Okay, so that's the third wall. So the fourth wall is always the same. You rotate it again. You go through the base bead first, and then you come up through the side, add one bead, and down through the other side. Imagine this in an ombre. Oh, my gosh. Be lovely. Absolutely lovely. I'm Ooh. just thinking back to those pearls, the shell pearls. Well, so originally what I wanted to do with the shell pearls was that, but because of the number of times I have to pass the yeah, elastic through, um, that's why I went for the flat version. Um, you probably could do it, but I think it's, it's down to the drill hole. So, you, so you, if you were willing to sit and, um, you know, ream all the pearls so that they've got a, a really good even drill hole all the way through, then you absolutely could do this with those. Um, you could do this with those kits with wildfire. But, <coughs> but, it, yeah. but, it, but then it wouldn't make it stretchy. So um, or you could do the, all the different colours of hematite, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they, they look amazing. So, so the only reason that that one looks more chunky, it's the same, it's the same size beads. beautiful, Hannah. That's absolutely gorgeous. It's, you know, it's, it's threaded on elastic, so it's, it's thicker. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, you, yeah, so you just continue doing that. So Amazing. It's, it's another one. It, ta it takes a long time to, like, to sort of sit and make one, but when you've made it, once you, it's once quite you, a it's sense of achievement. Then. It's Yeah, it's repetitious sense of achievement and then the, there is like you can sort of see there's a, there's a bit of natural sort of give i don't yeah. know if you can see that or not yeah and that that's just with wildfire so they are slightly stretchy anyway you know love it yeah i love your kits have been absolutely amazing okay. um they've almost sold out by the way the hematite kits likewise for the sterling silver now thank you hannah because no absolutely no amazing amazing 
Now, shall we do... Now, uh, there's a little bit of a story to this. I might not be able to squeeze both of them in, so I tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop waffling and I can talk to you whilst you're admiring. Now, this is a huge piece of silver. Huge. Um, and the, uh, the whole development of these, um, uh, it was a discussion that happened literally at the beginning of last year um, when I found out that I was actually going to be going to Tucson and it was, okay, what kind of designs, who are you going to be speaking to? And I wanted to speak to uh, um, Bruce Bridges, which is Campbell Bridges, who actually discovered Zavarite Garnet. Now, he was going to be over in, in Arizona. Um, anyway... Long story short, these were meant to be lockets inspired by Astley Clark, where they literally have one single stone set in the centre. And I was like, oh, we can take that up a notch and we can put something like Zavarite, one of the most expensive, in fact, really got the limelight over in Tucson, uh, one of the most expensive of all your green gemstones that exists. It's incredibly rare. It's incredibly valuable. Um, and it has, totally natural, one of the most electrifying greens. If I put my hand behind it, then hopefully, there we go, you can see a bit better. Now... Uh, but they were meant to be lockets. Now, when they landed, I was like, okay, they're not lockets. They're really beautiful pendants, but they're not actually lockets. We are going to be launching some lockets soon. And we're going to take these to a closeout deal. They have to go today. In fact, we haven't got, we haven't got time to mess around. Makes me quite sad, actually, because... If these would have been lockets, if you were to make a comparison with the designer that I just mentioned a few moments ago, then you are three figures and then some. Oh, oh, <laughs> do you know what? You did say oh in my ear my that L this might hurt a little bit. What's the... That's amazing. Oh, God, I felt that right there, Ross. <laughs> oh, Ross, what did you just do? There's... Oh, Ross, what did you just do? This, why, this is why you haven't told me about that this was part of the show, isn't it? There's a reason why you haven't told me. I design these. Of course they're below cost. Of course they are. It's below, below the cost of the Zavarite. It's below the cost of the sterling silver. Uh-oh. Oh. It hurts, that does. <laughs> I can't believe they've just done that. I can. <laughs> and can I just point out, I wanted these to be lockets. They weren't lockets. They land in there. Okay. They're still beautiful, though. They are beautiful. It's a Zavarite garnet. I know. And by the way, I cherry picked those Zavarite garnets to make sure that our lovely viewers were getting some of the best Zavarite garnets. I think that means we need a, a, a sequel to them. Actual, like, lockets next Well, there time. is lockets. That's the thing. There's lockets in the pipeline. But um, they're like, we need to get rid of these then, Al. Get rid of them as if they're not luxury jewellery. Beautiful. <laughs> Uh, oh, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. What do you say, Ross? Sorry, I zoned you out then. We're going to play this next off, uh, the, the oval. So this, the bigger gram weight. Be watching at 8 o'clock. Um, it will be going under £10 as well. Oh, at least I've got... Oh, that's going to keep me up tonight, that is. Going to keep me up tonight. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Got me, that did. It's like an arrow through the heart, that was, Ross. Savage. But just think of those happy people there. That's true. That's something you've designed. That's true, 7 99 With the beautiful Zavarite well, garments in it. When well, we say below yeah. cost, that's massively below that's, cost. Yeah, that's But listen, we made crazy. mistakes, don't we? <laughs> there was no prototype oh, sent no. to us. I don't think it's... like It doesn't look like it's a mistake, does it? I know it's supposed to be a locket. Oh, it's a beautiful I pendant. That is I'd wear this as a pendant. Stunning anyway, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's amazing. And let me just show you this way. Look how much silver you're getting within. Look at that. <clears throat> It's absolutely massive. It's a huge gram weight that you're actually getting. I agree. You could, you know, wonderful jewellery makers, you could turn it into a locket in a sense that there's nothing stopping you putting a photo on the reverse ah, and then maybe yeah. covering it maybe with something like your yeah. resin. You could do that and it'd be quite a modern contemporary version. <sighs> this is coming up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I really like the oval one, actually. I did tell yeah, yeah. you know where to be then, Hannah. <laughs> Make sure you dial nice and early because it's going under £10. Going under £10. Goodness me, that's a madness. How many did we buy of these, by the way, at that colossal mistake? Oh, wow, 250 Wow. <laughs>
Um, <laughs> but yeah, literally cherry picked. Hannah, you're amazing. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for having me. It's been great. Mm, well, we, don't we just love her? When you're back, do you know? Um, on the 2nd. 2nd of July. Yes, Have a July. wonderful afternoon. Congratulations to every single one of you. We'll see you bright and early in the morning. Oh.